Over one year ago, I began my 100-day adventures. Traveling through the demon-only world, fighting in a zombie apocalypse, oh, and don't let me forget surviving in a multiverse. Grab some popcorn because this is surviving 1,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. After defeating Titus the Lava Stone Golem, you acquire the Forbidden Relic, which casts you into an upside-down realm full of demons and corrupted magic. Will I be able to survive the Forbidden Curses? What special abilities will these demons have? And can I defeat the gatekeepers of this realm? Oh my gosh, what happened? Where the heck even am I? The first thing I noticed was the skies were green. That was not a good sign. Anyways, I harvested a bunch of wood, and then I looked around and saw a demon-like pig. Yep, pigs don't normally have horns. Let's step away from that guy over there. Oh, okay, yep, there's another one here. Okay. Using the wood, I crafted myself a demon slayer blade and started attacking these demon-like pigs. I noticed this sword had a special ability, and every time I hit it, it looked like it had some sort of bleed effect, which was pretty effective. It just did a bunch of extra damage. After eliminating that pig, I picked up an essence that said it contains the soul of a demon. What the heck is wrong with these pigs? In the distance, I saw what seemed to be a normal pig, and then suddenly it morphed into a demon pig. I had no idea how that even happened, but I figured it'd be in my best interest to eliminate all of these demon-like pigs. After eliminating all the pigs that I could find, I traveled back to my cave and spent the night in there. And in the morning of day two, I figured I haven't really done too much traveling, so I figured I'd travel around and see what I could find. And shortly after I began traveling, I found these weird-looking flowers, and as soon as I right-clicked it, a bunch of particles started appearing everywhere, and suddenly the flower dropped on the ground. I picked it up, and it said a common herb found in lush areas can be consumed quickly to heal a little or crafted into a more potent form. So by the sounds of it, these flowers are almost equivalent to what seems to be an instant health, so these could actually really come into handy once I get into some battles. After farming a bunch of silver leaves, I also farmed a bunch of watermelons that were laying around. After spending the day gathering some silver leaves and watermelons, I decided to head back into my base and spend the night. On day three, I began mining a bunch of cobblestone, created all my cobblestone tools, smelted some stone, and created the hardened demon slayer blade. It seems to have a pretty cool ability as well. The remainder of day three was spent pretty efficiently. I went to a nearby forest and harvested all the wood so I could make my base. I figured since I was in a demon-only world, it would probably make the most sense to make some sort of bunker hidden away in this mountain. I wasn't sure what kind of crazy demons I was going to run into, which is exactly why I built this bunker on top of a hill. I knew it would be a lot harder for the demons to find me if I was based up inside of a hill, so I cleared all the interior, took away all the dirt and cobblestone, and smoothed it all out with stone. But right before we continue, I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about today's sponsor, DNF Duel. DNF Duel is an amazing and exciting new fighting game brought to you by the creators of the astounding Dungeon Fighter Online. DNF Duel is a beautiful game with an impressive 2.5D art style and crazy screen-wide attacks. The animation just flows amazingly with the fast-paced gameplay DNF Duel offers. With a nearly lag-free multiplayer experience provided through rollback netcode, you can play seamlessly with anybody anywhere. And a simplified match making system, there's almost no wait to jump into a fight. Or if you're not in the mood to fight against players around the world, you can hone your skills in practice mode, see how long you can last in survival mode, or enjoy DNF Duel Story with Story Mode. There's a little something for everybody to enjoy. You can get the DNF Duel on PS4, PS5, or PC today. Thanks again for DNF Duel for sponsoring today's video. After finishing my base, I walked outside and suddenly... Hello, mortal. You look out of place in these lands. Wait, what? Who the heck are you? My name is Valen, and I am a Valkyrie seeking to purify the demonic lands of their curse. I came here to see if you would be willing to help take back one of those camps from the Demon Horde. You will be heavily rewarded. Uh, okay, well that was weird. He just disappeared in front of my eyes. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to help the Valkyries to take out some demons. So if I'm gonna be any help at all, I figured I better go mining and get myself some armor because I am not gonna be much help with no armor. I also went ahead and used my special ability that this demon sword gave me, and it's actually pretty OP. These things can't even get anywhere near me and I can just kill them instantly. So after that, I spent the rest of the day gathering a bunch of iron and coal. That way I can create myself a full set of iron armor. I then created an iron block, combining that with the stick, some cobblestone, and iron, I created the Iron Demon Slayer Katana. As you can see with this sword, I have the ability to pick up creatures and a bunch of orbs appear around them and then they just die. Yeah, don't ask me. It's pretty OP though. Yeah, right, little guy. You thought you were gonna get me? Yeah, I have this OP sword. Not today, buddy. I spent all the day seven traveling and I came across this toxic-like biome and all the trees were nether wart and soul sand. What the heck? 
Shortly after entering this suspicious biome, I found this giant castle-like build. I needed to investigate it. Upon entry, I was greeted by this red and green demon-like creature that started attacking me. Good thing I had this ability that allowed me to throw them up in the air and take them out that way. The only issue was there was quite a lot of these demons. There were some purple ones. There seemed to be some even mini iron golem demons. While running away from a huge group, I picked up the iron golem demon and sent him into the sky. I guess it's a good thing I have these silver leaves. These things keep healing me. They're kind of like instant health potions, just not as strong. I didn't even know this was possible, but I was able to pick up multiple things at a time and I eliminated both of them in the air. Now that was awesome. After lining up all the demons, I spammed my ability and eliminated the remaining demons. I found myself a chest and when I opened it, I got a bunch of bread, iron, and some more silver leaves. These will definitely come into handy. After looting the chest, I saw another demon who was too far away for my abilities to work. And when I went to go chase him, he disappeared. What? Where the heck did this demon go? That is not good. It's probably going to tell all of its friends about me now. I decided to scavenge the village to see what kind of loot I could find. I ended up finding a diamond some bruce weed and a bunch more silver leaves. I'm gonna take that. While scavenging, I ended up finding quite a few different chests with a bunch of different loot inside of it, some more diamonds, and inside this chest, I found an apothecary scope. I wonder what that's gonna be used for. After looting most of the village, I walked into the final house, and I ended up finding what looked to be a skeletal bird. That looks insane. And just past this bird, there was another chest, and inside of it, there was an apothecary bottle. I think with these apothecary items, I'm gonna be able to combine my flowers and make them stronger. I didn't want to leave the bird here alone, so I threw down some bruce weeds, and it seems like the bird actually likes it, so I was able to bring it outside of the house, and we started traveling back to my base. I love the look of my Badline cosmetics. Make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. While me and my new friend were traveling back to my base, I ran into a pond what looked to be filled with demon flamingos. By the looks of it, these flamingos didn't seem to be too aggressive. They were just eating some fish in the water by the looks of it, so I decided to take the sugar cane and get the heck out of here. Almost back to Oh my gosh. Thank you, demon hunter. You made much quicker work of those demons than anyone I've ever seen. You have potential. However, you need some help. Take this as a reward. What the heck is this? Wait, uh, sir, w where'd you go? Okay, well, I guess he's gone. I guess I need to figure out what this does. Anyways, the very next morning after arriving home, I smelted up some of my glass and I put some oak wood in there and combined the apothecary items to create an apothecary table. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can call me Bill Nye the Science Guy at this point. I combined my silver leaves with some cobblestone to create a silver leaf bloom. A processed version of silver leaf. This is an incredibly vital healing tool as well as a brewing ingredient later on. After gathering a bunch more silver leaf blooms, I went ahead and gathered the glass that I had smelted and filled in all the slots. Now I have some windows. It looks pretty good. I then walked outside of my base, got my demonic soul tablet, and when I right-clicked it, I gained a heart. These are really OP. And as you can see, I have two extra hearts to my name now. This is gonna come into handy. After making the rest of my silver leaf blooms, I walked outside and saw another Valkyrie coming at me. Greetings, mortal. My brethren have told me about your accomplishments fending off the demon village from spreading. I believe you may have the potential to take on a more daunting opponent, the Pit Lord. The Pit Lord? That just sounds evil. Are you sure I'm ready for something like that? You're the best I've seen in centuries. Travel west until you find the land of the Pillars. Here you will find the Pit Lord. Like usual, we will reward you greatly. Good luck. Okay, thank- wait. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm just not used to them disappearing every time. Okay, well, it looks like we need to take down the Pit Lord. And for the remainder of the day, I went ahead and started building a little home that we can keep our skeleton bird friend. I still don't have a name for this bird, so comment down below if you have any suggestions. All right, little birdie, c come up here. Come take a look at your new home. L look what I got you here, buddy. L look at this. We got a nice little water area and a little platform that you can sit on. Hopefully you like it up here a little bit better. And as soon as I turned around, I noticed two other skeletal birds coming to hang out. I guess I did a pretty good job building this home. They seem to like it here. Since I don't have a permanent food source yet and I have a few birds to care for, I went ahead and created myself a nice little wheat farm and a sugarcane farm. I then dedicated the next couple days to go mining. And not too far away, I found myself a little cave entrance and by the looks of it, there's some sort of spawner in here. I went ahead, opened the first chest, got a bunch of iron ingots, some gunpowder, and it looked to be it's a spider spawner. So we're going to be able to use this to get a bunch of experience. Experience. The second chest just had a bunch of string, a name tag, and some gunpowder. I then began mining and exploring the rest of this cave. I got a bunch of coal, iron, and of course, I found some diamonds. I also needed some obsidian to make an enchantment table. After eliminating that skeleton, I looked down in the cave and saw a bunch more demons. They must have had some sort of home in here. So I started by taking out that iron golem, and I jumped down to try to get a few hits and use some of my abilities to take down some of these demons. I then used my ability and picked both of them up and shoved them against the wall and did a lot of damage to them, but the other one 
ones kind of jumped me and I took a decent amount of damage. So I had to be careful here, pick this guy up, throw him against the wall and just live with three HP. And it's a good thing I have these silver leaf blooms that heal me a bunch because I'm going to need them. Upon entry, it was guarded by two demon iron golems. So I got a few hits on them and I used my special ability to pick both of them up and launching them both against the wall. And I was able to eliminate both of them doing so. After eliminating the demons, I looted the chest, got a couple diamonds, a saddle and some iron ingots. I then traveled back to my mob spawner, crafted my enchantment table and eliminated some of the spiders to get some experience. I then went ahead, took off all my armor and started enchanting it with as much protection one as I could get. I got three out of four pieces protection one. And after traveling back home, I went ahead and harvested all my farms and replanted everything. And on day 18, I went ahead and crafted myself the diamond demon slayer blade. This is going to be insane. I also threw some sharpness one on that. And as you can see, this sword sucks anything nearby into this area and it does a bunch of damage. Now that I was prepared, I spent the next couple days traveling far west. And on day 20, I finally found this giant ravine area filled with demon creatures and this is where the pit lord resides now i just have to take this thing out let's do this i checked my surrounding areas and upon entry i already had a few demons running at me so i went ahead and used my diamond demon slayer ability and sucked all of them into the hole and i was able to take these things down pretty easily after eliminating a few more demons i finally was face to face with the pit lord foolish mortal i am in another realm of power compared to that silly village you destroyed. You made a mistake picking up that forbidden relic and coming here. Be gone. It's just like that, the fight against the pit lord has finally started. I got a good hit on him and I backed up to eat some silver leaves to heal up and he spit out a bunch of fire with toxic poison on the ground. I went back in for a few more hits and suddenly he smashed the ground, sending me flying in the air. It's a good thing I have a bunch of these silver leaf blooms, otherwise I would have been dead there. He's almost down to quarter HP and suddenly he smashed the ground again, sending me flying. That does a lot of damage. I'm only just getting started. Wait, what does he mean? He's only just getting started. Does that mean he's gonna get stronger or something? Okay, this is not good. And as I was getting him lower it seemed like he was developing some new abilities he started launching this green stuff at me and suddenly he raised his arm up in the air and a bunch of green meteors came smashing in the ground spawning a demon mech <laughs> i am inevitable i went ahead and used my ability and picked up the demon mech and sent him into the sky he was not going to be an issue anymore and with a couple hits i was able to take out that other demon mech so i charged back in at the pit lord <laughs> You will die. He launched me back into some poison, but I was able to get out of that and eat some bread to regenerate, and I charged back in, getting him to three quarters of HP. This is definitely winnable. I got a good amount of damage, and he knocked me up in the air, getting me to four HP. I was so close to dying there. As he was getting lower, he raised his arm again and summoned a bunch more of these green meteors. Hopefully no more mechs are here. I looked around, and there was a mech in the distance, so I needed to run past the pit lord and take out this mech before he does too much damage to me. And the mech hit me and did nearly five hearts of damage. Damage. This thing does insane damage, so I had to take this thing down before I had to fight the Pit Lord. Otherwise, I would have been toast. And with one last hit, that mech was easily destroyed, and I went ahead and unleashed a bunch of damage onto the Pit Lord. Oh, they are coming for you. You will never defeat my, my master. And he just disappeared and it looked like he dropped something on the ground and when I picked it up, it was a demon relic. Wait a second, what did he mean by they are coming for you, my masters? Wait, is there potentially more demon bosses that I need to fight? Well, I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. While I was reading the relic, a book appeared in my inventory. The title was Pit Lord's Quest. And the book read, A mortal has stumbled into our realm. Eliminate him before he has the chance to grow stronger. Now that book was a little bit suspicious. It almost seemed like somebody was ordering the pit lord to take me out, which means there's another person I'm gonna have to take out. I then arrived back at base to meet a Valkyrie. I knew you had it in you. We all did. You radiate an energy never seen before in this realm. Never have I seen more potential to take out the demon lords. Here is your reward. Please be careful. The more you consume, the more in touch with the demons you become. Fight the urges. He almost made it sound like that if I eat enough of these, that I could be possessed by a demon? Okay, that's not possible, right? I, I hope not. Anyways, I got the two extra hearts and it's time to go to bed.
And in the morning of day 23, I went ahead and tore apart pretty much my entire base. And as you can see, I started upgrading it. I figured now that I eliminated the pit lord and I'm getting a lot stronger, my base also needed an upgrade. After completing the lookout tower and adding some exterior walls, I went ahead and created some chest rooms. I took apart my birdhouse and completed the flooring. I made myself a smelting area, an enchantment area. And as you can see in the corner, I started taking this apart and adding a glass dome. This is where my birds were going to live. Although my birds went out hunting this morning and haven't returned yet, they're going to come back to a nice little base makeover, that's for sure. In the morning of day 26, after upgrading my base, I wanted to go out and explore some more of this treacherous terrain. Let's go see what we can get into. Not too far away from my base, I was running in F5 mode and I saw something green in a cave, so I needed to go check it out. Okay, what the heck are these? Are these some sort of shards? They, they seem to look like shards. Okay, let's see what this does. I saw a bunch of particles floating around and the shard dropped on the ground. When I picked it up, it was a cave crystal. Cave crystal has absorbed the power of the demons is able to spawn more from its core. What the heck does that even mean? I wonder if I'm able to use these shards to create some sort of spawner or something. Once I arrive back at base, I grab the demonic essence and I put the shards, demonic essence, and iron ingots in and I was able to create spawners. It didn't even let me know which type of spawners I had. I just knew that I had some so I went ahead and started mining out this entire area to create myself a spawner room. And after placing the spawners down, I realized that it was a skeleton and a zombie spawner. I'll take that. I wanted to try out a new recipe in the apothecary table, so I combined some silver weeds, bruce weeds, and iron ingots, and I got a demon soul tablet. Wait, I actually have a huge brain. This should give me an extra heart. Wait. I just lost a heart. Not all the experiments are good for you. Are you... D oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I then got some more XP and a Valkyrie approached. Nice to finally get to meet you. I have an idea that may help you later in your travels. Seek out the mystical demon hippo and collect his soul. It will unlock a powerful craft for you. Also, I can give you some more health. Good luck. Okay, so apparently there's a demon hippo I have to eliminate, and he's gonna give me more health if I do so. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I stayed at my base for the remainder of the night, got a good night's sleep, and in the morning of day 29, I began my journey to find this demon hippo. And while I was running, I heard some sort of noise. But master, my loyalty lies only with you, and I am no weakling like the pit lord. I can do what you need. The only way I can trust you is if you can slaughter this ever-growing powerful mortal and send him to the Shadow Realm. Keep the secrets of our world safe, and I may entrust you with the demon army. I will not let you down, master. Okay, yep, I'm not going that way because clearly somebody over there is wanting to kill me, so let's get the heck out of here. And while I was traveling back to my base, I saw this insanely cool rainbow tree. I had to check it out. As I got closer, I saw the demon hippo. I used my ability to suck him into place and got a decent amount of damage on him with a couple of hits. Was not very happy by the noises it was making. I charged back in, got a good hit, and it just did a bunch of damage to me, so I had to back off and use some of my silver leaf blooms to heal myself back up. After healing up, I jumped back in, doing a ton of damage to the demon hippo, and using my ability to suck it in one last time, I went in and eliminated the demon hippo. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought, and what is this? A demonic hippo soul. Well, I got it. While traveling back home, I saw this massive red beacon of light. I needed to check it out. Okay, what in the world even is this place? What I didn't know is I just walked into a massive pit filled with demons. Oh no, yep, this had bad news written all over it and I fell right into the trap. Okay, let's see what we can do here, come on. They were doing a ton of damage, so I had to spam eat a lot of my silver leaf blooms and there seemed to be so many of them. I sucked them all up using my ability and did a bunch of damage to a lot of them, but had to run away and eat some food to regenerate some health. After some back and forth, I eliminated the final demon and and I needed to figure out what else was here. I broke my way outside and crossed this bridge only to find a bunch more of demons waiting for me on the other side. So I picked a bunch of them up, threw them up into the air, but it was too much to handle. I had to get out of here. It seemed like their numbers just kept getting bigger and bigger. This was too much to handle. Since I was severely outnumbered, I ran across this bridge and blocked myself into this castle. Hopefully they can't get me in here. I made my way up to the higher levels of this castle, but it seemed like it was also guarded by a bunch of demons up here. I knew I had to take these out if I was going to survive. I used my ability, sucking all of the demons into the same area and started doing a ton of damage using all of my abilities. And with a couple more attacks, I was able to eliminate the remaining demons inside of this castle. Now I figured I'd wait up here for a couple days and hope that the rest of them leave because they seem to be camping outside. 
On day 35, I broke on outside to see if they had left, and there was still a ton of them, and it seems like they have multiplied severely. I knew if I was going to win this, I'd have to be really smart. I wasn't going to be able to kill them all with just my sword. Okay, here goes nothing. And just like that, I used my ability to suck up all the demons above the lava, and they all ended up falling directly into the lava. Oh my gosh, it's actually working! This is actually winnable! And just a few moments later, the final demon had finally vanished into the lava. Now that is what I'm talking about. I think on that note, it's time to get out of here before any more demons find out I'm here. I then traveled back to my base. When I arrived, the Valkyrie was back. Congratulations on acquiring the artifact from the demonic hippo. A lost camp got overrun. Would we be able to help you build up your compound and fortify it to have a handful of us move in with you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Give me a couple days to do some base upgrades, then I'll happily house some of your demon hunter friends. Thank you eternally. Here, take this. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Whisperwind. I appreciate- Okay, I guess- I guess he's gone. Well, I guess this is gonna give me more health, like he said. And yep, look at that. We just got three more hearts. This is definitely gonna come in handy. I then went ahead and spent the next couple days upgrading my base. I figured since I'm gonna be housing a bunch of demon hunters, I figured I need to make a separate place for them to live because my base won't be big enough for them all. So I built a pathway leading all the way down, burned down some trees, and created a nice wall to protect them in the nighttime. After I finished the wall design, I then added some fences and a little bridge, and I started creating a few tents that all the demon hunters are gonna live in. As you can see, I finally finished in the nighttime, and I think I did a pretty good job. We got the nice wall, it's all lit up nicely, now it's just time to go to bed. The very next morning, when I woke up, I walked outside, and it looks like all the demon hunters had moved in. I gotta go say hi! Okay, I didn't anticipate there being this many demon hunters, but there definitely seems to be a bunch of them, so I guess you could say my base is fairly protected now that I have all these guys with me. Anyway, Anyways, that afternoon, I was just monitoring everything, and when I turned around, I saw some mysterious creature in the distance, so I needed to go get it and see what it was. I ended up chasing this creature for a couple days, and I ended up running into this massive mystical tree. Yeah, this thing is crazy. It ended up outrunning me, but I managed to find some weird flowers that I had never seen before, so I figured I'd go ahead and harvest them and see what they even were. After harvesting the flower, it disappeared and dropped on the ground beneath. It was called a plant. Plague bloom, and it was a mysterious plant, so I ate it. Wait, what? I just lost another heart. Dude, this is the second time that's happened to me. I gotta be more careful. And the very next day after arriving back at home, I woke up, and I saw a massive demon approaching my town. Okay, this is not good. I gotta go down and try to save my demon hunters. Not only was there a massive demon in the back, but he had a bunch of minions as well charging into my town. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to hold them off for too much longer. There's too many of them. The entire time I was attacked, Attacking the other demons, this massive demon was griefing my entire base I had just built. And at this point, I was running really low on heals, and it was doing way too much damage. I had to evacuate. I have no idea who the heck this demon is, but I'm gonna get my revenge on him. Just wait. I then traveled to a safer distance, gathered some materials, and started creating a temporary base underground. I didn't want to invest too much time into this base, as I won't be staying here for long. And for the remainder of day 44, I had to travel back to my base, and I wanted to scavenge some of the loot. Oh my gosh, that demon really put a dent into things. It seems like all my demon hunters are gone. Hopefully they were able to get out alive. My birds must have sensed something bad was going to happen, which is why they likely didn't come back. I then went ahead, took what supplies I could get, and got right out of here. And while I was traveling back to my temporary base, these demon-like giraffes started sliding up to me. Yeah, they weren't even walking. What kind of cursed world am I in? Thankfully, these demon giraffes were pretty easy to kill, as I didn't really have much healing left. And it's Instead of traveling back to my base, I found a mine, and I figured I might as well go try and get myself some full diamond armor at this point. I'm gonna need it. And real quick, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to be a part of the team. While I was returning home, I saw another Valkyrie outside my base. The loss at our outpost was devastating. Those of us who survived are scattered. You must get revenge for us. Please slay Illidan. Ah, so Illidan's the one that attacked my base. Okay, but I don't even know where he is, and I'm still trying to recover from that last attack. This is our last chance. Illidan is about to earn the chest to kill Jaden and form an even more powerful demon army. You have to stop them. There will be a bird, okay? So follow the bird and it will lead you to them. I'm being summoned back. I must go. Well, it looks like I need to prepare for this fight against Illidan and apparently there's some sort of bird that I'm gonna need to follow. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. I then use 
the rest of my diamonds, crafting all of my diamond armor, and I went ahead and enchanted each piece. I spent the next couple days traveling around, and I found a new type of flower. I had never seen this before, so I went ahead and harvested it. And it was called a purple lotus. An exotic herb found in wet areas can be consumed to gain energy and endurance, or crafted to a more potent form. Side effects may include invisibility. Interesting, this could most definitely come in handy. After harvesting the flowers I'd need to fight Illidan, I saw a bird in the distance. This must be the bird that I need to follow. After a few days of travel, I finally arrived at what seems to be Illidan's lair. I could see a giant castle in the distance. And as I got closer, this is indeed Illidan's mansion. Now I just have to take him out. Hey Illidan, you're gonna regret doing that to my camp. And suddenly he jumped right towards me. Foolish mortal. I thought I slaughtered you at your puny base camp. Why do you return for more and tempt fate? I was tasked to eliminate you, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You don't stand a chance with my upgraded gear, and I have the power of countless demon souls inside me now. So be it. Let the slaughter begin. After he charged past me, I used one of my silver leaves to heal back up as it did do three hearts of damage and he smashed the ground. And when I went back in for another hit, he threw his sword at me and then charged right through me doing six hearts of damage. I went back in, used my ability to get some damage on him and he threw his sword again and smashed the ground doing another six hearts. It's a good thing I've got a lot of these silver leaf blooms that heal me. You're no match for me. I used my ability to suck him back into place, but look, it wasn't doing barely any damage. How much health does this thing have? As I continued to fight Illidan, he started flying up in the air and his sword started spinning. What the heck's going on? And before I know it, there was two giant green elementals that I had to defeat and he started blasting lasers at me. You're weak. Give up! After healing up, I charged back in and I got about five or six good hits onto him, getting him to nearly half HP. What I didn't realize is he was doing a ton of damage to me, so I started running away and he launched me back, getting me to three HP, so I had to start eating a bunch of these leaves. As the fight kept progressing against Illidan, I kept doing a ton of damage and after he threw his sword, he slammed the ground and I went flying into the air. Okay, please don't die. Oh my gosh, good thing we have these extra hearts. It almost seems like as I keep fighting him, he's getting stronger and stronger. He's in this like purple demon form now. I also noticed that there's green poison on the ground now, and there's a bunch of different swords on the ground spinning, doing tons of damage. I'm unkillable. And as I kept attacking, I noticed I was taking an insane amount of damage, and I kept getting hit constantly by all these swords and the poison. I used my ability to pick up Illidan from a distance and try to do a bunch of damage to him, but it didn't seem to be too effective on him, and he nearly killed me. At this point, I just used my last piece of healing. I have no more healing, and I knew I had had to give it my all, otherwise I was going to die. And with a few more hits, I was able to eliminate Illidan Storm Rage. Oh my gosh, I, I actually did it. I, I defeated Illidan. That was the most difficult fight I've ever had. As you can see, I acquired his war glaives and the cloth that I'm going to use to make Illidan's armor. Well, well, I knew he was too weak. Why are you here? Why are you fighting? Join me. And we will conquer the Shadow Realms and beyond. There is no reward in demon hunting. You know you are one of us, deep down. Are you asking me to join you? After killing all your henchmen? Are you afraid, maybe? Is that, is that what this is? Are you mocking me, peasant? I could crush you with a finger and eat you for dinner. You should be lucky. I offered you anything. If death is your desire, so be it. What? Where, where the heck am I? I have no idea where I just got teleported to. I'm assuming this is something known as the Shadow Realm that he kept talking about, and it's filled with demons. This is a really bad situation to be in because I used all of my healing when fighting Illidan, and now there's a ton of demons, and I have no heals. I used my ability to suck them all into place and tried to use my distance to get some damage done to them, but there was just so many demons, I had to run. I figured the only way to survive all these demons was to go invisible, so I went ahead and ate my purple lotus, and I took off all of my armor. Now that I was fully invisible, none of these demons were actually able to see me, and this is the only way I was able to survive, so I went ahead and started running away while I could. I went up to a really high platform, and as you can see, these demons were literally looking everywhere for me. I had to get the heck out of here. Time moves really fast in the Shadow Realm, and I knew I had to get the heck out of here. I was already in here for four days, and with no health potions left, I was already down to two HP with a ton of demons on top of me. I built up and got hit to one heart and jumped in the portal. Please work. Oh, where the heck am I? Oh my gosh, we're, we're safe. We have been trying to pull you out of the Shadow Realm for days now. You've been there for nearly a week. 
We saw the explosions of demons leaving the area, and we assumed you successfully killed Illidan. But then a darkness grew over the area, and we saw Kill Jaden approaching. What did he do to you? It's all so fuzzy, and I'm really exhausted, but he asked me to join the demons and become his right-hand man after I killed his henchmen. I would bet that he's scared. Their numbers are dwindling. Come with me, and I'll take you back to our camp. You need to prepare for the final push to cleanse the land. Oh, and before I forget, here's some more hearts. This should help you. Sweet, three more hearts? This is definitely gonna help. So, after a couple days travel, this Valkyrie finally led me back to her camp. Okay, this is not even a camp. This is like some sort of castle. This is insane. Wow, I can't believe I didn't find this place earlier. This place is massive, and it seems like there's a ton of demon hunters here. Definitely a great place to build my base. I definitely want to check out this place a little bit more, though. Dang, this place is really awesome, and by the looks of it, there's a nice open spot right here. I think this is actually where I'm going to build my base. And after a couple days of just exploring the town and checking out everything, I went ahead and put my demon slayer blade in there in hopes that one of these demon hunters would trade me for it. And once I turned around, there was an axe on the ground that actually seems like these guys like to trade. This axe was called the Holy Choppa, and it had efficiency 4 on breaking 5. Thank you, demon hunters. I appreciate it, my man. After some successful trading, I then went ahead and spent the rest of day 64 gathering a bunch of birchwood and other supplies to build my base. And after gathering all the required supplies, I then went ahead and started designing my base. And even though this entire area was mainly medieval themed, I didn't really have enough supplies to create that medieval themed look, so I stuck with my oak wood and spruce wood design. I thought I did a fairly good job on this base. I went ahead and made it two stories and finished off the roof. Now that my base is completed, I then went ahead and crafted all of my demon hunter armor. And as you can see, I am now wearing full demon hunter armor. This looks absolutely insane. As I was walking around base, I started to get really mad and saw all this red particles. What's going on? I can't control myself. What is happening? Whoa. Your health is cursed beyond saving. Okay, get, get me out of here. You're feeling the effects of the demon souls, aren't you? Nasty feeling. I had to stop at 12 hearts. I couldn't take it anymore. You stopped at 12 hearts? I'm at 18. I feel really out of control, but so strong. <laughs> Power comes with a price. Just be careful. Don't end up like the Banish Hunters. They live in the Demon Barracks now, under the mighty Kill Jaden. It seems like eating those Demon Souls for hearts is really taking a toll on me. I definitely need to relax and maybe do some harvesting. So I went ahead and traveled around our town, gathered a bunch of silver leaves, as I'm definitely going to need a bunch of healing if I am going to attempt to take down Kill Jaden. I just hope I can keep my emotions under control. These demon soul tablets is really making it hard for me to control myself. On day 69, I was headed back downstairs to check out some of the tents, and I noticed it was all being overrun by demons. Okay, what is going on? I need to put a stop to this right now before they wipe out my entire camp. And just like that, the fighting had begun. It seemed like my entire bottom floor of the camp has been completely overrun by these demons. I had to do whatever I could to try and defend myself and try to eliminate these demons as quickly as possible. I noticed that there was a bunch of demons trying to take out this person named Jess. Jess, get out of there. I'll hold them off. You start running. And it's a good thing I had my Vorglaives and my full set of demon hunter armor. Otherwise, I probably would have been demon me. But since I was so strong, these demons weren't really much of a match for me. I was able to take them out fairly easily. Hey, Jess, I'm glad you're okay. Saving people like this makes me realize what I do what I do. It keeps me on the sane mortal realm and not becoming a demon. And the very next morning, I woke up and instantly checked outside to make sure everything was okay, and I saw a Valkyrie out of nowhere. He then picked me up and started flying me up in the air. What the heck's going on? Hey, put me down. This Valkyrie flew really high up in the air, and there was some sort of island up here. Wait a minute. Where am I? We're really high up in the sky right now, and there's a bunch of other Valkyries. Awaken, young power has grown, and it is time to feast. After seeing a bunch of red everywhere, a bunch of demons started running at me, and I was really confused, because this is where the Valkyries lived. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but there's so many demons. I've got to take these things down. I was doing my best to take them all down, but there was too many, and they knocked me off the platform, and I fell all the way down. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs>
And there I was lying on the ground with no idea what just happened. Yeah, I just remember a bunch of demons and then I fell. I have no idea where I even am. I should probably just look around and see if I can find anything around here. After a few days of traveling in this weird looking area, I ended up finding this building here. So I walked in and saw a demon in the middle. Hello, fellow demon. I love your energy today. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, Kill Jaden? Fellow demon? Wait a second. Um, I mean, sure, I guess we can talk about Kill Jaden. Jaden? Word around the land is that Kill Jaden is fearing a powerful demon hunter and is trying to amass an army to take out this camp a few days away. They better be scared. Oh yeah, that camp. I think I've seen that maybe. You can't escape me, mortal. Trying to hide at an altar made for me. I've come here to talk to you. One last time, I know about your inner struggles. I know you are a demon deep inside. Join me, and we can take over this entire realm. I don't know what to feel anymore. Maybe joining you would be the way to power. Uh, what the heck's going on? Wh um, what happened? I thought you might have gone bad for a moment, but then I saw the conversation. I didn't know you were struggling so much. I knew you weren't bad. Thanks for snapping me out of that. I know where my true loyalties lie. Sometimes it's just really hard to control myself. I'm afraid they may try and attack our village now. We need to hurry back. All these demons you kill and souls you consume makes you stronger, but makes you lose your grasp on reality. Let's get back before it's too late. We then spent the next few days traveling back to our camp. Traitor! It's awfully bold of you to return here. Don't you think I saw what you did? Listen, when I went to the island, all the Valkyries turned into demons. It must have been the demon inside of me that was controlling me. My path is to defeat these mega demons that has been slowly corrupting me, and even worse, I think there may be an attack here soon. The lady here just saved me and snapped me out of it. I I don't believe you, as long as you are gone by sunrise. And in the morning after I woke up, I heard an explosion. And when I looked down, I noticed it was infested with demons that were attacking all of the demon hunters. I had to do something about this. I had only just began the fight and I nearly died already. I had to start eating my silver leaves to regen my health. There was so much explosions and so many demons coming after me. I was not able to take them all down. I had to get the heck out of here. I didn't have that much blocks though, but I was able to build my way out of that situation and start running up here. I had no idea where all of these demons were even coming from. It just it seems like there was a never-ending amount of demons. I ran across this bridge and ran right into a tower and saw a ladder and used this as an opportunity to go up and hopefully they wouldn't be able to get me up here. After getting a few hits, an explosion happened outside which knocked me off the ladder which then I got surrounded. As I was getting surrounded inside, I began running outside and eating silverfish to survive and I saw more demons spawning in front of me. These demons were faster than me and they actually knocked me off the bridge while I was eating silver leaves to heal myself. Our camp was being overrun by demons all of our demon hunters were being taken out. I knew that there was one thing I had to do. I'm sorry and thank you for everything. I'm going to absorb all of the energy here as a last ditch attempt. I likely will not survive. Knowing I was likely going to die, I jumped down anyways, went to the middle of the demons, and at least all the energy I had within me from the demon souls. Oh, what happened? Wait, I'm alive? After the town saw what you did to save them, they knew you could be trusted. We spent a few days brewing this potion to try and save you. It's incredibly powerful, but it only lasts a few days. If you're not able to find and defeat Kill Jaden before the potion runs out, the demonic essence will absorb you. Okay, thanks for the heads up and thanks for this potion. What is this called anyways? Purifying Concoction. I'm gonna head out now and I'm gonna put a stop to this madness and chaos. Take care. I went ahead and drank this purifying concoction potion and I began my journey to go find and defeat Kill Jaden. I noticed it gave me jump and speed boost which apparently lasts for three days. And after a few days of traveling I arrived at this mysterious place that looks like it could be Kill Jaden's lair. The potion I drank was only supposed to work for three days so I probably don't have much time left. As I approached closer I saw Kill Jaden and this is definitely his lair. Welcome back mortal. Or should I say, immortal? I sent all those demons knowing you would kill them, absorb them, and finally become one with me. I'm smarter and stronger than you, and I've been waiting for you the whole time. You've fallen into my trap. 
and you will be joining me to slay your tiny village now. And that's where you made your mistake. You've gifted me the ultimate power. I'm able to control the demonic essence within, and I've become stronger than any enemy you faced. You will bow before me. What? That is impossible. No mortal could ever control that much essence. It's my turn now! And just like that, I ran in and attacked Kill Jaden, and he launched me back and spit this massive fireball at me. I honestly wasn't sure if I had the power to take down Kill Jaden, but my potion effects were still on, so I was able to do good damage. As I was getting some good hits on him, he pushed me back into this puddle of poison. I had to get out of this and use some of my healing. As we kept fighting, he launched another one of those green orbs into the air, and as soon as it lands, it explodes into flames. I definitely need to dodge those. I then was teleported straight across and thrown directly into the air and landed with half a heart. Okay, that was a little bit too close. Come on, we gotta eat some more silver leaves to heal up. These things do a lot of damage, whatever they are. And as you can see, I was pretty much trying to dodge and weave through all the fire and whenever I got hit, it would throw me all the way up in the air and I'd take a bunch of damage. Every time I get close, he'd launch me back and I just live with two and a half hearts. This was way too close. And suddenly there was a bunch of green particles and a bunch of different elementals spawned in front of me. Okay, what the heck is going on? Oh, dude, I swear this thing is getting stronger and stronger as we keep fighting them. The good thing is my Illidan Warglaives were able to take down those elementals pretty quickly, but dang, they did a lot of damage. As the fight continued, he was getting closer and closer to half HP, and he jumped in the air, smashing the ground. He then started floating in the air, and then a bunch of orbs were coming down. I thought it would be fire that came out, but no, it was a bunch of different demon mechs. Okay, come on, dude. Right when I thought this fight couldn't get any harder, there's now a bunch of mechs spawning. Thanks to my overpowered wargleaves, I was able to take down those mechs pretty easily, and it looks like Kill Jaden might be getting a little bit weaker, because my damage is seeming to do a lot more to him. And with Kill Jaden being really weak, I unleashed an insane amount of damage onto him as he spawned a bunch of different elementals around me, and it looks like we eliminated Kill Jaden. Wow, now that was a close battle. After defeating Kill Jaden, I then spent the next couple days traveling back to my camp. On day 100, I finally arrived back at my camp, and suddenly everything started shaking. Oh no, not this again! But what's happening? <laughs> Good morning, Jax. How are you doing? Wait, wait a second. Where am I? And wait, Jax? From my Evoker video? Hold on a second. You're telling me that entire thing was a dream. Well, that was an interesting dream, and it looks like I'm going to have to survive 100 days in the Arctic Ocean. After defeating Kill Jaden, the demon overlord, you wake up in the Arctic Ocean. Will I be able to survive the crazy storms? And can I tame the mythical beasts that live in these lands? Stick around to find out. All right, well, I guess it's just me and you, Jax. We're gonna have to survive the 100 days in the Arctic Ocean, and I think the first thing we need to do is try to find some wood. So let's go ahead and try to find some wood now. All right, guys, we finally found some land, which actually wasn't too far away, but yeah, me and Jax are good now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some wood because I need to get some essential supplies. All right, guys, now that I made my supplies, Jax and I are going to explore some of this island. I just hope there's not anything creepy on here, because if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that we've run into some pretty insane things, and yeah, I'm just not going to get my hopes up. As Jax and I were exploring this Arctic island, I ended up finding some elk. Yeah, I don't even know what these things drop, but unfortunately for these elk, oh my gosh, they're really fast. Okay, get over here, buddy. Get over here. I don't know what they drop, but I definitely am going to have to take them out, because as you guys can see, my hunger is really low and i'm going to need a source of food and unfortunately for these things they are going to be my source of food so now we just got to kill a bunch of these elk for the food Okay, guys, and by the looks of it, the sun is going to be going down fairly soon, and I'm just going to build a temporary shelter inside of this hill because I am not going to try to die to any suspicious animals around here. I mean, I already found elk, which were passive animals, but I do not want to find out what those other animals are because I'm sure there's some scary ones. So let's go ahead and make this base. So the first thing that I did, I went ahead and mined a nice little entrance leading into this mountain area. I wanted to keep it very low key, and this was a temporary base, so I needed it to be very simple. All right. Now I've got myself a little bit of a shelter here for me and Jax. And yeah, the sun has already went down. So I think I'm just going to camp in here for the rest of the night. Block this off so no monsters come in here. And I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. Jax and I have been traveling for a little while now. But wait a second. Are those Arctic wolves? What? Okay, I don't know why I didn't expect these. And wait, 
Wait, Jax. Jax, get... Wait, wait. He just disappeared. Jax. Okay, guys, I think Jax may have gotten a little bit scared of these Arctic wolves, and he kind of just left me. So I've got to take these things down. I should be okay. Okay, wait, wait, come on. A couple more hits. Okay, I'm actually getting really low. Getting really low. Okay, what I need to do is do a little thing like this eat a little bit of this. Okay, now we should be healing up. I should be able to take these things down now that I'm healing up, but I'm a little bit concerned. Where the heck did Jax go? Okay, anyways, let's do this. Let's jump down. Come on. It looks like they're dropping some stuff too. Look, some cobblestone? What the heck? Okay, uh, let's eat some more food to regenerate. I only need to do a few more hits, I think, to take these things down. I, unfortunately, I only have a wood sword. Come on. Okay, I'm on one and a half hearts, bro. This is bad. Okay, let's do a little something like this. And I'll use this. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting a little bit too risky, guys. This is getting a little bit too risky. Let me jump up here. There we go. I should be able to take them out now. The one stuck over there, and okay, there's just one left. I should be okay now. Okay, there we go. So all the Arctic wolves are down, and they dropped some wolf pelts. That's interesting. And also, wait, this isn't a cobblestone. It's a rock? Use it to sharpen your weapons or damage your enemies. Wait a second. You're telling me I can throw this... Oh my gosh. Wait, I actually just threw... Wait, it disappeared. While I keep my eye out for Jax, I want to find some more Arctic wolves because I want to collect some more of their wolf pelts and I need to gather some more of those rocks. If I recall correctly, apparently I can sharpen my weapons and stuff, so that actually could come in handy later on. All right, guys, I just got back to base and unfortunately Jax wasn't here. I, I thought for sure he may have ran back to my base because he got scared of the wolves, but hopefully we find him later on. Anyways, I've got these wolf pelts and what we're going to do is make some armor with them. All right, and as you guys can see, I've now got my full fur armor. This is going to help me keep warm because obviously we're in the Arctic and the weather conditions are not usually good here. And on top of that, it's going to give me a little extra protection if I run into any more creatures. Anyways, let's stay in here for the night. And for the next couple days, I went ahead and harvested a bunch of the trees around my surrounding area to get a bunch of wood. Alright guys, now that I spent the previous two days gathering a bunch of wood and stone materials, I think it's time to move out of my little hut here because this place sucks. So I guess we're just gonna say goodbye to this little house and my idea was I was gonna create myself an ocean side shack. So we need to find the ocean and build a cool base there. Let's do this. Alright guys, and after a little bit of traveling, I ended up finding this nice little elevated area right next to the ocean. So I think I'm gonna be able to make a pretty cool base here. Let's get started. So I went ahead and flattened out the top of the mountain, placed a bunch of torches, and created a dock leading to the ocean. I also lit up the entire place with torches so I'd have no more monsters spawning on my head. I also went ahead and created the front of the base, added a nice little second story, and finished the interior of the first floor. And after finishing the roof of the second floor, I think this base turned out pretty good. And I spent the rest of the night fishing on my dock. And as you can see guys, I think the whole base came along pretty nice of course with the deck and this is the little interior that I haven't showed you. It's just a pretty basic setup here and then of course the upstairs pretty basic as well but it gets the job done. And in the morning after a pretty good night of fishing, I actually got a decent amount of fish that's going to come in handy and okay, what the heck's going on over here? It looks like we got a couple or a few walruses that moved in. Um, how's it going guys? Listen, this is my new estate here so... Uh Okay, well, it doesn't look like these things are really too friendly, and it looks like- Oh my gosh, yeah, this thing does a lot of damage. Okay, at least those ones are really slow. I should be able to take these out one at a time here, slowly but surely. Wow, these things actually have quite a lot of health. Hold on. Okay, I am literally on half a heart right now. I've got to relax. Let's eat some food. Wait, is it drowned? Wait. It's literally in the water right now, okay. And a couple more hits. Okay, yeah, there we go. This thing died. Wait, what did it drop? It dropped a bunch of fish, uh, some rotten flesh, and some more of these cobblestone. Okay, that's good. I guess it ate a little bit of fish earlier, so I'm gonna be able to cook up those fish later. I think it'll be in my best interest to take down these other walruses. Okay, dude, this thing is legit about to kill me. I wish I had a better sword, and my armor really doesn't protect me that much against these things. This armor is pretty much just to protect me from the weather, I think. Okay, those things had a lot more health than I anticipated. I literally went through like 14 of my cooked cod just to be able to kill three of those. Hopefully there's not any more that decide to move in because if that's the case, I might have to relocate because they actually came pretty close to killing me there. All right, I just want to make sure there's no more walruses or... What the heck is that thing? Okay, I am not going this way. I think I moved to a very bad location. I'm just gonna go back inside for the day. Okay, well, hopefully that wolf thing isn't still out here because... Wait a second. 
Guys, I thought I've seen it all, but apparently I have some orcas swimming outside. Um, what is going on here? Are these things friendly? I mean, that, that wolf thing seems to be gone, but these things, wait, did it just give me a fish? Uh, they both just gave me a fish. They, they actually seem pretty friendly. Okay, well, since we've got some friendly orcas, what I want to do is maybe build some sort of orca enclosure here. Some sort of home that they could live in safely, because I know there's a lot of crazy creatures, and I don't want my two little friends dying, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's build myself a home. And as you can see, I started by making an outline for the orcas. I wanted to make sure that they had enough room to still swim around, which as you can see, they enjoy swimming around like crazy. These guys go really quick. I also put some fences so they can't escape. All right, everyone, now that I've finished making my orca enclosure, I did want to do a little bit of traveling. And what the heck even is this thing? I, I literally have never seen one of these before, but they look like there's some sort of sheep and they have these big horns, but they're actually pretty friendly. Unfortunately for them, I'm kind of fat and I need to eat a lot of food and these fish aren't really gonna do it for me so i've got to take these things to Wait a second. That's the wolf thing again that I saw from earlier. It's like stalking me. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna take down a little bit more sheep, but I do not feel comfortable being here. That thing is legitimately stalking me at this point. I'm just gonna get out of here, actually. We're, we're getting out of here. Okay, well, the good thing is I managed to get eight food from that because I really don't have that much food to my name. I definitely need to start making some... S Wait, what is going on? Wait, huh? Okay, this is really bad. I, I don't know what's going on. And little did I know the Frost Lord was causing a storm using his ice crystal. Okay, well, the good thing is it looks like my orcas are still alive. Yeah, I see them both in there. Th that's good. They, they managed to live throughout that storm. It still seems to be a little stormy, but nowhere near as bad. I wonder what caused it to be such a crazy storm, but it looks like my orcas are still healthy. And it looks like, wait, did he just throw something again? Yep, he did. He's throwing me more fish. Th thank you, buddy. Uh, guys, comment down below. What should we name our orcas? We got two of them. One of them's over there swimming around, probably catching some fish. Let me know what you guys think we should name them. And what I want to do for the next couple days is just finalize the base, just clean up the area and make everything look a little bit better. So without further ado, let's do it. As you can see, I started by expanding the dock onto the north side and I cleared out a bunch of the ice because I wanted to make a place where I can boat out from. I also went ahead and added some cool little farm areas with a little campfire. And I even added a separate area on the right side of my house where I could put animals in the future. And now that I finished upgrading my base, I did want to do a little bit of boating around to see if I could find the source of what caused that earthquake. That didn't seem normal, so there must be some sort of sign around here somewhere. I figured I'd pull over here for a little bit and do a little bit of fishing. I see some polar bears over in the distance as well, but it's not looking too nice out, dude. The weather is really bad lately. But anyways, I'm going to gather some fish just so I can survive and... No. Ooh, and it's actually following me. I swear, this thing is literally everywhere. I'm going this way. I'm getting away from this thing. It seems like that giant wolf creature is not around here, and I haven't really gone mining yet, so I need to definitely... What the... Why is there so much iron in this cave? This is literally the most blessed cave I have ever found. So what I'm going to do is actually mine up a ton of this iron, and then I'm going to combine all of my fur armor to make reinforced iron armor. Okay, all my iron is smelting. Wait, what is that? That looks like some sort of ice crystal. W what happens? Can I harvest it? it? It looks like it's harvesting right now. What does this even do? Wait, let's see. Ice crystal. It's just called ice crystal. There's no description. And there seems to be quite a lot of them around here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just gather all of these ice crystals because, to be honest, I feel like they might play a very important role and I, I just don't know what they're used for. So I think it'd be a good idea to gather them all. No, my ice crystal just got blown up by that creeper. That is actually so unfortunate, bro. What is my lock? Okay, and now that we got all of our iron that's been smelted, we're gonna put our armor in here. Do a little something like this. And now we've got a reinforced wolf armor. Okay, yeah. And as you guys see, we have reinforced wolf armor now, which is essentially iron armor combined with wolf armor. And now we're going to go ahead and make the blade. And now to make the sword, we're going to take the iron blocks with some spruce wood and some snow blocks, which creates the icicle reinforced blade. And as you can see, my icicle sword with my frozen armor looks pretty awesome. And it actually has a cool ability. It shoots some sort of ice crystals. It actually looks pretty awesome. So hopefully that does a lot of damage. All Right, guys we finished up mining and i need to head back to base now to deposit all these crystals i got w what is happening w what is this red on my screen come to me prove your worth 
Only then will you learn the mysteries of the land. Otherwise, I will make sure you don't survive another week. Okay, I have no idea what that was. Hopefully, it wasn't that wolf that has been stalking me, but it definitely sounds like that could be the case. Anyways, I think it's safe to say I need to get back to base before I die out here. So, I ended up spending the next couple days just fishing in the ocean, gathering a bunch of food. All right, and after a couple days of fishing, I managed to get myself some good enchantment books. I got rather lucky, but I think this is really going to come into handy because that voice in my head seemed very dangerous and mysterious. So at least this is going to make me a little bit more durable if I do need to fight anything. And as you guys can see, I've enchanted all of my armor. Now I should be good to go. Just in case we run into any hostile creatures out there, I should be good. Now I'm going to begin my journey and try to find this wolf and see where it lives. Guys, after a little bit of traveling, I actually found this cave. Yeah, I'm not sure what the heck lives down here, but this cave does look big enough to be some sort of wolf den. I wonder if that wolf that's been stalking me resides down here. Man, this is a pretty big cave. Oh, yep. Yep, that is that is the wolf that's been stalking me. Oh, okay, he actually sees me. Okay, we need to have a little talk with this thing because I am not sure what the heck's going on. I see you made it. Before we go any further, you need to show your strength and defeat me in combat. Good luck, human. Okay, guys. Well, this frost wolf is not going to go down with that. Oh, my gosh. That thing actually does insane damage. Okay. Locker shield here. Get a couple more. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Yo, chill. Chill. We got to back up a bit, guys. It's actually summoning a lot of other wolves that I'm going to have to take down as well. Dude, I legit do not have any healing potions, and I'm supposed to take down a boss. Are you joking me? Okay. I think I'm going to have to kite him around a little bit and use some of my abilities with my sword. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to kill this thing. Okay. Okay. Block. Okay, this is actually winnable. This is actually winnable. My shield is in good shape right now, and I have... Okay, I am on two hearts. Where did it... Uh-oh. Okay, guys, these frost things do insane amounts of damage. Gotta eat a bit of food to regenerate, and let's try to block a bit of hits. Okay, block that. Get a few more hits on him. I just gotta be really careful of those those things that he throws at me. They're like icicles or something. Oh, yep, there they are. Gotta block those. Those do insane damage. Okay, eat some more of this. Hold up my shield. Block those. Okay, let's see. Get another attack on him like that. Dude, this thing has so much health. Wait, did it just break my shield? Dude, I legit don't even have a shield anymore. This is not good. I gotta use this as cover, I think. I'm gonna have to play this really strategically if I'm gonna beat this thing. Oh, no. There's as many wolves, too. That's not good. Keep running behind here. Let's kill his wolves behind here. He can't see me behind here, which is good. Oh, my God. Dude, these things do insane damage, too. What the heck? How am I supposed to live this? This fight is actually insane. I'm not even kidding right now. This fight is actually insane. Keep running, keep running, keep running. If I stand a chance of living, I'm gonna have to speed run this boss. I'm going in. Come on. Big hits only. Big hits only, guys. Oh! Okay, yeah. He hits insanely hard. I got seven. Oh, get behind here so that doesn't hit me. Dude, I... Oh, my gosh. What the heck was that move? He's still chasing me here, dude. He's still chasing me here. Oh, my gosh, dude. His damage is insane. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Dude, what the heck is that ability, man? What is that ability? It does ridiculous damage. Oh, no. I might go down. No, I can't die. I can't die. Not like this. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm on one heart right now. We've really got to be careful here because it is hardcore mode, and if I die, my world is going to delete. So so let's hope that doesn't happen here. Oh, dude, that thing does insane damage. Okay, dude, I'm on two hearts. I literally am not even close to it, and it's hitting me. Okay, keep going. Keep running. I really don't have that much food left either. Not really much cook stuff left anyways. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dude, this thing, every time it hits me, it does like six hearts, man. I really wish I had some sort of healing. Oh my God. Okay, I'm literally on one heart right now. Keep running, keep running. Oh God, please don't shoot any snowballs at me right now. That would be really bad. Okay, what I want to do is go behind here real quick. Uh, get this, get this. Dude, I need to keep running. I want to see if I'm going to be able to make a shield. I think I do have the supplies to make another shield in my inventory. Well, I just got to keep kiting this thing. It is so freaking fast. Can I go up here maybe real quick, please? Let me get up here. Dude, there's no way that thing just hit me. Okay, guys, we got to keep running. What I'm going to do is go behind here and quickly, as quickly as I possibly can, let's do a little something like this. Come on. Okay. Oh, no. Keep running. Come on. Shield. Go. Oh, run. Okay, I'm getting pretty low. Let's run away. What? Wait, where did this thing even go? Wait, what? He's over here. You've proven your worth, and I believe you may have what it takes to help us slay the Ice Lord terrorizing the lands. I will join you back to camp. Hop on. Wait, so you're saying I can ride on top of you? I mean, okay, here we go. All right. 
Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I can actually ride this thing. Well, since we didn't defeat it, I guess we earned its respect and now we can actually mount this thing and go for a ride. Now that is pretty awesome. And as you can see, I am insanely fast on this wolf. This is something I thought I'd never be able to do. All right, and finally we made it back home. It actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought. And wait a second, we got a few visitors here. Hold on. Wait a second, what are you guys all doing here anyways? We came to talk to you after we saw what you accomplished with the wolf. Word of the land says that you might be the one to help us defeat the Frost Lord. After defeating me, you have what it takes. The next step to defeat the Frost Lord is to tame the mystical Arc Titan that lives out in the wilds. He's a mighty creature, but you can do it. Okay, how are we even gonna do this though? Well first, you need to track around where he is by finding his footprints. Then you need to find a way to knock it out. Then you need to find meat big enough to feed it and tame it. And finally, you need to craft the saddle to control it. And then I can use it to attack the Frost Lord? Yes, yes exactly. exactly. Okay, thanks for the heads up, guys. It sounds good. I'll see what I can do. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to go try and find some footprints. Good thing I've got this mount because that's gonna make it a lot faster, but I'm not even sure where to start looking for footprints. I don't see anything around here. All right, guys. Well, I've been traveling out here for a couple of days. I haven't really found too much. Although, what the heck is this? Hold on. Let me let me dismount off this for a second. This looks like it actually could be some footprints. And there's some redstone in there. Don't mind if I mine a little bit of those. Thank you very much. I'll take some of that. But yeah, this does look like they are footprints and it is leading. Wait, hold on. I think I see something over that. Let me get on my mount. I thought I saw something over here. Oh my god, wait a second. Dude, that has got to be the Arc Titan. Okay, well, he looks a little bit too powerful for me right now. I think it's in my best bet to get out of here because I don't even have potions at this point. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to fight that thing later. All right, so now that me and the Frost Wolf have made it back home, I did want to do a little bit more fishing, gathering up a little bit more food. So let's begin. And I went ahead spending the rest of the day fishing as I do eat a lot of food. I'm kind of fat. I like food. And this is gonna be my last, wait, wait, what the heck was that? Wait, Tranquilizer Blowfish. W what even is this? It looks really, really strange. I I'm not sure what to make of this, but I mean, I guess that's good. I also got a Lure 2 Fishing Rod and I ended up getting a Bane of Arthropods, which is pretty useless, but I don't know what I'm gonna use this Tranquilizer Blowfish for. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think this Tranquilizer Blowfish is actually gonna be used to potentially knock out that boss later on. So we're gonna keep a hold of this. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and harvest all of my farms here because I definitely am going to need some more food for this trip. I'm actually going to go mining and see if I can get myself a bunch of diamonds because I'm actually going to need a lot better armor and weapons if I'm going to be able to fight that Arc Titan boss. So we should get prepared for that. All right, guys. Well, now that we got a bunch of food, it is time to go find ourselves a cave and get some mining done. And after a little bit of travel, I found myself a little cave. So I think I'm going to explore this and hopefully find myself a bunch of diamonds in here. Ooh, and my first little bit of diamonds. Hopefully we can get a bunch of these. Okay, well, that was a pretty good mining clip. I actually got a ton of diamonds and a bunch of other ores. So I guess the right thing to do right now, I should create all my diamond armor. I think we're just gonna get rid of this reinforced wolf armor because I think diamond is a lot better and hopefully we can make some cooler armor later on. So goodbye armor, have fun in the lava. What I'm also gonna do is go ahead and make a new sword. So what I gotta do is first make a couple diamond blocks, combine my snow blocks with the diamond blocks and with one stick, I can create my diamond encrusted blade. And as you guys can see with this diamond encrusted blade, I have a dash ability. When I right click, it dashes me. When I shift right click, I still have that crystal ability. And whenever I hit, wait, look at that. It freezes him. He gets really slow. Okay. That's actually pretty OP. This could come in handy when we're fighting that boss. All right. Good to see you again, buddy. Okay. So now we need to head back to base. All right. And we should be getting home soon. And wait a second. What? This is like the nether, but we're not actually in the nether. This is pretty cursed and a little bit strange, but in a way, this is a blessing. I am actually gonna need some nether supplies, so I'm gonna look at this as a pretty good thing. Even though there's a lot of things here that could probably kill me, I'm gonna go ahead and collect uh, what seems to be, yep, blazes. I'm gonna go ahead and collect a bunch of blaze rods here, and I'm gonna be able to use all this to create my potion. So I'm just gonna sit here and gather these for a bit. All right, well, now that I'm finished killing some blaze rods, I did wanna head over here, because yep, that is true. I did see some nether war. I'm gonna go ahead and just gather a bunch of this soul sand and nether work because this is exactly what I'm going to need to brew all my potions. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm still making my way back home, but it looks like this could potentially be another like nether area or something. I'm not too sure what's going on because this is in the Arctic Ocean. So this really is not making too much sense to me, but I'm going to park my wolf up here and I guess I'll harvest some more stuff. It looks like there's a bunch of mushrooms and stuff in here and potentially some wood. Oh yeah, there is a bunch of wood in here. So I'm going to gather a bunch of mushrooms and wood from here. Okay, this is, this is strange. All right, guys, we just made it back home. It is pretty late outside. I think it's about time that we hit the hay. So we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye to our frost mount for now. And we'll see you in the morning, buddy. All right, guys. So what I want to do now is, of course, enchant all of our armor. Now, the unfortunate thing is, is I don't actually have enough bookshelves to make a proper enchanter, like a level 30 enchanter. But this is going to have to do. And unfortunately, I'm breaking on that. But we got prop one on mostly everything, so that's gonna help. Let's go ahead and enchant our sword as well. And okay, yeah, I'll take sharpness on that. All right, guys. Now that I'm fully enchanted armor, I should be a lot more protected. But but there's also one thing that I wanted to make. Okay, and using our tranquilizer blowfish with some of the mushrooms that we found earlier and a little bit of glass, we're gonna go ahead and craft the sleeping brew. And you guys might be wondering what this sleeping brew is gonna be used for. Well, once I get the boss low enough, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the sleeping brew, which hopefully will knock him out. And then I'm going to try to feed him and tame him because I'd rather have that thing on my team than against me. All right, guys, now I've gotta go find that moose that we spoke to earlier because I believe he has some meat for us that's gonna be used to tame the arc titan let's go find him guys well after an afternoon of travel uh it looks like i may have found the right spot i see a couple moose here and this seems to be the throne this has got to be the right moose it was kind of hard to tell because they all look the same hey moose it's been a little while how's it going thank you for coming to visit me i see you've had luck collecting materials to defeat and tame the arc titan the next thing you will need for me is me to feed him here take this Okay, well, that is a lot of meat, and oh my gosh, it's actually just steak. And I guess I have to transform this into some sort of beast food? Okay, well, hopefully I can do that. Anyways, uh, nice to see you again, Moose. Let's get out of here. Well, we should be getting back soon, and wow, that is a giant group of polar bears. I don't even see any cubs, so we should be all good there, but okay, wait. These things actually look pretty aggressive. I think they're maybe a little bit attracted to the all the steak that I have on me. That, that's gotta be it, because normally they don't attack. So I am a little bit confused, but I've got a lot of abilities that I can use here. Wait, let's use our charge. Oh my gosh, dude. It's actually way too many of them for me to handle, dude. I, I think this is probably a bad idea to fight. I think I'm just going to let these guys, uh, get, let these guys live and get over to my base. Cause there's no way I'm going to kill. There's like 30 of them there. I don't even know how that even happened. All right, guys. Now we got to use this bowl and all the steak that we got. We had a few extra at our base, which is good. Cause I needed to complete that stack. Anyways, now with putting the warp fungus here, this is the beast food that I'm going to use to tame the arc titan okay so now that we have the beast food and the sleeping brew now there's only one thing left that we need and that is the saddle strong enough to ride on top of the arc titan the only way that we're going to be able to get that is we have to search the ocean floor and attempts to find some rare materials and why is there a creeper in a boat i'm just i'm just not going to talk about that anyways yeah let's go search the ocean floor and hopefully find some good materials well guys i've been boating around for a while looking on the sea floor but it just kind of looks empty I i'm not really seeing anything Thing. Hopefully, I get a little bit more lucky later on because I am not finding anything right now. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. What is this down here? This is actually potentially some good stuff, but it looks like it's surrounded by. Is that a shark? Yep, that's definitely a shark. And there's some drown down here. Okay, dude, I did not really come prepared to fight all this. I did not expect all this down here. But it does look like there's a lot of pretty good ores down there that I need to mine. So, okay, let's catch our breath and then let's grab some ores. All right, well, without further ado, let's get down here. Here, and let's go ahead and grab our door. You guys might be a little bit curious why I have a door. Well, this is actually going to allow me, it's going to give me an air pocket and it's going to allow me to mine. So it's actually really, really helpful. There we go. Now I can breathe and okay, we've got a drown right next to us. I don't know if it can attack us. I'm just going to sit here and do my thing. Hopefully it doesn't attack us. Put a couple doors here, block them off. Okay. Let's try to get a bunch of the materials that are in here. I'm not quite sure. Is this a Metheus? We got some gilded blackstone and these doors are actually coming handy. It's being used as almost like a shield. So so yeah, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of supplies. And now that I got all those supplies, I should be able to craft a saddle, which hopefully will let me ride the Arc Titan. I guess we're going to find out. And I spent the rest of the night fishing for some more food. I now need to get the final piece to create this saddle, which means I'm going to have to go find the bighorn sheep because I believe he has what I'm looking for. Oof, after traveling for a little while, it looks like I finally found the bighorn sheep. So let's get off of this because it's, it's honestly pretty hard to climb up the mountain on this giant wolf. Anyways, let's see what he has to say. One of the 
the pieces you'll need to finish the saddle is power for my horn to bind the saddle. Takes of a mine, it's some of the most magical, trust me. Okay, wait, what did he just drop? Is that glowstone? Wait, horn powder, used in crafting the beast saddle. Okay, well, thank you very much, my man. I'm gonna get out of here, and I think it's about time we make ourselves the beast saddle. All right, and finally, I'm back home, and it looks like we got a few visitors over here. Without wasting any more time, I really wanna go ahead and make this saddle so that we could ride on top of the Arc Titan. All right, and with all the supplies that we got earlier, we're gonna be using this to create the Arc Titan saddle. Right-click the beast when it's knocked out and fed. And as you can see when I throw it on the ground, this thing is actually insane. There looks to be a bunch of chests on top, some crates, and even some watermelons. Okay, this saddle's really, really cool. All right, and since I'm going to have an Arc Titan at my base, if everything goes well, I'm definitely going to need a place to put it. So I think I'm going to build a stable. That way it doesn't get away and it has a safe place. Oh, and look at the cute orcas over there. Anyways, let's go ahead and start building a stable. So as you can see, I went ahead and started by outlining the entire area with the spruce wood. I also used some oak wood because I think they look really nice together. And after a long days of work, I was able to finish the entirety of the roof and all of the walls. Well, I honestly think I did a really good job building this stable, and it looks like my little frost mount wolf is actually in there for some reason, buddy. It's not for you, but I guess you can stay in there for now. Okay, well, anyways, after building that stable, I also went ahead and brewed a little bit of potions because I'm assuming I'm gonna need some potions if I am gonna be able to get this Arc Titan relatively weak and hopefully be able to tame him. Anyways, I've got my saddle, I've got my sleeping brew, and my beast food. I should be good to go. I think I'm gonna hop on the frost wolf and go find the Arc Titan. Well, now that I left my base, I am actually on the hunt to try and tame the Arc Titan. I am a weird person. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. All right, well, we gotta be close, because these are the same footprints that we saw before. He was right. Yep. That is the Arc Titan. I can't believe we're actually gonna try and tame this thing, and it looks like he sees me this time. Okay, let's drink our potions of strength and swiftness, and let's see what we can do here. Okay, skeleton, really? I've already gotta deal with an Arc Titan. Now I gotta deal with you. Okay, use this ability, get a good hit on him. Dude, how much health does this thing have? Okay, uh, I am flying. I, I keep forgetting that when I use my sword ability, it also makes me fly. Okay, we gotta watch out because it looks like he has a big clawing ability. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, okay, dude, that does, I, I live with like three and a half hearts. So I gotta make sure I block whenever he does that. Keep blocking. That was some sort of tail whip. Keep blocking. Oh my God, I'm flying, dude. I, I, th this ability is really weird. I don't know if I like this sword ability that makes me like move really fast. Okay, well, I don't know what it just did, but it gave me an opportunity to pop some of my potions again because they only last for like a minute and this thing does take a long time to kill. Okay, wait. What is happening? <gasps> oh my god! Wait, this thing just like looked up in the air I, in like slow motion and then just did like an ultra charge at me. We gotta watch out for this thing. Oh my gosh, dude, I keep flying. Okay, I am now in the water. I don't like being in the water. I do not like being in the water next to this thing. We've almost got it down to half health. We're doing it. Okay, flying. Currently flying. Uh oh. Is it gonna go in the water? Don't go in the water, please. That's just gonna be really weird. <gasps> Oh my God, dude, this thing just launched me all the way. No, it's gonna charge again. It's gonna charge again. Yep. <gasps> oh, it charged into the wall. What is happening? I is this supposed to happen? Oh my God, wait, what just happened? He just broke the entire wall. Um, I, I, did I wasn't even looking. How did that even happen? Okay, we need to pop our potions again. I am actually getting pretty low. And why is this... Dude, this, I don't even know if I can beat this thing. I don't even have that much more potions left. Oh no, it's gonna charge again, isn't it? What just happened, dude? It's like, it's like really getting stuck in the water. Okay, I need to use that to my advantage because it doesn't look like this thing can really swim too well. Okay, block. Oh, no, dude. I keep, I keep swim. This is not good, dude. I, I keep using my right click ability to use my shield and it launches me into the water. Okay, come on. Keep going. We've got this thing pretty low. A few more hits and we should be able to take this Arc Titan down. Well, we don't actually want to take him down, but a few more hits and we should be able to start using our sleeping brew on this thing soon. It should be getting pretty weak. Okay, there's a big charge. He is getting pretty low, so I am... Okay, what the heck is that, dude? He did not do that before. Okay, throw down a potion. Dude, I, I can't even get close to this thing. I probably should get him a little bit more weak before using the sleeping brew. Come on, a few more hits. Okay, dude, I, I have one potion left. I I'm gonna have to use the sleeping brew very shortly. Come on, a few more hits on him here. Come on. Okay, dude, what even is that, dude? He's, he's, he's like upgrading and getting stronger. Okay, he's pretty weak. To, okay, landed in the water, thankfully. Okay, I'm gonna go for the sleeping brew. I'm gonna have to right click this and hopefully it works. Let's go. Okay, wait, is it working? He looks a little bit 
woozy or something. Like, he, he's not attacking me, which is a good sign. Okay, so I think the sleeping brew might be working. Let's give it the beast food. Okay, uh, here, okay, we, we need it to look at us. Okay, here we go. Take this. Wait, I just saw hearts. Wait, I see some particles. Wait, did it work? Wait, it's, it's walking at me. It may have worked. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put on the Arc Titan saddle. Let's see what happens. Come on. Okay, I think it worked. That saddle is actually massive. Dude, I, it didn't really look that big to me, but okay, I'm not gonna question it. Let's see if this works. Okay, I know I said this earlier, but this is something I really thought I'd never do. All right, well, we're almost back home. Okay, I I'm not even gonna question what this orca is doing. It's literally jumping around like it's a frog or something, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It, it seems to be okay. Anyways, me and my frost mount and my new ice titan mount are, uh, are actually arriving back at base. And by the looks of it, that door might be a little bit too small. I may have underestimated the sheer size of this thing, but we'll try to fit through the door and see what happens. All right, guys, so this is how big the ice titan is, and this is my door. Yep, I admit, dude, this thing thing might even be too big for the stable i don't know we're gonna give it a shot and just see if it works all right guys well somehow some way we managed to fit through that door don't ask me how this thing is pretty flexible i guess but anyways it now has a beautiful home it probably can't really move around too much <laughs> i think i may have made this thing a little bit too small but whatever it's kind of cool it, it works guys it works well i'm glad everything worked out with the arc titan and what is even going on down here? What is wrong with these people? At first there was a creeper, and now we've got a little wandering trader. Like this is cursed. I'm just gonna leave them be. And oh, I, I guess the everybody's back. Uh, well, I mean, now that we have the Arc Titan, how are we gonna defeat the Frost Lord? Well, first we need to find his base by locating the epicenter of the ice core that he uses for his power. Then you need to craft a tool strong enough to destabilize the core, fueled by an ice crystal guarded by a large creature. After that, create the powerful frost armor set to stand a chance against him. And finally, the easiest part, build an entire fortress nearby him, wait till he's weak, and then slaughter him. Uh, yeah, sounds easy enough, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll get on it. Nice to see you guys again. Well, guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to locate the epicenter of the core. I'm gonna have to create a tool to destabilize some sort of crystal, and I'm gonna have to gather the ice powerful enough to kill him, and I'm gonna need to build a base close by. Okay, that is going to be interesting. Let's see how this all plays out. All right, and maybe before I go, I should probably do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully, my orcas don't steal any of my fish, though. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 do not eat the seal. Do not eat the seal. He looks okay. Um, hello? Hey, Painful. I'm Cloudberry's cousin. A little birdie told me you needed some tips. Take a boat onto the middle of the ocean to discover the land of the narwhals. They will be able to upgrade your ice deer. Wait, go into the middle of the ocean and make frost armor? How the heck do I even make that? Oh, you don't know how to make the frost deer? It's really quite simple. Just combine those ice crystals you found earlier with diamonds, ice, and snow to make a powerful combination. Good luck! Okay, well, this seems a little weird going into the middle of the ocean. You should be okay to leave now. The orca is not going to take you out, so you can go back into the middle of the ocean now. And there it goes. Don't don't have any weird ideas, orca. Okay, he's gone. He, he escaped through the little hole. Okay. All right. Well, that was interesting. That was a close one. So right now, I only have 16 ice crystals that we did find earlier on, but I think I'm going to need a lot more if I'm going to create my full frost armor. So I think we should go on an ice crystal expedition and try to get a bunch more to create all my armor so let's go well it always comes in handy having my frosty wolf the reason i brought him instead of the arc titan was my arc titan is pretty slow and he's pretty big and it's gonna be pretty hard for me to get him out of that stable so i figured we leave him there but as you can see it looks like this is another one of those ice crystal caves and i think i'm gonna just gather a bunch of them because to be honest i'm not really sure how many of these i'm supposed to get so i'm just gonna gather some ores and gather a bunch of ice crystals all right, well, now that I got a bunch of the ice crystals, let's head back to base, gather some of my diamonds, and I should be able to craft the rest of the frost armor. All right, so now that we got back home, I'm gonna go ahead and craft this ice armor set. And after placing the last ice crystal, you get the great ice chest plate. Take me to the narwhals for an upgrade. Now we just gotta create the rest of the armor and go see the narwhals. And now that I've finished making all of my great ice armor, we're gonna go ahead and throw all that on, and I have my ice encrusted blade, and look at this. We look absolutely insane. I think 
think I'm going to be able to take down that Frost Lord or whatever the elders were telling me his name was earlier. I believe it was the Frost Lord. But before we go into the middle of the ocean and find the narwhals, I do need to brew up some more potions in case of any hostile enemies, as well as I do need to create an ice pickaxe. But the issue is I don't have the supplies for that quite yet. So we're going to go need to travel and get the supplies to create that. All right, guys. Well, I guess we need to go traveling and trying to find the materials used to create the ice pick. Yeah, hopefully we can find it. It might be a little while though. I honestly don't even know where else to really look. I've been traveling for a while. Wait a second. What is this? There seems to be some torches leading into some sort of cave area. This is actually a sign of something, but I, I honestly don't know what it is. Let's, let's go check it out. Okay, what even is this place? Wait. Okay. These polar bears again, dude. Okay, well, at least I'm a little bit more suited for a battle because last time there was about 40 of them. This time there's only like six to eight of them. But dude, they're doing insane damage. Okay, they are doing really insane damage. I've got two and a half hearts, but okay. Good thing we had our armor on because they probably would have took us out. And is this the crystals that we're gonna need for our pickaxe? I honestly don't know, but let's go ahead and harvest these. Okay, there we go. Now we're harvesting them and it's called the ice crystal power core. Maybe Makes a pickaxe able to crack through worlds. Yep, this is definitely what we're gonna need. I honestly don't know how many of these I'm gonna need, but I think I'm just gonna harvest them all just to be safe. Better to have a little bit more than not enough. All right, now that we got all the ice crystal power cores, let's hop back on our frost wolf and go ahead and make our pickaxe. And I finally made it back home, and it's time to create this ice pickaxe. Well, honestly, we don't really have too much diamonds left, but we're gonna go ahead and use a couple of those with the ice crystals to create the core splitter. This thing has efficiency 10, auto smell, and bouncing crack. What the heck does that even mean? It also says a pickaxe imbued with a mythical energy can be used to dissolve power cores. Okay, this thing looks pretty insane as well. Let's go test this. Okay, I'm gonna step a little bit away from my base because I honestly don't know what it's gonna do, but let's go ahead and break this. Wait. Oh, wait. That's cool. It mines multiple blocks at a time. That is going to make mining things a lot easier. I wish I had this a little while ago, but you know what? I'll take it now. I don't know why, but ever since I've put on this frost armor, for some reason, I feel like I can sense where this frost lord lives. So I'm actually going to go running around with my frost wolf and I just... Oh my gosh, I almost just died there. Some creeper just came out of nowhere. That wasn't the creeper from here. But anyways, as I was saying, for some reason, I feel like I can sense where this frost lord is with this armor on. So I'm gonna go look around. I had to get off at the top of this hill to show you guys something amazing. And that is my bad line cosmetics. Make sure to check out the custom cosmetics like this cape in the description down below. Okay guys, we must be getting decently close because it is actually starting to storm again like it was earlier. Like everything is literally shaking. Is there gonna be like an avalanche or something? Like, geez. Okay, let's keep looking around. He's got to be close. Okay, guys, I saw something right in the distance. It hasn't loaded in yet, but... Oh my gosh. This is actually where the Frost Lord's gotta live. Like, this is some sort of Arctic temple. And that looks like some sort of crystal in the middle. I think I'm gonna take the Elder's advice. I'm gonna find a spot nearby and build a base. Okay, let's do this. Okay, guys. I'm only a couple minutes away from that Arctic temple I saw, but I found this really awesome mountain. So I'm gonna parkour up this mountain with my Frost Wolf. And I think I'm gonna build my base at the very top of this mountain. It's gotta be a really safe place since we're really highly elevated. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and build my base here. So as you can see, I went ahead and cleared out the top of the mountain, I also had a nice design leading into the interior. I created a nice little elevator way with ladders leading up, and I created a nice little area above, and I created a nice area on top that I can use as a lookout tower. And as you can see, I built a nice little lookout tower here just in case any weird creatures try to get me up here. And down here is a nice little open area with some farms down there so that I have a nice food source. My frost wolf is already chilling there and a nice little storage area. So yeah, that's my base. Now I think the plan is I'm gonna mount up my frost wolf, head back to the other base and pick up the arc titan. All right, and as you can see, we got the arc titan out of the stable. I got my frosty mount right there and we're gonna head back to our new base now. This thing is a little bit slower so it might take a little bit of time to get back to base. All right. And finally, we have arrived back at my base. Now we just got to get the Arc Titan and my Frost Wolf inside and we should be good. All right. Well, somehow I managed to fit the Arc Titan in here. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze. He is pretty big. But anyways, oh, and I guess my friend Moose is here. And uh, okay, so first off, when is a good time that we attack this Frost Lord anyway? I mean, he is only a few minutes away from here. That answer is simple. We wait till the summer solstice in two weeks to strike. No question about it. Agreed. This 
is the way. All right, well, it looks like we only have two weeks to prepare then. I'm going to spend the next few days gathering a bunch of fish and brewing more potions because I don't think I have enough to take down this Frost Lord. So, Moose, I'll meet up with you again soon. Me and the Frost Wolf have got some work to do. All right, so I just came back from brewing and getting some fish. I have a bunch of cooked cod now to smelt those up, and I have some more potions here just in case I need any more. But I think this much potions should suffice for now. All right, guys, now that I have all my potions, I am now prepared for basically anything. So what I'm going to do is take Cloudberry's cousin's advice and and head into the middle of the ocean to find the land of the narwhals. If you remember, Cloudberry's cousin said the narwhals would be able to upgrade my frost armor, so let's go do that. All right, well, I have been traveling for a little while, and this definitely looks like it could be the land of the narwhals. I honestly wasn't sure whether Cloudberry's cousin was telling me the truth or not, but it looks like she actually was. Let's go talk to these guys. Okay, well, the good thing is all the narwhals seem to be friendly. Nothing's attacking me, and wait, that narwhal has a crown. Okay, let's go talk to that one. I see you've been told about us. You're journey was not pointless. Well, that's a good thing. I truly didn't know whether Cloudberry's cousin was telling me the truth, but I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you're friendly. Since we also want to defeat the Frost Lord any way we can, give us your gear and we will empower it for you. Okay, I suppose I can give you my gear. There it is, and I'll also give you my sword. Yes, they will have abilities that have never been seen before. Here you go. Good luck in your quest. Wait, did he actually enchant it all? I'm kind of confused how he even did this. Wait, let's see. Oh my gosh, wait, this is full protection for everything? Okay, this is actually really OP. I didn't think it would be this good, and I got a sharpness five sword as well. Okay, I wonder if this has any abilities. Let's go ahead. Wait, what? What? What am I shooting? Is that like an ice shard or something? I truly don't even know, but that seems like it's going to come in handy while fighting. Well, thank you so much, Narwhal. I guess I'm going to have to get out of here and head back to base. Let's go see what other abilities this sword has. All right, let's head back over to our boat and uh, let's see. Wait. Are you kidding me? Wait, I can actually walk on water now. So I wonder if I even need a boat. It is a little bit slow though, but that is pretty good if you ask me. I think I still am gonna take my boat though, but hey, I can walk on water now. Let's go. And we're almost home. Let's get up this mountain. Wait, is that my Arc Titan? Hey, buddy, get, get back over here, dude. Okay, guys, this is not good because it looks like he's trying to run away and we can't have the enemies know that we're nearby. I gotta get this thing. Okay, I don't know what my Arc Titan's doing, but he's awfully close to this place. We gotta get in front of him now. Okay, listen, stop, stop, please. Okay, listen. We are not going in there. That is a very dangerous place. I've got to lead you back to base, okay, buddy? So I'm actually going to ride you back. Frost Wolf, you're going to have to follow me. This is not a safe place to be. Okay, let's go, Frost Wolf. That was a little bit too close to comfort. I do not want that boss knowing that we're preparing to fight him. We have got to get out of here. All right, our Titan, we're almost back home. And wait a second. What are you guys doing here? No painful. This is the time to fight. It is the solstice, and that is the reason the Arc Titan was trying to attack. Oh, okay. I really wasn't sure what the heck was going on, to be honest. Well, if you guys say so, let's do this. Frost Lord, you're going down. Okay, by the looks of it, there's a ton of polar bears protecting the Frost Lord, so we've got to take this thing down. Wait, what the heck? Where did all of these moose just come from? Okay, wait. All of these moose seem to be helping us. Okay, that's a good thing that we have all of these, because there seems to be quite a lot of polar bears up here. Oh my gosh, wait. These things are actually really freaking OP. Okay, let's go ahead and take down the rest of these polar bears. Come on, moose. Are these even moose? I don't even know what they are anymore. The caribou, I think. Okay, there's just a few more that we can take down. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was actually relatively easy. Now we just gotta see what the heck's on the inside of this giant building. Okay, well, I guess we should go inside. Just me and the bighorn sheep, and it looks like there is a few more polar bears, but I should be able to take these things down. Come on, just a few more hits. And there we go. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay. Wait, how am I supposed to get through this bedrock? Um, wait, it looks like he's about to ram the wall. Wait, can you ram through bedrock? What? Wait, what? This thing actually just rammed through the bedrock. Um, it doesn't look like my team is really going to be coming in. It looks like this area might be a little bit too small, but hopefully we can get through here. Okay. This kind of looks like some sort of giant ice hallway. I'm just going to follow this ram and hopefully I don't die. And... Where the heck even am I? Dude, this castle is absolutely massive. This has got to be where the Frost Lord lives because there is a lot of ice waterfalls going down. So I guess we're gonna head through the gates and see what's on the other side. Okay, and what even is this place? Is that a, there's a little rabbit over there, but I'm still confused. What is this place? Wait a second. Oh my gosh, that is the Frost Lord. He's almost invisible. That's how much it's snowing right now. Okay, this is going to be a very challenging challenging fight because he looks like he's massive, but let's see what we can do here. I'm 
disappointed my minions let you in this far. I was hoping I could relax and conquer the world without any annoying issues. I guess I'll have to take care of you myself. Yeah, good luck with that. You're gonna need it. Okay, I'm gonna send a bunch of these frost bolts at them, and as you can see, they do a good amount of damage. Wait, what the heck just happened? I just got completely surrounded in what seems to be some sort of frozen layer? Okay, this probably means that there's only one way I'm getting out of here, and that is taking this thing down. So, let's keep up the pressure on this guy. Dude, that stomp does insane damage. I wonder if I'm able to use my shield, though. I need to see if my shield works when he stomps. Come on, block. Okay, I think he was a little bit too far away there, which is good. We're actually doing a really, really good amount of damage. Block. Okay, we blocked that. Let's keep launching these at him. Wait, okay. We're taking a little bit of damage from that, from whatever that is, the fire. Wait, oh my gosh, where the heck did this thing just come from? He's summoning in a bunch of frozen zombies by the looks of it. I, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, take these things down before they add up. I don't want like a hundred of those attacking me, I'll tell you that. Okay, use our distance here. Keep spamming this ability. Lots of damage with our frost bolts. That is a lot. What? Where'd he go? Wait, how did he just get over there? What is happening? Wait, I think the arena just got smaller. He's shrinking the arena. We need to kill him before this arena gets too small. Okay, keep hitting him here. I think we've almost got him down to half. Okay, let's run away. We should pop some of our potions to do some more damage. Okay, we gotta kite these things around though. We gotta kite these things around. <gasps> oh, oh no, no. Oh my God, dude, that was actually insane. I only have three health pots left though. Okay, keep using our frost bolts. They do a lot of damage. Kill these things. Dude, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this thing down. I really don't. Dude, I don't know what's going on. The arena seems like it's getting smaller and smaller every second I turn around. No, dude, the arena's getting so small. Okay, come on. We gotta take this guy down faster. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Oh my gosh. Okay, dude, those giant ice crystals. I need to take these down too. I think that might be healing him or something. I honestly don't know. I don't think I can break that ice crystal. It's too... Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta be careful. I only have one potion left. Okay, now that we got our potions, I think we should head back in. This is my last piece of cooked cod as well. We'll grab some steak. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I have two hearts. We gotta end this fast. Keep spamming our abilities. Keep spamming our abilities. Come on, Frostbolt. We can do this. Okay, guys. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna live this, but I've only got one heart left. Come on, Frostbolts. Oh my gosh, we actually killed them. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh my gosh. Wait, we... Okay, there's a few more things over here. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my gosh. We actually were able to defeat the Frost Sword. Okay, now that we defeated him, that must be the ice crystal that we need to break with our pickaxe. And wait, it's coming down. All right, well, here we go oh my god oh okay i lived i lived and this should hopefully do it oh my god i think we broke the ice crystal i think we actually broke the ice crystal Woo! Wait, it literally just stopped snowing. We were right, guys. That crystal kept causing all the snowstorms throughout some of our days. It's a good thing we got rid of that thing then. Well, honestly, that was a pretty insane fight. Probably one of my best ones yet ever. And this build is insane, but I think it's time we travel back home now. Well, let me tell you, it feels good to be back home safe and sound with all my friends. All right. Well, now that I defeated the Frost Sword, what the heck should I even do now? Wait. What? Painful, congrats on defeating the Frost King, but there is no time to rest. I just got word from my friends in the Amazon that they need your help. Let's go quickly. No time to rest? I gotta go to the Amazon? Wait, what? Okay, um, well, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I've got some more work to do in the Amazon. Okay, well, we're all the way out in the ocean. How the heck are we supposed to get to the Amazon from here? Wait, okay, he's dropping me a boat and some food. Okay, well, good thing I was pretty low on food. Well, it looks like I'm going for a boat ride all the way to the Amazon. Okay, yep, this definitely looks like it's the Amazon. Now, I'm a little bit confused at why they need help, but I guess we'll find out. After saving the Arctic Ocean from the Frost Sword, you are brought to help defend the Amazon Rainforest. Will I be able to solve the mysteries of this cursed jungle? Can I eliminate the Blood Gods taking over the native villages? And finally, will I be able to put a stop to King Rastikan's terror of the possessed creatures? Stick around to find out. Ooh, all right, well, I guess we should get to... What? What the heck? Um, I, I need my arm. Wait, he just took all of my armor. No, 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 sir, sir, please get back here. Okay, I, I don't know if it's really smart to chase an alligator without any of my armor. But guys, seriously, I just took off my armor for the night because it was getting pretty cold and I wanted to be by the campfire and I didn't expect some random alligator just to come and eat all of my stuff. And well, it looks like I'm gonna have to survive 100 days in the Amazon rainforest without armor. What the heck is that? That is a very weird looking zombie. I am going to go this way. Going this way. Well, I guess 
guess I'm gonna say goodbye to my campfire for now because I need to get a bunch of supplies if I'm gonna be able to survive in the Amazon rainforest. I mean, if you guys know anything about the Amazon, you will know that there's a lot of insane creatures and of course I am put in the middle of it once again. All right, now that I got all this wood, let's go ahead and make our jungle wood sword. All right, let's go ahead and put our jungle wood in here with a stick. And just like that, we got the Amazonian wooden blade and it does 50% earth damage. What the heck does that even mean? All right, well, even though all of our stuff got stolen, at least we still have three cod, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to survive in the Amazon. So I think it'd be a good idea to maybe gather a bit more wood and go hunting for some food because we are not gonna survive on three cod. All right, well, this is a sight to see. I'm sorry, little buddy, but I need a bunch of food. So thank you for sacrificing yourself. And wow, there's even cows here. Don't mind if I do. All right, guys. Well, it already seems to be getting pretty dark, so I don't have a home. I think my safest and best option is to find a tree and just climb up the tree like I'm Tarzan. So I'm gonna find myself a tree. As you can see, there's one right here and it's already guarded by zombies. Let's get up here. Okay, we're gonna camp up here for the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, well, it looks like the sun is starting to come out. The sky's lighting up and I can finally get out of this tree. I was getting a little bit cold up here. Anyways, let's do a bit more exploring of the Amazon rainforest and see what we can get into. Well, I guess at some point I'm gonna need to build a base around hey, you. here too. Wait, up here. What the heck was that? No, silly. Up here. In the tree. Wait, what? Who the heck are you? My name's Pogo. I saw you get attacked by that alligator yesterday. Sorry he took all your fun stuff. I guess the narwhal king got my message. I need your help. Well, that's why I'm here, honestly. What can I do to help you? One of my neighboring tribes was put in a trance by some snake demon god thing. And it's really scaring me. So wait, is that why I'm here? To try and help save your friends? Well, not exactly. My original tribe is worried about danger as well. And an unknown magic has been cursing a lot of the jungle creatures recently. Can I tag along with you while you gear up? So we can take out the big bad guys together? Well, you're lucky you're cute. I suppose we can. Let's go ahead and set up camp somewhere around here. Alright, get a little bit more wood here. What the heck is that thing? Wait, it's, is that a frog? I think that must be some sort of tree frog. Oh my god, wait, it's poisonous. Okay, okay. Wow, okay, that thing really didn't have that much health, but holy crap, that did a lot of damage. All right, looks like we'll have to watch out for tree frogs. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, guys, well, if there's gonna be a lot of poisonous tree frogs, I figured I should upgrade my weapon. And for some reason, that tree frog I killed dropped a rabbit's foot. I'm not sure what the heck's going on there, but we're just gonna go with it. All right, now that I got all my stone supplies, I'm gonna go ahead and create my stony jungle blade. As you can see, it does 50% earth damage, and I get a special ability. Shift right click, and you get an earthquake? Whoa, that is actually pretty cool. I wonder if that does a lot of damage. I probably shouldn't test it on Pogo, though. I don't want to hurt Pogo. All right, I wonder where I should build my base. Any uh oh, yep, that's another one of those frogs. Okay, let's give this earthquake ability a try. Uh, okay, wow, it didn't even one shot it. Okay, I guess it doesn't do that much damage, but oh well. Let's go find a good spot to build our base now. Come on, Pogo. All right, guys, well, I've been traveling pretty much all day with Pogo, but we finally found this cool little island. This is where we're gonna set up camp for now. So what I did was I first mined off a bunch of the trees and created a nice little bridge above the river. I then added some wood and some slabs around the roof just to give it that nice little roof feature. Added a nice little river area and that's it. And as you can see, the river leads right into here. I have a little pond and yeah, this is my little base here. I'm not really sure where Pogo... Oh, hey Pogo, how's it going? Um, and I guess Pogo did a little bit of fishing. Okay, well thank you Pogo, I appreciate that. Usually monkeys eat bananas, but you know what? I'll take some fish as well. All right guys, well not too far away from base, I actually found this mine, so I am gonna do a bit of mining. And the great thing is, there's already iron at the edges of the cave, so that is a good start for me. Wait, there was literally one iron. Are, are you joking me? I I'm actually cursed. Okay, you're joking. I mined two different sets of iron and both of them were literally one veins. Like, are you joking me? This is, this is a cursed cave. Now that I got all my armor, let's go ahead and create our iron embedded sword. And there we go. We got our iron embedded sword with full iron. And I still have the special ability of my earthquake and stuff. So I wonder what else this sword can do. All right, well, it looks like it's nighttime out already. Oh, a zombie. Okay, let's test out the sword. 
Wait, why is there green particles when I hit it? What the, what the heck does that even do? Okay, well, I don't know what that does, but I have green particles. Let's go. I had the green particles against zombies, but when I hit a cow, it looks like there is a poison effect. So I guess poison heals zombies. Okay, well, that's good. Now I have a poison effect. Let's head back to base. All right, well, it's a new morning. Pogo, let's get out of here. Let's go try and find those snake people that you were referring to earlier. So let's go. Well, we've been traveling for quite a while now. I've still yet to find any snake people. I really hope Pogo wasn't lying to me, but I feel like she's a little bit too cute to lie to me, so let's keep looking. Okay, what the heck is this thing? I wonder if this is what Pogo was referring to. This is a massive building in the middle of the Amazon. Okay, I guess we should go in. I'm gonna have my sword ready. All right, I already see some fire in there and what the heck? There's oh my god, dude, there's like venomous snakes in here, Pogo. What, what, what did you lead me into? Okay, let's sit Pogo, you stay back. I'm gonna take these things down. It is a good thing I have all this iron on me now. Okay, use my ability. Use my ability. Okay, earthquake ability. And okay. I think, Pogo, you can come in here. I think that was everything. Pogo, I thought you said the people that needed help were here. Hmm. On second thought... I think I meant the other way. Oh my gosh, so you're telling me we came to the wrong place. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go have to find the other place, guys. We went the wrong way. Okay, Pogo, we've been running for quite a while now. How much farther is this place? Like, we literally were going the wrong direction, Pogo. Oh my god, what the heck? Wait, is this the crocodile that took my loot earlier? Okay, let's take this thing down. Come on. Dude, there's like piranhas attacking me. Okay, Pogo, we are not going this way. Oh, I don't understand. Why do you keep leading me into these traps? Okay, well, we, we need to get out of here, Pogo. Keep running, keep running. Okay, Pogo, we are heading back home. I'm giving up for now on finding this temple. I am almost out of food, so let's head back home. All right, let's smelt up this food here. Wait. Feed me. I'm hungry. I want bananas. Bananas? Uh, where the heck are bananas? I haven't seen any of those. I think I just saw a tree right over there. Help me get it. All right, Pogo. Where You can lead me to the banana tree and we'll, we'll get you some bananas. Okay, Pogo, where are these banana trees? We've been running for a few minutes. Oh my god, dude. There, there's a bunch of poisonous frogs, Pogo. Get back to base. We are not finding bananas over here. Okay, Pogo, so you've almost gotten me killed about three times now. Are you sure you want me to save everyone or are you just trying to trap me i'm just a bit clumsy and forgetful that's all i'm sorry okay pogo well there is no bananas over there let's head back to base and i'll give you some other food all right pogo well this is the only other food i have you can have my carrot and my steak and and hopefully you like that i don't have any wait you just asked for a bunch of food and you had 11 raw cod on you. Are you okay? Pogo is a little bit of a jokester, guys. Let's let's smelt this up so that we have a lot more food. And then I want to do one more attempt to try to find that temple that Pogo was talking about. Okay, well, we're going to give this one last try, Pogo. Do not fail me this time. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay, Pogo, let's go. Okay, well, Pogo, we've been traveling for a little while. What is this place? There's some, like, huge temple. Oh, my God. Wait, Pogo. Okay. These might be the people that you're... Oh, my God. They do so much damage. Okay, Pogo, follow me. We need to run. They do way too much damage. There's no way we're going to be able to take them down. Okay, I I'm just running through here. Keep following me, Pogo. You can do it. Okay, well, I lost those guys, but I don't know where Pogo went. Like, oh, Pogo, okay, you're still alive. Okay, that is really good. I had a really bad picture in my mind that these tribal people got you, but I'm glad that you're still alive. Let's... Wait... What is this? A giant staircase. Well, let's go see what's on top. And oh my gosh, what the heck is that thing? I've been waiting for you, my cursed child. You finally found me. I've heard and seen all the awful things you did to that snake village. Look at all these people you've enslaved. Not the first, and certainly not the last. My blood god days are only the beginning. Thanks to the great king, Rastakhan. Bow down to me. I will not give in to your maniacal ways. You can taste my blade. A foolish thing to say for something so fragile. So be it. All right, well, let's see what this thing's got. I have no idea what the heck any of that red stuff is, but let's... Oh, wow, that actually does some pretty good damage. Can't block my shield here. Well... 
Whoa, okay. Yeah, we got to watch out. That thing almost launched me down the staircase. And that would... Oh my God, would be pretty bad. Okay, we got to eat some food to regenerate our health and get back up there. Okay, dude, this thing is actually pretty insane. I got to make sure I'm facing this way so that it doesn't... Okay, why is there so much blood on the ground? And why is there a skeleton attacking me during a boss fight? Okay, get out of here, skeleton. Dude, that is insane. We got to be careful with this thing. Okay, let's get some good hits on him now. Let's get some good hits. Okay, dude, what is that damage, dude? We need to kite this thing out. Otherwise, we're going to die. Unleash a bunch of damage now on Hakar. We can do this. We got to do this for Pogo. Okay, there's some more of these guys. These guys do really good damage, if I remember. Okay, keep blocking my shield. We should be able to take these guys down. Use my earthquake ability. Okay, I think I killed most of them. We've almost got Hakar down to half HP now. This is really good. Come on, let's get some more hits on him. Get some more hits on him. All right, well, we already got this thing pretty low. Probably just a few more hits and we should be able to take down Hakar. Use my earthquake ability. Keep running. Regenerate health with a stake. This would be a lot easier if I had some health potions, man. Like, why do I never have health potions during my fights, dude? This really sucks. Okay. Oh, no, not these guys again. These guys do really good damage. Keep swinging. Okay, come on, dude. He's so low. Dude, he keeps pushing me away every time I try to go in. Okay, take down these guys. Take down these guys. A few more hits. Earthquake ability. Okay, those are dead. Okay, let's go. Let's finish him off. And just one more hit. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh. We actually eliminated Hakar. Well, Pogo, we actually did it. Anyways, let's get out of here. Oh. I feel so freed. Thank you so much for getting rid of the blood god enslaving us. Of course. I'm here to help Pogo in trying to save the Amazon rainforest. Well, if that's the case, you're going to be needing this. What the heck is a Makwahedal? A special tribal blade given only to the fiercest warriors. And you've earned it. It will be necessary to help slay King Raskatan and help put a stop to this once and for all. Okay, well, that's great. I'm not going to stop until I've defeated everyone. Word around the vines is that another large scale attack is happening at a village nearby. Try and find the tribe of the ancients. They will soon need your help. All right, Pogo, you heard him. Let's get out of here and hopefully we'll touch base soon, guys. All right, Pogo. Well, we've been looking around for quite some time now, dude. I have no... Okay, yep. We got to take these things down. We have got to take these things down. I honestly have no idea where this village is, but it seems like there's a lot of alligators and other crazy creatures. Hopefully we can find this village before it's too late. All right, I'm not sure how much longer we need to be looking... Uh Oh, no, not more piranhas, dude. Not more of these piranhas. Oh, my God. Okay, these things do insane damage, even with my extra hearts. Okay, keep getting some hits. Keep getting some hits. Pogo, stay out of the water. This is way too dangerous for you, Pogo. Okay, yep. Yeah, you know what? This is not looking good. I honestly don't think we're going to be able to find that village, Pogo. It's too dangerous out here in the Amazon. Don't talk like that. We can make it. I know we will. You just defeated that snake lord demon god thing. But there's more to do. Okay, Pogo. Well, you are right. We're going to keep going. But first, I think we need to set up a more permanent camp while we figure out what the heck we're going to do. Oh, oh. Can we please make a treehouse? I really love treehouses. Okay, Pogo. I suppose we can make a treehouse. We just need to find a good spot to do that. All right. Okay. Let, let's go, Pogo. Let's go. All right, Pogo. Well, you said treehouse, right? Well, what do you think about these two? I think what we're going to do is I'm going to build a nice treehouse base connecting these two trees together. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I did was gather a bunch of materials because I was gonna need a lot of materials if I'm building a tree house. And then I went ahead and built a nice staircase leading up to the top of this tree house, mined out a nice little area and connected both trees together. I added a little bit of lighting, added a nice little bit of railings around the side so that I don't fall off my tree house. And I built a nice little area on top of the tree. Well, as you can see, the base looks pretty good, and oh my gosh, Pogo, you gotta be careful up there. It is a, uh, it is a long way down, so hopefully you don't fall. But anyways, I think it's time to go mining. I do need to get myself a full set of diamond, because I'm still in my iron armor. So, let's go get some diamonds. All right, well, good thing we had a cave nearby. Well, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of ores, and hopefully find enough diamonds to make myself a full diamond set, and maybe some tools. was not a bad mining trip. I went ahead and got myself full diamond armor and I've got a bunch of extras so I should be able to make a bunch of extra tools. Well, let's head back to base. We probably should be feeding Pogo. She's probably really hungry because we haven't fed her in a little bit of time. All right, home sweet home. And where is Pogo? She was on this leaf earlier and I don't see her around. Maybe she's over here. All right, let's go up here and oh, hey Pogo. Okay, here. This is the only piece of food I have for you. I literally have no other food to my name, but uh, oh, 
Okay, well, oh, 22 raw cod. Okay, guys, has Pogo been fishing or something? Like, uh, okay, I'm not even gonna question where she's getting all this fish, but thank you so much, Pogo. We, we love you. Okay, let's go cook up some fish. All right, there we go. Just finished up cooking all my food and... Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my God, what the heck is that thing? That alligator is a lot bigger than the one that I saw earlier. What in the world is that? Okay, um, I, I honestly don't know what to do. Where's Pogo? Okay, Pogo's up in the tree, just kind of vibing. Okay, um, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay up on this tree and then hopefully he can't get me up here. Okay, it looks like he's like trying to get up to me, but th there's no way. He's way too big to get up. Okay, wait, it looks like he's starting to leave now. Okay, well, it looks like he may have given up, but oh my gosh. Okay, well, the good thing is Pogo and I survived that, and this treehouse seemed to be pretty good. It was really high elevated, so nothing could get us, but I do want to increase the defenses that we have here. So I want to build a moat around this treehouse with some walls to make it even harder for anything to get to us. So let's go ahead and start building that. As you can see, the first thing I did was mine out the entire bottom and fill it all up with water, which is going to help protect my base from any monsters. I then added some torches all around the area with a nice little bridge outlined by a nice wall to protect my base. And as you guys can see, we have a pretty good base now. We got the water here and a bunch of walls. So I definitely think our base is pretty well protected and we shouldn't have anything else to worry about. And let's go up here. What in the world are these things? Wait, okay, well, I guess my base isn't as protected as I, th as I thought it would be because I didn't realize that there was flying things. Like, what the heck even is this thing? I, I don't even have any range. Well, the good thing is, is I have full diamond armor, so these things actually don't do too much damage right now, but uh, yeah, uh, what even are these things, man? My videos are so cursed. Well, I think I was able to eliminate... Oh, okay, nope, okay, there we go. Okay, that is all of them, and one of them dropped a note. It says, like this video or L. So you guys heard it here, okay? You gotta hit the like button. All right, Pogo, I'm gonna talk to you later. I'm gonna drop down here. There's a few things I'm gonna need to find in the jungle. I'm gonna be looking for some bamboo and some feathers because I'm gonna create something really strong. Hey, just what I was looking for, a little family of chickens. Well, guys, unfortunately for you, I need some feathers, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and eliminate your entire family. Hopefully some of you guys drop some flowers, though. And there we go. Okay, three feathers from that. I think I might need a little bit more. Actually, you know, what I think that is enough feathers, but I am gonna need some cocoa beans for this recipe, so I'm gonna gather a bit of these, and then I just need to find a little bit of bamboo. Woohoo! And finally, some bamboo. Okay, this is the last thing that we need for our recipe. I think I see a little bit more over here. Let's gather a little bit more for safe measures. All right, now let's head back to base. I've got something really cool that I'm gonna craft. And we're finally back to base. And using all the supplies that I gathered, I was able to make a blowgun. As you can see, I'm currently holding a blowgun. Yeah, this thing's insane. And as you can see, it shoots arrows. Like, uh, don't ask me where the arrows are coming from. Uh, I, I guess it just has arrows inside of it. But yeah, check out that, man. I can easily just start shooting people from a range with this blow dart gun now. Let's go. All right, well, it felt kind of weird to spend the night at my old base, but it was a lot closer. Anyways, it's time to head back to where... Uh, who the heck is this guy? About time I find you. Did you get lost? Our friends in the snake trap said you were headed our way. We need your help. These mechanical heads are terrorizing our village. Follow me. Well, I suppose I'm gonna follow this guy and attempt to take down some mechanical heads. I'm not too sure what the heck that means, but if it means it's helping him, then I'm gonna do it. Okay, this must be the village and oh, it's these things. Yep, these are the mechanical heads that were attacking me as well at my base. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take these things down before they eliminate all of your people. Okay, I don't know where the rest of these went, but there still seems to be one left here. Okay, come on, we need to get this. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. I don't even think I'm going to be able to catch this thing. It went over this wall. I can't even get past this. Okay, hopefully we can get this thing. Otherwise, he's probably going to come back with even more. Yep, he's gone. Okay, well, this village seems to be pretty terrorized. I don't even see any other people here. Well, at least we got them to leave, but I have a feeling that they're going to be coming back. Well, I've been out here scouting all day, and it looks like those mechanical heads are not coming back, so I think I'm just going to find a bed in here and go to sleep, I guess. Uh, oh, Pogo. Painful. I forgot to tell you when we got here because of all the chaos, but this is my village. Thank you for bringing me home and checking that we were safe, but I want to stay with you. We're on this adventure together. 
Aw, that's so nice of you, Pogo. I mean, I'd love to have you along with me on this adventure. We can do this together. All right, well, I suppose I should get some sleep now. Let's both get some rest so we have a lot of energy for tomorrow. All right, good morning, Pogo. Okay, so what I wanted to do today was actually try and find one of those dinosaurs that the chief was riding and potentially learn how to ride it myself. So let's go look around the village and see if we can find any. All right, well, Pogo, I mean, we've been searching around for quite a while. I don't know if there actually is anything. Wait, what the heck? heck is that thing? Pogo, this dinosaur is huge, and I think I might want to try- Pogo, it's okay. It's okay, Pogo. We are gonna try and ride this thing. Let's, let's see what happens here. Okay, hopefully this thing doesn't kill me, but what if I just punch it? What? Oh my gosh. Pogo, I am actually on this dinosaur. Okay, this thing is pretty hard to control. I'm not gonna lie. I think it doesn't like that I'm on top of it right now, but I think I'm gonna spend the next couple days trying to learn how to control this thing, giving it some food, so hopefully it will trust me a little bit more. Then hopefully we'll have our own pet dinosaur. Well, Pogo, I mean, it really likes me now, but the issue is it ate all of my food. Do you by chance have any more fish for me? I know you have some weird obsession with fish and, uh... Yeah, it would be... Oh my god, wait. Wait, Pogo actually has fish. Pogo, how'd you get 17 cooked cod? Okay, you know, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna question you, Pogo. I'm not even gonna question. Now that this thing's tamed, I'm able to ride this thing all around the map. So I think I'm gonna get a good night's sleep now, Pogo. Let's head back down to base. It's time for bed. All right, so Pogo, what are you looking at? Oh, wait, I think we got a tribal warrior outside. Hold on, let's see what he has to say. Our scouts warned us of another impending attack, a much bigger one. Help us set up the defense is painful. All right, Pogo. Well, I guess you can stay in here for now. It looks like me and this tribal warrior have got a lot of defenses to set up because apparently those mechanical heads might be coming back with vengeance. So as you can see, the first thing I did was put walls all throughout the pathways to make it a lot harder for the mobs to get to me. I then created a giant stone watchtower on top of the temple. I figured I wanted to be at a high location. That way I could see if any monsters are coming. All right, Pogo. I wonder what we should do this mo Uh-oh. The Talik are outside of our base. Okay. Yep, the tribal warriors are already fighting them. I don't know how many there are. There seems to be quite a few, though, and they actually do quite a lot of damage. Okay. I'm getting smited by lightnings. Okay, I'm actually almost dead. Uh, okay. I need to get in this building. I'm getting in this building. Okay. Um, uh, loot. Wait. What? Okay. Sorry to whoever lives here. I'm going to need all of these potions because I am literally about to die. Somehow being striked by lightning inside of a house. Um, and what does this book even say? Comment baldful? Okay. What is this book? We're going to leave that there for the trash can, but we definitely need to pop a little bit of potions here if we are going to be able to take these things down. Okay. Well, at least we got some potions now. We should be able to help out the tribal warriors now. Oh my gosh, dude. This strength dude really does a lot of damage. Uh, let me keep checking these barricades. I think we got most of them from the front. Let's check the back now. Okay, yep, there's definitely a lot of them back here. Okay, slowly but surely, we should be able to take these things down. I don't know where any of the tribal warriors are. They're just watching me here. Come on, guys, help me out. Okay, just a few more hits, and okay. I think that is the last of the Talik. I, I, I need to make sure that's everything, though. And yep, it looks like they've taken over my watchtower now. Okay, we gotta take these things down. Come on, there's still a, quite a lot of them. I didn't anticipate there being this many, but I'm just thankful that we have these potions just in case. Okay, just a couple more hits, and oh, God. Uh, dude, what the heck is that? Oh, no. I'm taking so much damage, dude. Okay, come on. A few more hits on this thing. A few more hits. Okay, I'm about to die. About to die. About to die. Use these potions. Okay, it looks like there's just one more. And where the heck is he go? What is that thing? Okay, that's got to be the leader. Let's go take this thing down. And it looks like he's trying to get away. Wait, he's knocking down all the trees. What the heck? Okay, let's see. What can we get? Uh, cookies. I'll take some cookies. Everybody loves a little bit of cookies. Grab this. And yeah, it looks like he's trying to get away. Oh, okay. Got to watch out for that. Let's go chase this thing down. I think I've got the potions to potentially be able to take this thing out. Okay, I've been running for a little bit. I don't know where he is, but I am seeing explosions and there's a giant trail. So I'm just going to take a guess and say that he's this way, but I am fairly low. I gotta be careful. And real quick, check out my bad line cosmetics. You can use code PAINFUL to save yourself 10% off. Linked in the description below. Well, I don't know where the explosions are anymore, but I did find this massive temple, so he must be around here. And yep, that is Talok. Okay, well, here goes nothing, I guess. You fool. King Rastakhan will have your head for trying to defend that village. I'm even stronger than you, and even I am but a pawn in a bigger game. Face my wrath. 
Okay, well, I guess we're fighting. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this speed potion. Yep, and it's coming for me. Okay, let's see what we can do here against this Taloc. Let's get some hits on. Oh my god, dude, that thing almost one-shot me. Okay, that's not good, especially because I forgot my blow gun. I don't really have any long range against this thing. Okay, block my shield. Yes, okay, I think he missed that attack. Keep blocking, keep blocking, because that damage is too much to handle, honestly. That damage is way too much to handle. Okay, okay, that's a big smash. <gasps> Oh, okay, yeah, good thing I have this shield. Wait, that actually almost broke my shield. Okay, we've got to be... What the heck are those? Um, These are like mini Talic bosses. I do not like these things. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this thing, dude. I literally... My shield's almost broken. Okay, avoid that. Oh my... What the heck's your... Oh my god, what was that damage? Okay, my speed and strength are almost over already. Okay, run past that, run past that. I think the only way we can kill this guy is if we run around his smashes in the ground. Keep dodging and weaving, keep dodging and weaving. Oh, dude... What the heck is that damage? I only have one potion left or two potions. Okay, drinking speed, drinking strength. Dude, this is going to be a really close battle, man. Okay, eat this to regenerate health. Hide behind this. What, what the heck? I'm on half a heart, bro. Okay, we need to we need to run for a second. We need to run. Okay, to be honest, I have no clue if I'm going to be able to take this thing down, but I'm going to try. Oh, dude, what is that ability, man? That's I I've got no health left, bro. I got no health. I honestly don't know if I can do this. Keep hitting, keep hitting. Just a few more hits and we should be able to take this thing down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive if it does that ability again. Oh my god, what the heck is... Oh no, there's fire. There's fire everywhere. Oh, block. Dude, my shield has almost no health left on it. Oh god, he's throwing boulders. He's throwing boulders. I'm on half a heart. Okay, let's go this way. We got to hide until we healed up. Okay, these cookies really came in handy. It was my last piece of food source. But yo, sh real quick, shout out to the cookie army if any of you guys are watching this video as well. But I think we should be able to... Oh no, my shield's broken. Okay, let's run a little bit more to regen. Dodge the boulders, dodge the boulders. Okay, go this way. Okay, come on. We should be able to win here. We should be able to win here. Come on. Yes! Okay, we defeated the Talic. Okay, let's defeat this thing too. Come on. Come on, little guy. Okay, there we go. I, I can't believe we actually defeated the Talic. That is actually crazy. All right, well, now that I defeated the Talic, there's got to be some, like, loot around here, right? Like, there's no way that thing didn't... Okay, well, I was right, and this looks like it's the Talic's armor? Hold on, let's see this. Talic shield. Okay, now that we've defeated him, we've gained access to his entire armor set. And as you can see, I am now in full Talic armor. This is absolutely crazy. All right, on that note, I think it's time we return back to the village with all the tribal warriors. Well, you know you're getting close to the village when you see this huge path of destruction, but dang, it actually feels a lot better to be back home. All right, well, hopefully Pogo's still okay. Pogo! Okay, Pogo is still okay. Looks like she was just running in circles. Okay, Pogo, I know it's been a rough day, but it's time to get some sleep, so you can, you can have this bed here. I'll have this one, and I'll see you in the morning. Pointless, futile, no hope. Give up your puny rainforest. Oh my gosh, okay, that was just a nightmare. P Pogo? Oh, Pogo's hiding in the co It's okay, Pogo. It was just a nightmare. It is nothing to be worried about. At least I think it was just a nightmare anyways. Wait, what are you looking at outside, Pogo? Let me have a look. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh, oh my, okay. Uh, I don't know even how all of these things got here, but for they have some weird particles around them. And they seem to have some wither ability. I'm taking literally wither damage from crocodiles and snakes. Okay, I wonder if those came from King Rasticon. Because honestly, I have no clue where they just came from. Pogo, are you okay? Okay, Pogo seems to be a little bit frightened. She's just staring at the wall. It's a Pogo, here, take a cookie. It'll be okay, Pogo. Okay, Pogo, I'm just gonna quickly go search around the town you can stay by my side because i don't want anything else attacking us but i do want to try and scavenge some more chests to see if i can find any more of those potions because that really came in handy when i was fighting talic there's got to be some more loot in these chests man there's so many of them laying around and there was a lot of tribal warriors that lived here come on is anything in this barrel no okay I'll, i mean i'll take some ender pearls that's that's good at least and some more potions okay well to all the tribal warriors that live here i am sorry but i'm gonna need these potions a lot more than you are and how did pogo even get up there. I, you know what? She's a monkey. I, I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Okay, Pogo, first things first. Do you by chance have any fish? I have only 10 cookies left and, you know, I need fish. I'm also... Uh, 
Oh, thanks for the cookies. And wait, you do have fish for 24 fish. Okay, once again, not gonna ask how you got it, but Pogo, we have a little adventure, okay? I'm sick and tired of King Rastakon, and I do not wanna have any more nightmares, okay? So I wanna go ahead and put a stop to King Rastakon and hopefully remove his corruption from the jungle. So without further ado, let's do this. On it, let's go. Well, we've been running out here for a little while. I'm just letting Pogo lead the way. She's got those monkey senses and yeah, so we're just kind of following her scent. Hopefully she could lead us into the right direction. Pogo got a little bit ahead of me, but I found this ruins here. I I'm assuming Pogo's gotta be in here. There's Pogo. Oh wait, it's one of the tribal people. Uh, are you okay? Rasakan, he did this to us all, no other survivors. Please save the land, painful. Rastikon seems like a bad guy. Oh, oh, that just reminded me of something I heard my tribe talk about. If you gather the relics from the other bosses you killed, we could probably build something to get to the final boss. What? Why are you just remembering this right now, Pogo? We already left their areas. I don't know. But just remember, I'm cute. Well, I guess Pogo does have a point. She is pretty cute. All right. Well, I guess we'll follow Pogo and maybe try to find some of these relics. Back to where we fought Hakarin. Pogo, get back down here. There's a snake coming straight for you. Okay, we've, we've got to take down this snake. And I have a feeling for some reason, whatever relic this is, is going to be guarded by a lot of... Yep. My feeling was accurate. My feeling was definitely accurate. There's a lot of snakes up here. Okay, use our potion. We got to make sure we don't die here. A few more hits. I should be able to take these things down. Pogo, stay back. I do not want you dying here. Okay, okay, come on. Block my shield a little bit. Okay, and there we go. Okay, Pogo, come up. It's okay, Pogo. Where, where, where'd Pogo go? Pogo? Oh, there you are, Pogo. Okay, let's see what kind of... The oh, wait, there it is. This must be the relic. This is called the Hakar Temple piece. Okay, this is one of the items we needed. All right, well, now that we've got that relic... Oh, well, thanks for the cookie. Now that we got that relic, guys, Pogo's gonna lead us back to Talik's place, and hopefully there's a relic there for us as well. Okay, we finally arrived back at Talik's place. I didn't actually search the premises, so there's gotta be a relic in here somewhere. Okay, okay, yeah, this is pretty high. I'm just gonna enter Pearl. And there's gotta be a relic in here. Dang, it was right here. I didn't even go in here last time. Okay, now we got Talik's relic and the Hakar's relic. All right, let's head back home and... What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, is that King Rastakhan? Didn't I already tell you to leave? You are not my target. Your jungle essence is too weak for me. Be gone. Okay, what the heck? He just summoned a bunch of these crocodiles on me. He was most definitely responsible for summoning all these in my villages. Oh my god, they're damaged. They do so much damage. Okay, come on. We should be able to take these down. I lived through it once. I'm gonna live through it again. Okay, keep splashing down health potions so I don't die. And okay, dude, this is getting a... I, I don't even think I can kill them. I only have two potions left. Okay, there's only a few left. I should be able to take these things down. Wait, no, he just went through his portal. He's gone. What... What the heck? Okay, let's kill the rest of these here. I, honestly, I don't even know where Pogo went. I think Pogo la Pogo got scared and is hiding somewhere, I think. Hopefully, I can kill these things. Just a few more hits. Just a few more hits. And, okay. Where does this portal even lead? Like, it's... What is this? Rastakhan's portal essence. Okay, well, this thing might come in handy later. I just hope we can find Pogo. Maybe Pogo decided to run back to my base. All right, skeleton. You stand no chance against me. You stand no chance against me. All right, let's head back to base and hope... Hopefully, we'll find Pogo there. All right, guys. Well, I've been running back home, and what the heck is this place? Is this some sort of nether biome in the overworld? Okay. Well, this is a painful video, so I am honestly not too surprised about that. I'm going to go ahead and gather a little bit of these mushrooms, and I think I should maybe gather some of this soul sand and maybe even some of the trees for the road home. But yeah, hopefully, Pogo is at home. Let's do some gathering, and we'll go back home. Okay, and of course, there's blazes because we're in the overworld. This really doesn't make any sense but let's go ahead and take down some of these guys because i could potentially use some more potions and to be honest i'm not sure if there's any more potions back at the village so i should probably just get some of these supplies just in case Well, let me tell you, it feels good to be back at the village. I just hope that Pogo's in here. Uh, I don't see him around here. I didn't even know there was a room. Oh, Pogo, you're alive. Okay, here, take some. Okay, I only have rotten flesh. You can have some of that. Do you by chance have any more of that fish? I mean, I know I just gave you rotten flesh, but I don't have any food, okay? I'm kind of fat. Okay, uh, once again, Pogo, you never disappoint. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and brew some potions. You can just chill out in here for now. All right, now that I'm done brewing, I'm gonna gather all these supplies, and I guess I'm just gonna go to bed for the night. All right, another day to go. 
Pogo, what the heck are you looking at? Oh, you, okay. Yeah, these are just the tribal warriors. It's all good. Uh, how's it going today? In order to defeat the true evils deep in the jungle, you're going to need a strong mount to get that deep. Take one of these. They are the strongest option in the current century. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to ride this thing. How do you ride this? Oh, um, okay. Pogo, Pogo, look at me. Okay, this is interesting. This is just a normal painful video at this point. This is just some crazy stuff. Okay, well, I guess I should try to learn how to ride these things because they are pretty hard to control. Maybe I'll spend the next couple days trying to learn how to ride this thing properly and eliminate some creatures in the Amazon jungle. All right, little buddy, this is gonna be our first test. I think I see... Yep, these are some more of these corrupted animals that we saw earlier. But the good thing is I'm a lot faster now that I'm riding this thing. So these things should have a hard time hitting me honestly okay so that crocodile was taken down pretty e what is this thing what even is this okay come on buddy we got to move a bit faster than this this is actually really good it seems like riding this thing it makes it really hard for the enemies to hit me okay well i think i have a fairly good grasp on how to ride this thing maybe i'll try to take down a couple more things all right let's put this thing to the test wow he's actually pretty quick in the water i'm not gonna lie okay let's take these things down well, we finally made it back. I don't really have a name for this thing quite yet, so comment down below a good name and oh, hey, how's it going again? Our scouts are reporting movement of Rastakhan and his trail of destruction to the south. Move quickly if you want to catch him and good luck. Okay, well, it looks like we're headed south, little buddy. I, I still don't know what I should name you, but whatever. Okay, let's go. Uh, thanks for the thanks for the notice, and I'll see you later. Okay, well, we've been traveling out here for a little while, and I still haven't fed the dino. So, Pogo, stay here with the dino. Make sure you guys are safe. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some food for you guys. All right, I don't really know where to go. <gasps> what, what, what the heck is this? Painful, painful. Wake up. We need to get out of here. And little did I know, while I was knocked out, a Talic minion was dragging me to the temple to sacrifice me. Today, we gather around this fleshy mortal to achieve a higher power. King Rastakhan will be very proud of us. Get ready to feast my enslaved souls. When the moon reaches its highest point, this ceremony will begin. Ah, let go of my friend. Pogo? Come on, Painful. Let's get out of here. Quickly. Uh, what the heck? How are you shooting arrows? You know what? I am not even going to question Pogo, but Pogo saved the day, everybody. Okay, let's get the heck out of here before I get sacrificed. Honestly, don't know where the heck we're going, but we've been traveling out here in the Amazon rainforest for a while. Oh, no, no, Pogo, get away. Th this, this cat literally just tried to eat you, Pogo. I just saved you. Okay, let's keep going. I honestly... I honestly don't know where we're going, Pogo, but oh my god, wait, it's the dino that we lost earlier. Wow, it is pretty great to see this thing again, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, I I mean, Pogo, I only have three cooked cut. oh, I was gonna ask you for some more fish, but hey, me and the dino can eat this. Here you go, buddy, take that. And, well, now he's nice and fed, wait... Is that a beam of light? What the heck's going on over there? Okay, Pogo. Well, we should probably go check out that beam of light. So I'm going to hop on the dino and you lead the way, Pogo. You lead the way. Okay, Pogo. Wait, this seems like it's the same temple that I was being sacrificed at. Why is there a light there? And okay, I think with the help of Pogo, we should be able to take... Oh my God. We should be able to take these things down, I hope. Okay, there is quite a lot of them, Pogo. Use your abilities that do a lot of damage, Pogo, please. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this on my own. Oh my God. What the heck is that noise? Oh, man, they actually do pretty good damage. Let's go ahead and get a few more hits on this guy here. And a few more hits. We should be able to take these things down. Okay, Pogo, here's the ring of light. I think King Rastakhan was supposed to sacrifice me tonight, but I think with the relics that we found earlier, we might be able to make a portal to his realm. Wait, I forgot the relics. Oh, no. I, I think we might have to travel all the way back. Oh, Okay. Well, uh, thank you, Pogo. I guess Pogo noticed that I forgot the relics. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is build a portal that hopefully will allow us to reach King Rastakhan's realm. I also just realized I don't even have any building supplies to be able to make this portal. Pogo, do you by chance have any supplies for me as well? Like, I know you brought over the relic and you ha always have a lot of food on you. Oh, okay. Pogo, I, I am not even gonna question you at this point, okay? I am not even gonna question you. Thank you so much. Now we can get to work. So as you can see, I mined out this giant temple-like build, added some jungle wood because I figured that fits the aesthetic, and I built a nice little area to fit the portal. And as you guys can see, I finished up the portal here, and it's just me and Pogo. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw the Talic Relic, the Hakar Temple piece, and the Rascon's Portal Essence in here, and it should... 
Yep, there we go. Okay, so if all goes well, Pogo, I think this is going to lead us to Rastakhan's area. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, I think I think we're going through the portal. I can't really tell what the heck's going on, but I think this is going to bring us to his lair. Okay, Pogo, I think we've arrived, and I believe that's King Rastakhan, the guy that got away from us before. We should have a chat with him. Who are you? Despite all my efforts, you are like the bug that just won't leave me alone. Let me take over this jungle in peace. I'm sorry, Rastakhan, but you are not going to be taking over this jungle. In fact, me and my little friend Pogo are here to take you down. Okay, Pogo, use your blow dart gun, because it doesn't look like Rastakhan is very happy with us. I'm going to drink my potions, and it looks like Pogo's already doing some damage. Just a little little bit of damage but hey oh okay i blocked that that actually didn't do any damage since i used my shield there gotta make sure you okay yep we gotta make sure we block those because that's gonna start adding where are all these skeletons coming from raised skeleton it looks like okay use my potion that did a lot of damage so he has some sort of skeleton ability we gotta watch out for that okay keep hitting him good job pogo you've got him pretty low so far uh let's go ahead and use some of our potions here what the heck's that? What are these? These are some sort of like blood elementals. Okay, defeated that thing. Let's defeat this one. Pogo, focus all of the elementals around here. We gotta kill all of the adds because their damage is definitely gonna... What the heck's that? Okay, let's go over here. I gotta eat some food so my health regenerates. Keep shooting them, Pogo. Let's keep doing this. Our... Oh, okay. Use my potion. That does a lot of damage. And we've got them nearly to half health now. We actually do insane damage with this talent gear. Okay, yep. That's a lot more skeletons. We gotta keep swinging. Okay, I do not want to be standing in that blood. I think that does damage. Eat some more food and let's block my shield because I don't know what the heck he was... What is that skeleton doing? It just bounced off the floor and died. I'm not even going to question that. Okay, a few more hits. We should be able to take these uh, these elementals down. Use more potions. Dude, I only have three potions left. This could actually be pretty bad. Let's go ahead and repot our speed and strength. Pogo, cover me while I drink my potions. Cover me. Okay, he's really, really mad at us. I'm going to go behind here. Eat some food and okay, we should be able to get him rather low right now. Come on, just a few more hits and this thing's gonna go down, I think. Okay, let's take down this elemental as well, because he... I don't want anybody killing Pogo. Okay, block my shield, block my shield. Okay, go. Okay, he's getting really low now. He's about just below three quarters, and we should be able to take him down with just a few more hits. Impossible. How could you defeat me? I am all-knowing. Well, me and Pogo are a little bit stronger than we look. Ah, I will have no pity. You've taken so much from me, I can only return the favor. I believe you may find you may not have much to return home to anymore. Your threats don't scare us. Anyways, your time has come. And just like that, guys, Pogo and I have defeated King Rastakhan. Now that is what I'm talking about. All right, Pogo, well, it feels good to be back, huh? What the heck? Who's that guy? Okay, Pogo, let's go have a chat with that guy. And it's weird. He landed a helicopter on a house. That is interesting. This must be urgent. Get in fast. Something awful has happened in your homeland. We need your help now. Uh, what the heck? Something in my homeland? Okay, Pogo, unfortunately, you aren't able to come, but I'll give you all my armor and all of my potions, Pogo. You're going to use all that stuff to protect the Amazon rainforest. I'll see you in a bit, hopefully. Stay safe. What? Where am I? And where did all my levels go? And where is everyone? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to survive 100 days in a zombie apocalypse. With his dying breath, King Rastakhan cursed my homeland. With no time to spare, I rushed to a plane to get home. And what I found was devastating. My entire city was infested with zombies. Now it's up to me to find the cause of this and make things right. Can I put an end to this threat and save what's left of my city? Stick around to find out. Okay, and we've arrived at my home base. And it looks a little bit overgrown. Like, what the heck even happened here? It looks really old. And where is everybody? Wait, where's my pilot going? Um, okay. Well, I, I honestly don't know what he's doing. He looks kind of scared, but, uh, okay. See you later, I guess. This place has, like, nobody here anymore. It looks like nobody's lived here for years. It looks completely overgrown. This is not a good sign. The pilot did leave me some supplies that might come in handy later. Okay. I'm a little concerned that I can't find any... Military? Wait, what the heck's the military doing here? Sir, who are you and why are you showing up now? I'm painful and I was brought here from the Amazon rainforest to help defend my home base. What what the heck's been going on? Well, painful, take this baseball bat fast and turn around. There's a horde incoming. Wait, horde incoming? Survivalist baseball bat? What, what do you mean? I have a bad feeling about this, but what the heck... Oh my god, what the heck is that thing? Okay, military people, are you gonna help us out here? Oh, dude, that actually does a lot. 
Okay, yep, I gotta get back to my military guards because that thing does insane damage. Oh, okay, the military is actually helping out a lot. Okay, wait, are the zombies crawling at me? What the? Since when do zombies crawl in Minecraft? Okay, this is, this is very cursed. Wait, he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay, there we go. Um, Is there anything else out here? Oh, yeah, th there's quite a lot of them. Okay, I do not like this big guy. I feel like the best strategy here would be to bring them into the military where the military can use their, what is that, an M4? Yeah, start shooting him, please. This is, this is not acceptable. Okay, well, the military seems pretty strong. I guess it's a good thing I have them on my side. Okay, and there's just a couple more to take. Okay, I'm almost dead, but one more hit. There we go. Okay, I think we've eliminated the zombies in this area. That's good. Good. Thanks for helping hold off the horde. They might have ripped us to shreds. Sadly, we don't have enough supplies to help you out, so we're going to have to go off on your own. Uh, what do you mean? And what is even happening here? Oh, just your typical zombie apocalypse, reactor blown, end of the world kind of thing. You won't survive long at night, so you better find shelter fast. Well, I guess I need to go find some shelter. I honestly don't know where's a safe spot to go, though, to be honest. I honestly don't want to go too far away from the military guard, so I think I'm going to find shelter maybe on the second floor of this terminal here. This seems like it could be a good spot. Okay, I'm in some sort of giant cafeteria by the looks of it, and it seems like there's not too many zombies that are living here right now, so I, I think these are the only two, so this seems like it could be a good place to set camp for the night. This is called the Japanese Fish and hopefully there's a little bit of food because I only got raw beef. Let's take a look in here. Oh yeah, we got some tropical fish, some soup. Okay, this is actually good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe spend the rest of the night just sitting in this corner. I mean, there's no bed, so this is the best I can do for now. Day two honestly hasn't been treating me any better either. I've been wandering around this cafe trying to find any sort of food or any people to be honest. And of course, it's infested with more zombies. Okay, let's go ahead and take these things down. I'm just very happy I have this wooden bat thing. That, that at least is gonna help me take these things down. Okay, wait, how does he fit under this thing, dude? Holy, these things have a lot of health. Like I've hit this thing like 10 times. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day scavenging and just trying to find some food. There's some cake here. I'll go ahead and eat that. And yeah, let's keep looking around, see what we can find. Ooh, there is a chest over here. This is like the first chest I found other than the one on my helic. Wait, is that a... Okay, this is very weird. There's a zombie in the wall. Okay, you know what, buddy? I'm just gonna leave you in there. You, you have a good time there. Okay, wait. What is in here? Wooden scrap. Bandages. Okay, that's gonna be able to heal us. Um, And some steak. Okay, we actually needed some cooked steak. But my baseball bat is pretty damaged. I wonder if I can repair it. Wait, I can actually repair it with the wooden scrap. Okay, look at this. With one more wooden scrap, it's now fully repaired. Okay, hopefully we find some more of this wooden scrap in the future. Because there is a lot of zombies out there. So we need to keep this thing repaired. I'm going to need some gear. So I think heading into the plane, I might be able to find some luggage or something from some old passengers. Wait, are these zombies potentially the passengers of this plane? Okay, this is kind of strange. I'm sorry, guys, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to survive. I could possibly be killing the pilot of this plane from all I know, but you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I've gotta do what I gotta do to survive. And hopefully there's some luggage. Okay, dude, there's a lot of them that were on this plane. Okay, come on. A few more hits. You should be able to take these down. Okay, well, I think I've eliminated the passengers that were on this plane and... Ooh, Air Maxes. Okay, I'm gonna have the hops. Maybe we'll do a slam dunk or something. Okay, let's get that. We have some bandages, uh, which is good. And maybe there's a little bit more luggage on this plane somewhere. And oh, wait, how did this? Okay, this was a pretty big passenger. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how you fit on this plane, sir. But you know what? I've got to take you down. Okay, wow. He actually does. Okay, we got to use these bandages. Oh, wow. They actually heal really good. Good to know. Okay, let's go ahead and take this big man down. A few more hits. Okay, I think we've eliminated all the passengers that were on this plane, but I think, yeah, I saw a chest here. Wait, okay, this is really, really good. Since I ended up using my other two bandages in that fight, I needed a little bit more, and there was a bunch of food in here. I think what I'm gonna do now, let's use the wooden scrap to repair our weapon, and let's keep looking around. All right, well, I think that's everything on this plane, and oh, wait, that looks like some sort of control tower. I feel like somebody could possibly be up in the control tower. I say we go take a look. Okay, so this is a pretty big tower, so hopefully there's not a a bunch of zombies waiting up here for me but we'll see and we've made it up wait sir uh, hello i've been alone in the top of the control tower for uh 18 weeks it must be now or maybe 18 years i don't know anymore i've seen things um are you okay man y you seem a little off wait is that a gun i've been alone on the top of this control tower for 18 weeks it must be now or maybe 
Okay, that's enough of that. He can go to sleep for now. And I just took his pistol from him. Wait, since when can you have a gun in Minecraft? Okay. And what does he have in his chest here? Oh pistol ammo. Okay, that's gonna come into handy. We got cookies. Okay, I like cookies and some emergency flares. These might come in handy if anyone comes looking for me. All right, well, I say we put this pistol to the test. Let's go ahead and reload this. Okay, it's reloading and let's see. Okay, little zombie. How's, how's this feel, my man? Wait, this pistol kind of sucks. I, I'm not gonna lie. Is it even hitting him? Okay, you know what? Th this pistol is... Wait, did he just move? Okay, he might be waking up a little bit. This is kind of awkward, but yeah, this pistol sucks. I think I'm gonna stick to my uh, baseball bat. Okay, well, this is a massive terminal and okay, well, while I'm traveling, I think I should maybe try and loot some of these cars and maybe find some leftover supply. Okay, this one has a barrel and a bed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this bed and okay, a little bit of food. A good thing it's not rotten yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that and maybe scavenge some more loot. So I then spent the next couple days traveling up the highway, then trying to scavenge all the loot from all of these different cars. I ended up getting a good amount of loot. I don't know if I'm going crazy because there's zombies everywhere, but I swear I heard a dog barking back here. And there's a bunch of bones on the ground. Okay, this is very weird. Okay, is, is there a dog back here or something? Oh, Aang? Hi, Aang. Okay, well, you know what? It is a zombie apocalypse and I could use the extra protection. So Aang, I'm gonna leave you in there for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and gather these bones and tame you. And we finally have our friend Aang. And I don't know why it says partner. I guess we're kind of partners now, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here, Aang, okay? We need to figure out what else is in this terminal. All right, Aang, let's get the heck out of here, bro. Okay, uh, what the heck is that? That is not the normal zombie, Aang. Okay, I think we gotta go this way. Let's get out of here. Okay, Aang, he's still chasing us. Come on, buddy, he's gonna get you. Okay, let's go. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go into here. I don't think he's gonna be able to get me through here. Uh, a chest, what, what's in here? Okay, a shotgun, double barrel shotgun. Okay, let, let's see what we can do with this thing. Let's reload this. Is he out? Oh, I think we hit him. Oh, oh wait, I think we heard him because he seems to be running away now. Okay, let's go ahead and reload again. And can we... And... Okay, yep. I think we scared him off. That is good. Ang, do not chase him, Ang. Do not chase him. Get back here, buddy. That thing is way too big for us right now. Okay, Ang and I have been traveling for a little bit. We found this very nice residential area that is a little bit overgrown, but Ang and I right now don't even have a home. So since we're in a very nice residential area, I think, you know what? Let's take this home. And maybe I want to rebuild some of the interior and stuff, but. Oh my god. Okay, Aang. Aang, you might want to help me out in here, buddy. You might want to help me out in here. Take these things down. Oh, wait, is that a chicken? Wh what are you doing in here? Do I have any more ammo in my guns? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know why this guy even had a pistol, dude. This pistol is actually terrible. And I, dude, why, Aang? Why are you not helping me, bro? Okay, now he's helping. Okay, thank you, Aang. I, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, okay. Yes, Aang actually took that thing down. Okay, we need to give our dog some food, though, because his tail is not very high. So here, take, take some of my steak. Okay, buddy, take some of my sake. Okay, so now what I want to do is, yeah, this place is a little bit griefed, so let's go ahead and rebuild some of this and just try to make this home a little bit better. So the first thing I did was I took down a bunch of the interior walls, replaced all of the fences on the outside with giant iron barred fences, and after destroying all the walls on the interior and opening it up, it looked a lot better. I also added a nice trench to keep the zombies from getting to my base. All right, well, now that I'm finished up my base, I did see that there was a cargo ship, a very big one nearby, so I wanted to go loot that because there's probably some good loot up there. This cargo ship is a lot bigger than I anticipated, and of course, there's zombies here. Wait, what the heck is that zombie? Wait, oh my god, that almost killed me. Okay, well, the good thing is it killed the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bandage so I don't die, but uh, hopefully there's no more of those things because my gosh, that damage is crazy. Okay, well, I did notice that there was a bunch of chests in here. Wait, why? Why is there so many wooden swords here? Who would need this many wooden swords? All I know is I do not need any of those because those are terrible. Let's go loot some more crates. And in here, I did find some more chests, but these were all filled with saplings, which I guess is a good problem to have. At least I'm never going to run out of wood. So let me just grab a little bit of these. Okay, well, that's a lot of saplings. And okay, what is in this? Uh, dude, what am I going to do with all of these oak fences? But I guess it's worth looting the rest of them in case I... Yep. That proves it. I was gonna say, I guess it's worth looting the rest of them, 
but look at this. I just got a bunch of med kits, bandages, and even iron scrap. I should be able to make some iron stuff out of that. And okay, shotgun shells and a lot of food. I like that a lot. All right, well, I think I'm gonna loot the rest of this cargo ship maybe another time because I don't wanna be here too much longer because I think the sun is gonna be setting shortly. So let's head back home. Well, I figured I'd spend the next few days trying to find some more loot. And I think we're gonna start off by entering into this theater. There is a chest here with a bunch of tickets, but I don't think I'm gonna need any tickets because it seems everybody in this world is dead. But okay, this is the... Th okay, yep. I guess these guys were watching a movie when... Okay, that damage is absurd. Okay, use my shotgun. Okay, does this do good damage? I honestly don't know. Reload the shotgun. I think we don't have too much ammo, but we should be able to take them. Dude, okay, that actually killed him. Oh God, I'm, I'm literally about to die. Okay, I think this might be our last little bit of ammo. We should be able to take this guy down. And okay, there we go. Now that they are gone, let's go ahead and loot these. Okay, a little bit more shotgun shells, some iron scrap, and some med kits. That's what I need to make sure I'm using is med kits. Now, out of curiosity, since I'm low, let's use one of these. And yeah, that actually does a lot of health. So we got to make sure we find some more med kits. All right, well, now that I'm done looting the movie theater, I think I'm going to check out this construction site. And of course, there's more. Okay, back up. We need to make... Oh my God, I'm on one heart. Bandage. Ooh. Oh my god, it went down to half a heart. Okay, that was way, way too close. I thought for sure... Okay, buddy, can you just please die? Stop crawling at me. O okay, this is this is a little bit cursed. I'm not gonna lie, but okay. I went down to one, or I think half a heart there. So we definitely should watch out for those things. But let's go ahead and see if there's anything in here. There's some barrels with some wood. I guess I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, wow, there is a chest here. Okay, just what we need, a little bit more bandages and iron. Okay. And before it gets too late, I did want to loot this one last place I found. It's some sort of church, I believe. And it's kind of cursed because there's dead skeleton heads on the ground. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that, I suppose, but the good thing is there's no zombies in here. And, okay, med kits. Some more of those, an enchantment table, and what are diamond scrap, okay. We might be able to make some diamond stuff with that. Okay, that's really good. And in these, we got some random stuff, corrupted holy text. Okay, nobody knows what that is, so we're not gonna grab it. Um, okay, holy wine, can you handle the power of the almighty? Uh, probably not. I probably shouldn't drink that. And, okay, so I think we got everything important in here. I think I'm gonna head back back to base, but along the way, I'm going to try and gather some more materials. Well, I really like what I did with the place. Kind of just expanding everything. Oh, no. No, he's back outside. Okay, what does this guy want from... Oh, no. What the heck is that thing? I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, please don't blow up my base. Oh, wait. No, I'm not reloaded. I am not reloaded. Okay, this is not good. Okay, let's take a couple shots at these things. Please don't blow up. Please don't... Oh, no. He's blowing up my defenses now. Oh, dude. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, we gotta watch out for that. Um, okay, you know what? Get over here, Ang. We might have to get that. Oh my god. Wait, he's spawning in so many of them. Ang, I don't think it's a good idea if we stay here. We gotta get going here. Let's break out the back. Oh my god, I don't even have my pickaxe on me, Ang. We gotta break through this. Hopefully, they don't come behind me. Okay, Ang, quick, go. I'm gonna quickly do this so we can get across, and we gotta get out of here, Ang. Please, Ang, please. Come across. You can do it. Uh no, Aang just fell into the trap. Okay, Aang, you know what, buddy? I am sorry. I've got to leave you, buddy. I have got to leave you because I am not trying to die here. Well, I think I made the best decision for me. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, Aang just teleported. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Okay, it seems like he's chasing me. We got to get out of here. Okay, well, me and Aang have been running from this boss for what seems to be about four days now. But I found this big Ferris wheel. It almost seems like this is some sort of carnival. So I think I'm going to hide in here with Aang. Okay, what the heck are these? I was running up to the Ferris wheel. Wait, are those zombie dogs? Oh, my God. They look cursed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to pull up the good old double barrel and try to take these things down. Okay, just a few hits here. Uh, what is wrong with these things, bro? What even happened to these? Hopefully, they don't bite Aang because I really don't want to have to fight Aang. That would just be really, really sad, honestly. Okay, a few more hits. Come on. There we go. Okay, we've taken those things down. Hopefully, there's not any more zombie mutations because it seems like these zombies might be mutating. And by the looks of it, there's a chest over here. Okay, let's go see what's in here. And okay, some zombie heads and wooden scrap. Okay, well, the good thing is I did need some wooden scrap because my sword was getting a little bit low. Okay, well, Aang and I decided to head back to my base and it looks like the destruction is over, although my base is definitely not as intact as it was before, but I did need to come back here and grab some of my diamond scraps that I got from before. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and make some armor. Let's combine this into here. We got five diamonds from that. That's not too bad. And let's go ahead and get all of our iron. Okay, well, just finished up my armor and wait...
What the heck was that noise? Um, where did that come from? It sounds like it came from the city, so I guess we should head back that way. And I think the screaming was coming from over in this direction. Wait, there's a bunch of military people and looks like some children. Okay, yep, I can see what they're screaming about. Let's go ahead and equip. Okay, what the heck are these things shooting slime balls at me or something? Like, what is that? Wait, I'm almost dead. I'm actually nearly dead. I need to run. I actually need to run. I can see why they were struggling here. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, hopefully we can take these things down let's go dodge that one get a bit closer okay i don't know what type of zombies those are and why is this zombie riding on a chicken i don't understand i don't understand this game but it is what it is okay take this thing down come on let's use let's use some of my bandages here heal up a little bit and take this thing down hopefully this is going to be the last of them okay he's dead is there any more okay yeah it does look like there's another one up here okay hopefully there's not too many of them okay and by the looks of it we eliminated all the zombies okay fancy seeing you again Again, son, you just gosh darn saved our lives and the lives of all these kids. We've been stuck here because some nasty big boy has been terrorizing us for days now. Think you can help us set up a place for these kiddos to sleep? Oh, also, take this bad boy. Um, okay, an M4 assault rifle. Okay, that might be a little bit better than my shotgun. Thank you very much. All right, well, now that the kids are safe in bed, I'm gonna go ahead and block off the entrances and these military personnel are gonna guard the outside for now. I'm gonna head into bed for the night and we'll pick this back up in the morning. Come out, little one. Your time has come. Wait, what the heck was that noise? Oh. Wait, oh no, the big zombie boss is out here. Wait, where'd the military go that were outside? He must have taken them out. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to take this guy down. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna use my M4. Oh my gosh, okay, that actually does pretty good damage. I'm not gonna... Oh, okay, you gotta use my shield here. Definitely gotta use my shield. That does a lot of freaking damage. Oh my god, wait, I'm almost dead. Okay, we gotta start using these bandages, and let's use the M4 a little bit here. It does seem to do mediocre damage to them. We just gotta make sure we're taking advantage of... Oh, okay, okay, where did these things just come from? Where did these things... Just... Oh, wait, I'm just about dead. Med kit. Oh my god, my med kit got me to full HP. Okay, keep using my ammo. Oh, wait, do I not have any more ammo? Okay, run and reload. Run and reload. I don't know how many of these zombies there are, but dude, I am out of ammo already, bro, and the fight just started. Okay, let's use my shotgun. I think the shotgun will help. I really wish my dog was gonna help me in these situations, but it doesn't look like my dog is gonna do anything, bro. Okay, let's keep trying to do some more damage, but dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live this. I really don't. Okay, we don't have too much more heals left. Let's see what we can do here. Block that whip attack and get some hits in. Oh my god, almost dead. Med kit that, and oh, dude, he keeps pulling me in, dude. He keeps pulling me in. I only have three med kits left. And these zombies do a lot of damage, bro. What the heck? Okay, let's eat some food to regenerate our health, but I just noticed my weapon is almost broken as well. Let's use some of our wooden scrap to repair that. There we go, back to full durability. And okay, he pulled me in. We gotta use our shield here. Oh my god. Okay, run, run. No, dude, he keeps sucking me back in. This is a really tough fight. Okay, let's do a bunch of damage here. Use my med kit so I don't die. And let's eat some more steak to regenerate more food. We've almost got the zombie brew. I think we can do this. Keep swinging, bro. Keep swinging. Just a few more hits. We should be able to take this thing down. Oh, med kit. Med kit, please. Okay, we're back to full health. We, we gotta win now. We gotta win now. Just a few more. Yes. Okay, we, we destroyed the zombie brew. Now we just gotta kill these other guys. Use the last bit of bandages we have. And come on, just a few more hits here. And okay, I only have one bandage left. Yes, okay. We actually were able to take him down and it looks like he dropped a zombie hook, which actually does a lot more damage than my weapon. And apparently it has a sky smash ability. What's this do? Okay, well, I guess I got a cool custom ability that I have. Okay, well, I think there was some military personnel that were sleeping in here, but sir, this town is a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna find a safer spot for us to hang out, and I'll report back to you later. Sounds good, soldier. We'll be waiting here for you. All right, see you soon. I did end up finding this giant hospital, and typically there's a lot of medication. Okay, and of course he's riding a, a chicken. How cursed is this game? Yeah, but of course there is some healing and, and, and medical supplies at hospitals typically so hopefully i can find some in here but first i think we should take these things down and this zombie hook actually does quite a lot of damage we're taking these things down pretty easily now and just a few more hits come on okay let's use this bandage because I, I honestly don't want to be dying here let's use this bandage okay there we go and what does this do wait 
Med kits. Okay, how many, how many do we got in there? Okay, it seems like there's four med kits. What's in this one? Uh, we've got some bandages, and then what? What, we, what about in here? So, what is this? A syringe. Okay, so this is a new type of healing that we have yet to have. I have a feeling that this syringe might be the best source of healing yet, because it goes directly into the bloodstream. Okay, and we got some bandages here. Okay, well I'm pretty happy that I found myself a hospital because I honestly was pretty low on healing. Okay, and after a two day of travel, I was able to gather some building supplies but I also found this giant bridge. I actually really like this bridge a lot because as you can see, the middle of the bridge is completely destroyed. So I think I'm actually going to build my base here. That means zombies will only be able to come from two directions, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. So without further ado, I say we begin our build. So the first thing I did was remove a bit of the stuff from on top of the ship and created a solid base using stone brick. I then added a little walkway that connected to the other side and a nice little ladder that allows me to go up and down the boat. Well, I think I did a pretty good job building this place. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also have a zombie trap that goes down there. So if any zombies try to come for me, well, hopefully they follow my little trap. Well, what I'm going to do now is head back over to my base on the bridge, and I do want to try going to the other side of the bridge because we haven't crossed over to those lands yet. All right, well, we made it, and I haven't actually made it all the way over there. So, okay, we got to make this jump. There we go. Okay, what is even wrong with this zone? It looks like really weird. And what do these signs say? Wait, what does it say? Turn back radiated zone. Hazmat required. Oh, wait, this must help. Someone help. Dad. Oh, okay. Well, um, I, I guess we're not going over there. We, we're going to get out of here before we start dying. And it looks like we might need to get a hazmat suit. Well, I have been traveling to some new locations because I need to find some materials for a hazmat suit. So I think I found myself a mall here and hopefully I can find what the heck is that thing? Okay. This is like some sort of zombified. Oh my. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. It actually does a lot of damage. Let's use some bandages and let's use some of our salmon here. Wait, wait, I killed it. Okay. Well, that was actually pretty dude. I underestimated the strength of my zombie hook. That is what I'm talking about. All right. Well, hopefully there's not any more of those zombie gorilla things because they actually did a pretty good. Oh, my. okay. Let's use the double barrel. Double barrel. Okay. Wait, we are not reloaded. Quick reload this and let's take a couple shots at these things. Okay. We were able to take one down. Wait, how many of these things are there? Okay. Come on. A few more hits. We should be able to take this thing down and one more. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and use some bandages because they actually hurt quite a bit. And oh, it looks like there's a chest down here. Okay. I don't mind if I do. And okay, a lot of shotgun shells. What is this? AR ammo. Ooh, we could actually use our M4 again, which is good. And it looks like there's a hazmat helmet in here with a little bit more heals. Okay, well, it looks like we got one out of four pieces. I think we just got to do a little bit more exploring to find the rest of the armor. Well, I have searched this entire residential area and I haven't found anything else. But there was one thing that I found was this giant staircase, which leads down into some sort of subway station, I'm assuming. It said Millway Station above. Above. So let's go ahead and go down here and okay. Yep. There's actually quite a lot of crocodiles down here Let's see what we can do here. Okay, me and my little pup are taking these things. Okay, better die med kit that and okay Just a few more hits. We should be able to take these things down and come on there we go. Okay, me and Aang have really grown to be pretty good battle partners, let me tell you. And I think I should probably feed him a little bit because he he has not been fed in a little while. So here, take some of this rotten flesh. There you go, buddy. All right, and it does look like there is a chest down here. So let's see what's in here. Just some cookies. Is there anything else? Like, I swear I've looted so much and... Oh, finally, we hit the jackpot. Okay, some more shotgun shells, AR ammo, and a lot of syringes. This is really going to come in handy later on, I think. And it does look like we found our second piece of the hazmat suit. All right, and I did find these two big buildings here. So I figured I'd head into these, but unfortunately, I don't see Aang with me anymore. I think he may have died. I, I know it's kind of sad, but I think he may have died or he's just... Uh-oh. Speaking of dying, that is something I don't want to do. So let's go ahead and reload my double barrel. Get a couple shots off on these guys. Let's get some hits with my zombie hook. Come on. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. I almost got one shot. Dude, I, I did not see that TNT one. I am not going to lie. That thing nearly one shot me. Okay, well, the good thing is he killed all the zombies, but nearly took me out in the meantime. And it does look like there is a chest here. Let's go ahead and loot this. Oh, finally some food. I was getting a little worried because I didn't have much food left. There is a bunch of diamond scrap and the third piece to the puzzle. Now we just need to find the last piece of armor for my hazmat suit. And after a little bit more running, I ended up on a train track. Yeah, don't ask me how I got here, but I do see a lot of zombies that are apparently burning in the sun. I'm not sure what they're doing out here, 
but it seems like they may be defending that chest up there, which gives me some good hope. And of course they start crawling, dude. These things are so cursed. Okay, well, the rest seem to be stuck down there, so I think I'm gonna leave them, but I do need to build up to this chest, so let's go ahead and see what's in here. Well, here we go, and it looks like we got some pistol ammo, a Glock, okay, um, we got some syringes, and it seems like the last piece of the puzzle. We now are in our full hazmat suit. I guess we're gonna be able to cross the bridge now. All right, well, now that I've got my full hazmat suit, I think I'm gonna make a long journey back home. All right, well, I've been traveling home, but I found this really cool looking building and I'm very tempted to go check it out before I head back home. So yeah, I suppose we'll go check it out and see what's in here. What even is this place? These kind of look like little huts and there's even armor stands in here. This definitely looks like someone was trying to survive in here and it looks like they may have gotten overrun by something. Okay, and it looks like there's another book on the ground. The book says it's Survivor and it says something Something is coming, it's large, dark, and ominous. If you don't find another note from me, it got us all. Please look for us, we will fight to the end. Okay, well, I guess I gotta keep my eyes out. Apparently there's something else coming for us. All right, well, we made it back home and well, I'm in my hazmat suit, so hopefully this works, honestly. And rest in peace to that dude that died here earlier. Yeah, that was really weird. But anyways, it looks like my suit is working now. I just haven't seen anything yet. So I wonder if anything is around here. What? What is that noise? Wait, it sounds like somebody's walking near me. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go further in the city and see where the heck that noise is coming from, because I... what the heck was that, bro? Okay, this place is cursed or something. Okay, let's get to the middle of the city and see if we can see anything. All right, well, I've been running around in here for a minute and I found a, a little bird. I, I truly don't know how it survived out here in the radiation, but you know what? I'm gonna leave that little man alone. Hopefully he uh, finds a wife somewhere around here and maybe he could repopulate this area someday. Anyways, uh, by the looks of it here, this looks like it's some sort of military tank and hopefully I can find some stuff inside of it, but it doesn't look like there's any military officers in here, but... Uh, let's see. Okay, wait. Faster blaster. Um, That seems like it could be better than my double barrel. So let's put my double barrel in there for now. And let's go ahead. I'll leave a couple shells in case somebody comes back and needs a gun. But I'm going to go ahead and take this faster blaster. And real quick, check out my bad line cosmetics. You can use code painful to save yourself 10% off. Linked in the description below. Well, I'm glad I got this hazmat suit because there does not really seem to be much life out here at all. And wait, is this a huge crater? Um, what the heck is that thing? That looks like it could be some sort of issue, and I definitely think I need to take that thing down. Let's go see what we can do. Okay, as I got closer, this thing is called a zombified elephant. Oh my god, what is that damage? Okay, wait, where's my shield? Wait, why is my shield not on? Okay, that would have that would have been really bad if it just killed me there. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Oh my god, wait, how much health does this thing... What the heck is that damage, bro? Okay, let's use this. Does this pistol do any good damage? Uh, okay, dude, this pistol is... <gasps> okay, gotta run, gotta run. Th this pistol literally tickled him by the looks of it. Okay, let's keep going. Block my shield. Wait, that didn't even block. How the heck is that not... Okay, use my syringe. Wait, do I have speed effects? Oh my god, he's really fast. Okay, okay, I'm just about dead. Just about dead. Keep running, keep running. Okay, this gives me strength too and speed too. Okay, syringes are really, really good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Got a syringe to heal back up. Let's run away a little bit. Wait, what the heck are those? He spawned zombie dogs as well. That is not good. I think our strength too with this zombie hook does do a lot of damage though. Let's go ahead and take these dogs down so they don't add up and start killing me. Okay, got that guy down and block my shield. Wait, how the heck did that just hit me? Okay, let's go for a lot of damage. Wait, where'd he go? How the heck did you just get over there, my man? How the heck did you just get over there? Eat food to regenerate. Block that. Okay, dude, this guy's hacking. I'm convinced he's hacking. My shield is not working. Okay, come on. A few more hits. We should be... Oh my god, I'm on two hearts. Okay. I think we could do this. A few more hits. Go, go. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I have no more syringes. I actually have... Where, where did I go? I fell in a hole. I have two hearts and I'm in a hole. Hopefully, can I get up? Oh my God, I'm up. Wait, he's way over there. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I can live, but I hope I can. Let's go in. Come on. Oh my gosh. We actually just about died there. This was prop. Okay, wait, the fight is not over. I am nearly dead. Okay, these things do a lot of damage. Do I have any more ammo? Can I reload this, please? Oh my gosh, I have no more ammo, bro. I have no more ammo. Let's go. 
Dude, what the heck is the damage on these things? Oh, oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run. I'd say that was a pretty successful fight, though, if you ask me. Okay, well, I guess they actually just randomly died because they're not here anymore. But what I'm actually gonna do now is try to explore more of this radiation zone and maybe try to find myself some more heals because I actually have no more heals. All right, well, I definitely think I should search some of these buildings. This one has some bookshelves here, so I'm actually gonna gather some of these just in case I wanna do some enchanting later. All right, and what else do we have in here? Uh, okay, a couple chests here. Wait, what is this? An AK-47? Okay, yep, you best bet I'm gonna be taking that. That thing looks pretty OP. And what is this? Okay, it doesn't really look like anything too useful in this. And is there anything else in here? Um, I, I mean, cobwebs could come in handy. I'll go ahead and take those. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, well, that was a lot of stairs I just climbed to get up here. But is anything else up here? Let me take a look. Um, I'm not really... Oh, wait, there is a chest here. I was actually about to give up on this build, but... Oh, my gosh, wait, we actually just hit the jackpot. We got a couple of meds kits some bandages a bunch of food and some syringes dude these syringes are op well let me tell you it feels good to have a lot of food and my gosh it feels like it's been quite a while since i've been on the beach i really do miss the beaches but i guess oh wait is that a yacht i should definitely probably check that out what the heck okay you know what this is oh maybe i don't miss the beaches maybe i don't miss the beaches as much as i thought because dude why oh my god syringe we had to syringe there i can't believe the damage that these do okay okay Spam bandages, spam bandages. Come on. Okay, you know what? AK-47 time. I think this might be the only way we're gonna be able to take these things down because my gosh, do these things ever do a lot of damage? All right, well, n what? Wait, what? What is this? Wait, is that a piranha? Whoa, what the heck? How is this piranha on the beach? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. This is a painful video. It's bound to be cursed. All right, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna go check out this yacht. All right, and well, it looks like I made it on the yacht. Now we just gotta watch out for any zombies and maybe there's potentially some survivors on here, honestly. Because if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I'd probably wanna hide somewhere in the ocean. It would be a pretty good spot if you ask me. Well, I'm not really seeing anybody up here. So maybe there isn't anybody actually here wait who the heck is this guy uh hello hey man how long have you actually been here for it's been a few weeks i think all my friends have been taken away by this flying zombie god flying zombie god is that the same thing everyone i know has been getting taken by i have no clue but he's wreaking havoc and we have no clue where he lives uh well where have you tried looking for him my group checked out the safer side of the river early on uh, before we all got taken. Okay, well, you've checked the safer side of the river. How about this side of the river? Have you checked around here? Not much. Just this boardwalk area before. Wait, what the heck? What? No, 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 no. Wait, okay. Well, I guess this is the thing that he was talking about before, and it looks like it's taking him away. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come get you. Okay, I really hope we can swim faster than this guy can fly. It looks like since he is so big, he is gonna be pretty slow, so hopefully we can catch him. It does seem like we got a little bit closer, but the issue is this terrain is really hard to parkour around, and it looks like he's getting away. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up. It's just too fast for me. He's going over top of buildings. Yeah, well, hopefully we can find him another time because that was not good well i've been looking everywhere for that thing but i couldn't find it but what i did find is what looks to be a massive mansion way up on this hill so i figured i'd check it out well this place is absolutely mad wait what is that noise it sounds like is that a radio wait oh it's coming from here stadium we are at the stadium send help fast you will need a plane there is an impenetrable wall of zombies Okay, well, as you can hear by the radio, apparently they're at some sort of stadium. And I guess I'm going to need a plane. I don't really know how I'm going to build one of those, but I suppose I'm going to have to figure that out. Well, honestly, I think if I am going to go to that stadium and there's lots of zombies, I'm going to need a lot more firepower and potentially some better weapons. So I think I need to travel around and try and find a military compound somewhere. Well, I've been traveling through this dense forest for what seems to be a few days, but it does look like this is some sort of military compound. I have a bad feeling about this because all the military helicopters are here, but I don't see any military personnel, which leads me to believe that there could be some infestation here. Um, what the heck is that? It looks like these are potentially old military personnel, and I am sorry, guys. Dude, I don't even think I'm going to be able to take these down. Okay, keep, 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 keep going, AK. Keep going, AK. I honestly am about to run out of ammo with this AK. L let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I can hit a lot of them at once. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, we are hitting a lot of them at once. We should be able to take these things down. Come on. Okay, wow. Their damage is actually adding up over time. Their damage is adding up. Let's use a couple bandies here. Maybe whip out the faster blaster. Goodbye, sir. Have a nice day. Nice, nice hairline, by the way, my man. Um, okay, let's take down a few more of these. And okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got a med kit here. Just a few more hits and we should be okay. There we go. Okay, I think we got everything. Oh, yeah. There's just a couple more. And there we go. Okay, well, that was a ridiculous amount of zombies in one place. Oh, got a couple chests here as well. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, syringes. Okay, I actually needed a few more of those. And we got some sniper ammo and it... Oh my gosh, wait. Did we just get an op? We legitimately have a sniper. Okay, this is pretty OP. And wait, did I see an... Yeah, I saw another chest back here. Wait, what do we have in this one? Um, A bunch of AR ammo. Okay, well, that comes in handy. And some med kits and other healing. Okay. Okay, let's go. Those were two pretty blessed chests. I'm not gonna lie. Well, honestly, this op is a pretty small gun, I'd say. Uh, imagine I can find something bigger. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. I highly doubt I'm gonna find anything bigger, but you never know what you're gonna find around here, so I might as well keep looking. Well, I've looked around this place and I don't really see any other loot, so I think what I'm gonna do, if I remember correctly, that yacht that I was on earlier, I saw another ship nearby. I definitely wanted to go check that out as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This thing looks a lot bigger in person. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's go see what we can find up here. Well, this definitely looks like it could be some other sort of military base. And of course, let's go ahead and give this op a try. Okay, wait, let's zoom in. Oh, we get, we headshot him. That's got to do some good damage. Okay, wait, how much health do these things have? How did an op shot to the head not take this thing down? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pop up the AK-47. Here we go. Let's get a couple shots like that. And one more hit should do the trick. And... There we go. Okay, wait, what is in this glass? Wait, what does this even say? Emergency use only. Um, okay, well, I mean, it is a zombie apocalypse. What is even in... Oh my gosh. Wait, you are telling me I am holding an RPG. All right, we've definitely got to test this out. Is there any other zombies on this ship? Well, I'm not really seeing any more zombies down there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give this RPG a shot, shall we? Let's see... Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, that actually does a pretty big explosion and it just one shot all of those zombies. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've got like the strongest sword. I've got like the best weapons, but the only thing that's really lacking is this shield. I definitely would like to try and upgrade my shield if I'm gonna take down that boss. So let's do some traveling and see if we can get some supplies for that. Okay, what the heck is going on up there? I see a building, but a ton of lava. Is this some sort of like a volcano or something? It, it must be, right? Right, let's let's go check it out. All right, well, I made it up here. I just gotta make sure I don't fall in all these little lava pools, but there is some chests up here. Okay, some glowstone dust. I'll go ahead and take that. We're gonna be able to use that to brew some potions, maybe one day. Okay, where did you guys just come from? Let's go ahead and reload the, uh, the good old AK. Get a couple shots on these things here. And okay, yep, these things, of course, have a lot of health. So they, oh my God, I'm about to die. Oh my God, I'm on one heart. Okay, let's use our med kit here. Holy crap, that was really close. Little bit too close for comfort, honestly. I am not gonna lie. This is why we need a better shield, to be honest. Okay, let's use our med kit. Block a couple of these hits. Oh, one heart, okay. We should be able to, oh my gosh, okay. That was a little bit too close for comfort. I only got 11 bandages and five syringes left, dude. That is really unfortunate. But it does look like there is some chest TNT. Okay, well, don't mind if I take some of that. And improvised car door. Wait a second. Can this be used as a shield? Wait, we are using an improvised car door as a shield. Now that is what I'm talking about. This looks a little bit better. Now it's time to see where all this lava is coming from because there was quite a bit and yeah, I figured this was gonna be a volcano. And by the looks of it, there is some chests in the middle, although it doesn't look like all the chests are gonna be easy to get. Okay, well, let's go down here and maybe do a little bit of parkour. Okay, we should be able to do this. Okay, come on. Okay, we're, we're almost at this chest. A few more jumps. Go. Oh my gosh. One more. There we go. Okay, wait, what's in here? Oh my gosh, a sharpness four book. That is really, really good. And arrows of fire resistance. I really don't think I'm gonna need any of those, but it does look like there's another chest over there. Let's go. And okay, we made it. Wait, what's... 
Oh my gosh. Wait, I think out of every 100 day video, I have yet to get a totem of undying. That is really handy. But the issue is I have a shield, so I'm gonna have to use this thing wisely. And by the looks of it, there is an enchantment table in here as well. Let's go ahead and grab this enchantment table as well, because of course I do not have any levels. All right, well, now that I've pretty much got everything that I need, the last thing I need is a lot more ammo. So I do wanna go explore the city a little bit more and gather up some ammo. I found this watchtower, so I figured I'd go up to the top. It's like a big lighthouse or something, but there is a chest up here. And conveniently enough, it actually does have a lot of ammo that I actually needed. Lots of RPG ammo as well, which is pretty cool. And wait a second, isn't that the cargo ship that I was on earlier? What the heck happened over there? You know, I'm not even gonna ask. This is a painful video, so it is pretty cursed. Well, it looks like I'm back on this beach I was on earlier, but now that I've found a bunch more ammo, I do need to find a runway of some sort that I could build this airplane at. I've been running around for a little while, but I'm not sure the exact place that an airplane could fit. Also, a lot of the ground is completely griefed here, so we need to keep looking. Well, after searching around for a little while, I do think I found a pretty good spot. Just got to parkour over this, and yeah, look at this. There's a huge highway here with basically no cars on this side of the road, so I think this might be a good place to build the airplane. Okay, well, now that I've mined most of that airplane, I've put all my supplies in here for now because my inventory is already full, but there is a couple things I do need to get. I need to get a propeller and an engine, so I'm going to search around and see if I can find anything. And before I go, I did want to enchant some of my armor real quick, so let's do that. Okay, and as you can see, I went ahead and put that sharpness 4 book on my sword, and I've got some decent protection on my armor. Now, let's go try and find these pieces for the airplane. All right, so I've arrived back at this military base that I was at before, because I did want to search in some of these planes and see if there are any engines left. It doesn't look like this plane has an engine anymore, and whoa, okay. I'm assuming that flying beast may be trying to stop me, because it seems like there's only zombies around this plane, which means that there's probably going to be some sort of plane engine in there. Okay, let's go ahead and put this RPG to use here. Big damage there. Okay, we've really got to be careful because I do not want to die by that thing. Look how much damage that did. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe use my op. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, that like literally one shots them. That thing is pretty OP as well. Okay, a few more hits. We should be able to take them down and there we go. Okay, now I do believe there should be something in here because every time there's zombies, they're usually protecting something from my experience. So I'm not really sure. But there we go. Okay, wait, what are these? Oh, wait, is this the engine here? Okay, yeah, by the looks of it, these are the model engines. <laughs> they kind of look like enchanted anvils to me, but hey, it says a plane engine. So you know what? I'll take it. As for propellers, this was a pretty easy find because by the looks of it, this plane has some propellers. So we'll be able to take those off the plane right away. And there we go. Now we got all our plane propellers and we have the plane engine. Now I just need to go back to the highway and we should be able to start building our plane. All right, well, I have been running through this giant tunnel for a while and there's a giant hole in the ground. How the heck did all this happen? And okay, yep, didn't even see these things. These are the giant gorilla things that do a lot of... Okay, yep, they actually do a ton of damage. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's go up here, try to take this thing. <gasps> what, what, what's happening? Oh my god, what happened, man? Okay, we gotta get out of here. I really don't have much healing left, but hopefully we can get out. How much gravel is there, dude? This is bad. Bandage, bandage. Oh my gosh, wait, we actually lived. That was very, very close. And I think it actually fell on all the zombies around me too, which I guess is a good thing. But yeah, let's travel back and start building this airplane. To be honest, I've never built an airplane before, but I was just kind of going with the flow. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 1 million subscribers. Okay, well, the airplane is now built. Now I just need to fly around and try to find that stadium that that one guy on the radio was talking about. And the good thing is my plane works. And just like that, I started flying to the stadium. Okay, I think this looks like the stadium. Hopefully they're in here. But okay, I don't really know how to land this thing. Wait, how do you go down? I, I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I think we're actually going to crash. I, I don't know. I don't know how to stop this thing. Oh, what the heck just happened? Okay, that didn't go as planned, but... Uh, I, wh what the heck was that? Uh, yeah, that didn't really go as planned, but the stadium's right here. So let's go save everybody and maybe take down that flying beast thing. Okay, I think this is the stadium. Yes. Okay, where is he? Wait one zombie hold up is this the right stadium this this can't be what they were calling help about i mean dude okay this this has got to be some sort of joke or something um this is a stadium in fact a basketball stadium but 
where the heck is everyone? Is this is this the wrong stadium? Okay, I just walked outside and it turns out there is another stadium next to it. Are you serious? Okay, let's go put a stop to this thing. And hopefully this is the right stadium. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, well, I'm glad I found you finally. Ah, you finally made it have trouble getting here i honestly don't want to talk about it the point is that i made it here and i'm going to stop you there is no stopping me draining the energy from all the people i captured is giving me enough power to fuel my zombie army for eternity i'm only a few minutes off my final step of power. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. This is for the kids from the police station. Okay, what the heck is he doing right now? There's some random stuff appearing in the air and apparently I am frozen now. Okay, gotta watch out for that. Make sure I don't freeze. And let's go ahead and use a syringe so that we get the speed and strength effects from that. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage right now. Okay, he actually does quite a lot of damage too. Let me block my shield. Wait, where did he go? How the heck did he just get over there? Okay, med kit. And let's pull up the RPG. How much damage? Wait, the RPG did like zero damage to this thing. How much health does he have? Okay, syringe again so I don't die. And okay, let's go ahead and use the op. Let's use some of our long range on him. Uh, it doesn't seem like our guns are really doing too much damage to this thing, though. This thing looks like he might have too much health for our guns to be that effective. I think we almost have him a quarter. Oh, half a heart. Oh my gosh, I just about died. Okay, he does a lot of damage, and I am very much struggling to even get close to him. His long range does insane damage, and it keeps pushing me back. Okay, I'm running over here to eat food and regenerate my health. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing some spinny thing. Let's go ahead and RPG him again. Oh my god, wait, that actually did a lot more damage. Damage. Okay, I think I found his weak spot. I think I need to shoot him right in the rib cage, and I think that does a lot more damage. Okay, let's use the syringe, and what the heck is that? Okay, there was a bunch of green stuff coming outside of him. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm about to die. Med kit, and okay, now there's zombies everywhere, bro. Okay, I'm literally taking so much damage. Okay, I'm taking way too much damage. I'm running over this way. Okay, I can't believe how much damage this thing does to me, but as you can see, we've got him almost to half health now. Let's go ahead and... and Oh, wait, we have no we have no ammo in this. We've got to reload our RPG. Okay, it's fully reloaded. Let's get another big shot on him. There we go. He's nearly half HP now, and I think we killed the other zombies. Let's use the op and shoot it right at his ribcage. There we go. We got a good amount of damage. Okay, we got a block because I know there's some green stuff that's about to come out inside of him, and it's really kind of weird. Okay, let's get closer. Use our syringe to get us stuff, and somehow I'm getting poisoned. I think I'm getting poisoned from all these zombies attacking me, and I'm running really low on heals. I gotta speed this fight up now. Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but I just saw a lot of particles jump over this fire, maybe. There we go. Okay, I'm using my last syringe because I don't have any more now. We've got to take him down before we die. Getting a bunch of... What the heck? I just started flying somehow. I swear I'm not hacking. Okay, I only have bandages left. I've really got to end this guy fast. Okay, use my shotgun. I need to reload the RPG. It seems like the RPG at the rib cage is the best way to kill him. Uh, use a little bit more bandages. Reload this RPG again. Hopefully, I don't miss and blow myself up. That would be really bad. And wait, where did he? Wait, he do he teleported and dodged my RPG. Are you joking me? Okay, I only have eight more bandages. RPG again. Okay, we got him really low with that one. Okay, we've got this thing pretty low. Let's go ahead and use another RP. Oh my god, I like hit myself somehow, dude. I don't really know how I just hit myself, but that really is unfortunate. Okay, just a couple more hits. Let's go ahead and use my RPG on him again. And he's nearly dead. Okay, I need to go in for the kills now. I need to go in for the... What the heck is that? I swear he keeps getting more and more abilities. Okay, running. Currently running, currently running. Okay, I think the only way I'm gonna beat this guy... Let's put my totem of undying on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Let's use this. Yes, there we go. We lived and used some of the bandages and we were able to take him out because of the totem of undying. This is the first time I've ever had to use the totem of undying to kill a boss, but my gosh, that was close. And real quick, if you want to fight these bosses alongside Forrest and I every weekend, check out our Patreon in the description below. Well, this is the aftermath. The stadium is pretty much ruined, but the good thing is I think I probably saved a lot of lives today. So I'm gonna head back to my bridge base and I feel pretty happy that I just saved probably a lot of people. Well, my gosh, does it feel good to be back on this bridge? And wait, there's actually quite a lot of people here. Oh wait, it's the old guy that got taken earlier. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you for saving us. We tried broadcast on the radio, and uh, I guess you heard it. Hey, no problem. I'm just glad everybody's okay. Well, now that I've defeated everything, I wonder what I should do next, to be honest. I'm not really too sure. Let's just, I guess, put away some of our stuff. We're not going to need this. Any what the heck is this thing? I... Wait a sec. What? Wait, what is... What is happening? What? Someone help! 
After defeating the Lich and destroying his source of power, I found myself blasted into the nether. What I found wasn't like anything I've seen before. Strange creatures, corrupted monsters, and new hazards around every corner. What happened to the nether? How far will this corruption spread? And will I be able to stop it? Stay tuned to find out. Oh my gosh, where the heck even am I? Oh my gosh, what is this place? This does not look like a normal nether dimension, let me tell you that. Well, I guess I have a lot to explore here. Let's uh, let's go get started and... Wait, who the heck is that guy? Stop right there. If you take another step, oh wait, you're not one of them. You're an outsider. Yeah, I'm definitely from the outside. What the heck is wrong with you? You've got to help us. It's our queen. She's gone crazy or something. She's doing... Uh, something I, I don't even know what to everybody she can all right i'll help can I've you got to get out of here before they find me what wait i wasn't done talking to you and where did he oh my gosh what the heck is okay okay gotta run that got me to half a heart this is not a good start let me tell you uh, okay yep getting out of here okay I, I honestly don't know where that thing is but i'm scared to turn around but since i'm way out here in the middle of what seems to be the nether i, I don't know what to call this place i definitely should get some materials because i don't even have any food or shelter. Well, it's a good thing there's a lot of mushrooms around here because I got a lot of mushrooms too that I can now eat, but oh my. Wait a second. Are these nether creatures? What the? Okay, you know what? Sorry, guys. I've got to take you down because as much as I like this mushroom stew, it is not very reliable. And what the heck is wrong with this cow? It literally is on fire. You know what? I'm not going to ask. This is another painful video, which means it's going to be pretty cursed. Now that I got all this food, let's do a little bit more exploring. Hopefully, don't run into anything too crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this biome is getting crazier and crazier as I keep exploring, but anyway... What is this thing? Wait, are you okay? You look like you might be a little bit injured. Here, take some of this cow meat. This, this should help. <sighs> Thank you. I was fighting off those monsters that are attacking our village. Monsters? Uh, maybe I can help. A giant like you? Please, I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Sure, if tiny things like you can fight whatever these monsters are, I'm sure I'll be able to help. Go ahead and lead the way. Well, I guess I'm gonna help this fairy take out some monsters. I'm prepared, I got a wood sword. Okay, well, I think we must be getting close because there's a bunch of flying things. Okay, oh, wait. The fairy can attack? Okay, this is pretty insane. Hopefully the fairy can kill the... What are these? Oh my gosh, these are little rats. Okay, they should do a lot of damage too. We gotta make sure we don't die. And get a couple more hits here. Come on, we can do this. Okay, one more rat here. Take this thing down. One more hit. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. About to die. Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run. Okay, we ate food, so we should be regenerating. I think the fairy should be able to take this, take out this last thing. Yep, there we go. Okay, now that is what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for defending our village. Of course, but wait, this is where you live? Yep. Um, okay, well, uh, oh, wow, you've, you've got some friends in here. Uh, all right, I mean, it might be a little bit small for me. So what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll try and upgrade your village because honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit in there. So let's do a little bit of building. Well, the first thing I did was build a nice little pathway and I added some exterior walls. That way no mobs can literally just walk into the base and kill you. I then created a nice little base and fixed up the interior. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Oh, no, dude. The imps are back. Okay, fairy, I'm gonna need your help because... Oh, oh my god. What the heck is that damage? Okay. Oh my gosh, that thing hit me. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Okay, I think I... Uh-oh. Is it coming through the roof? What What the heck is that damage? Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. Uh, I don't know where to run. It's coming through the roof at me. Okay, I'm, I'm literally on half a heart right now. I'm on half a heart right now. Come on. I, I don't know if I can live this. I, I really don't know. Please help. Oh, no. Okay, eat some more food. Eat some more food. Okay, I, I think we got them all. That was really close. Okay, fairy. L um, Wait, what is this fairy even looking at? Uh, that is weird. There is something over there, but real quick, now that we're all safe, can you tell me what's going on with the piglins? Oh, that? It's just terrible. Their queen used to be such a nice lady, but lately she's been really scary. Nobody goes near her fortress. What happened with the queen? We don't know, but we see strange monsters going in and out of her fortress sometimes, and they're really scary. Well, sounds like something bad. Guess we'll have to save the day again, but first, I need to check out what is over here. Oh, by the looks of it, there's some sort of chest? Um, uh... 
Okay, a bunch of food. That is helpful. And a Soul Speed 3 book. That is gonna make traveling a lot easier. Okay. Well, I guess I'll keep my eye out for more chests. These seems to be pretty OP. Well, I definitely want to figure out what's going on with this Piglin Queen, but I definitely don't think I'm strong enough yet. So I am gonna explore some more of the environment and maybe try to upgrade some of my tools and potentially get some better armor and weapons because I don't think I'll be able to take her out without any armor and a wood sword. It's not looking too good right now. Yeah, this place is absolutely insane. There's like spikes on the ceiling. What is this? This doesn't look like your regular bastion. I should definitely check this out. I wonder what is up here. Wait a second. Who the heck are these guys? Pick up the slack, Nort. The queen needs all these blaze bits pronto. Oi, come on. Our base will be fine if we get there 15 minutes late. We keep it open, there'll be no blazes left anyway. Well, if we hunt down on the blazes, we won't have to bring them back to feed to that beast of hers, will we? So pick it up. Ugh, fine. Hey, if you're so tired, you can take a nap forever. Ah, for the queen. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, this is a lot easier than expected. I don't know where their swords went. They just, oh, okay, maybe this isn't as easy. They do quite a lot of damage, but I think, okay, what is happening? I think I should be able to hit some pretty good hits on them. I'm gonna jump right in, actually. I'm jumping right in. Okay, they do a lot of damage. There we go. Okay, well, I'm sure that's just a few of the piglin brutes, but I definitely need to go see what's up in that chest. Okay, there's an enchantment table here, some anvils. Okay, wait, what's in here? Pig iron armor? Okay, now that is going to come in handy. Let's grab this blaze powder and some of these blaze rods. This is going to be very helpful. Let's grab this enchantment table and maybe grab some of these anvils. I will be able to enchant my armor with soul speed now. Okay, well, I have never felt more feminine, but hey, there's nothing wrong with pink. I love pink. All right, well, it shouldn't be too much longer till I get back to base. I didn't travel too far. Oh my gosh, what in the world are those? To be honest, these don't look very friendly, but maybe they are? Um, hey, little guy. Okay, you know what? Yep, yeah, he's definitely not friendly. They're definitely not friendly. They're guarding some sort of chest as well. Okay, come on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, just keep moving back so they don't hit you too much. Keep moving back. Okay, there we go. That was interesting. Oh, wait, there's one more. Okay, what were they guarding? Um, a bunch of food and what seems to be a power one flame bow. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. Sorry about that, demon dogs. But uh, I'm gonna take that for myself and I'm gonna head back to base now. Oh my gosh, that was interesting. My gosh, does it feel good to be back home? Okay, well, what I wanna do now is potentially brew up some potions. So maybe I should ask the fairy if she by chance has any water that she can get for me. Oh, uh, well, hopefully the fairy's awake. Uh, hey, fairy, uh, do you by chance have any water in potential? potentially some glass for me. I need to brew up some potions because I don't think I'm going to be able to take down this queen on my own. Um, oh, wait. She, oh, oh, oh. Oh God, uh, what, what's going on? What, what are you doing? Um, but by the looks of it, she does have a lot of water and glass. So, okay, well, it looks like we're gonna be able to brew some potions. Okay, well, now that I'm done brewing potions, I definitely think I should go to the village and ask if they know what type of beast this thing is. All right, let's go. Ah, oh my gosh, you scared me. Where did you just come from? Uh, I don't know, somewhere, I guess. You were saying something about the queen having a beast? Yeah, I found some piglins talking about feeding it blazes. Do you know anything about that? Nope, not a thing. But now that you mentioned it, I haven't seen very many blazes around. They've always been a bit hot-headed, but that doesn't mean they should be fed to a beast. Yeah, well, I guess it's up to me to find out what it is and put a stop to it, I guess. Well, I guess I need to go try and find this beast somewhere in the nether and oh my gosh, look at this. My soul speed on my boots makes me run so fast. This is gonna make traveling here so much better. Well, I've been traveling around here for a little while, but I don't think I'm in the nether anymore, to be honest. I don't know where I am. Like, what even is this place? All right, keep running. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there's a ladder that leads up to there. That's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not good. Okay, well, the good thing is I have a bow. Okay, we need to kite them back. We need to kite them back. We should be able to take these things down. Oh, oh my gosh, that damage. Okay, keep running, keep running. Okay, that was pretty close, I'm not gonna lie. But now I guess we need to see what's on top of that ladder and inside of this giant castle. All right, oh my god. And of course, there's more piglins in here that we need to take down. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. Dude, their damage is absurd. Okay, keep running, keep running and bowing, keep running and bowing. Okay, I can't die, I can't die. 
Okay, that was close. I ended up going down to two hearts at one point, but I think we got rid of the rest of the piglins. Okay, this is some sort of library, but what is in here? Is this some sort of cafeteria? And what is this? Some brewing area. Um, okay, some brewing supplies. Don't mind if I yoink a little bit of this. Thank you very much. And what is it? Piglin's Bane. Okay, this is a lot better than my sword. And what have we got in here? Some more brewing supplies. Thank you very much. I'm gonna borrow this for later. All right, well, I'm not sure where else I should be looking here. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's got to be the queen. An intruder. Just in time. My precious was getting hungry, weren't you? You think I'm gonna go down that easy? Whatever's controlling you won't be for much longer. Don't fret, little man. The end is near. <laughs> The end is near, but not for me. Wait, where is she going? Okay, well, I guess it's time to fight this ender, please. I already drank my speed and strength potions, but let's go ahead and start using our bow here. I don't know what the heck is... Wait, okay, D gotta dodge that, gotta dodge that. I don't know what those are, but they seem to probably do a lot of damage, and I kind of don't want to get hit by them and find out. Okay, he... It looks like... Wait... Where do you go? Oh, oh my god, I'm on two hearts. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, he just randomly teleported behind me and nearly killed me. Okay, let's go in for a couple hits. Dodge these. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, let's get some good hits here. We've got a really good sword, so this does a lot of damage. Okay, wait, I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. Run, 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 run. And eat some food to regenerate. It oh, oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart. Have a heart. Oh, I have one potion left. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, he's teleporting. Gotta run, gotta run. Okay, dodged all those. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this thing down. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta run, gotta run. Okay, this is pretty insane. Let me run in here real quick because I cannot afford to be taking that much damage. Okay, let's repot our strength, repot our speed, and we're gonna run out and try to take this guy down. But oh my gosh, I went to half a heart like two times. That is pretty lucky if you ask me. Okay, just a few more hits here. Okay, we've gotta take this thing down now. Come on. If I can get close, if I can get close. Just a few more hits. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. But okay, well, I guess we were able to defeat that thing. And my gosh, I have never came so close to dying so many times in my life. It looks like the queen is already gone, but hopefully we'll be able to find her later. But I guess what I can do now is take this throne for myself. All right, there we go. Oh, wait, there's actually a bunch of loot on this throne. Okay, let me go ahead and take all of this. Well, I never thought I'd have a fire mohawk, but I guess this is a painful video, so you never know what can happen. But I think what we should do is try and find this piglin queen. She didn't jump off this way, so let's go see if we can find her. Well, I have been looking around, but oh, wait a second. These look like giant footprints. Yeah, the queen had definitely went this way, so I guess we're gonna have to build across this lava and uh, try to go find her. Well, I made it across the lava, but look at this place. This place looks completely griefed, and in my opinion, I think the queen may have been a little mad that I took down her little ender blaze, but I think we're gonna keep going this way. I feel like we are right on her tail. Well, I've been traveling out here for a little while, but I did find another one of these chests, and finally, some seeds. Okay, well, hopefully I can plant these in the nether. I don't really even know if this is the nether, and wait a second, what is this? Wait, is this some sort of, like, corrupted ender or something? What? are those. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm strong enough to take down whatever the heck those are. I'm going to get the heck out of here before I end up dying. But let's go. All right, well, we should be home soon, but wh what is this thing? There's like a random piece of fire. Wait, what? What is this? Okay, I I'm getting dragged in. Oh God, what the heck's happening? Okay, I blacked out for a second, but I'm back. Okay, come on. We gotta get out of here. Let's use my bow. I don't know if this will be too effective, but come on. There we go. Okay, he really didn't have that much health, but oh my gosh, that was pretty scary. I never imagined that I get dragged into a lava pit by a giant spider, but uh, I guess we'll check that one off the list. Well, I've been running out here for a little while. Wait, what is that thing? That looks like a giant evil lair. Okay, well, we better not go over there, but what I should do since we are pretty far away from base still... Let's go ahead and maybe set up another home outside of here. I think that would probably do me some justice. I then went ahead, gathered a bunch of different materials. That way I could build a pretty cool base. I then found a nice flat area that I thought was a good and safe location to build my base. I added a nice little campfire on both sides to give it that cool touch. And using some blackstone and crimson plank, I think that base turned out pretty well. Well, I think I did a pretty good job on building this base. Wait, who was that? Whoever's in here, you got a permit from the queen to be building this? Um, yeah, de definitely. You gonna open the door and show us? 
Uh, nope. I'm not opening the door. You know what? We don't got time for this. I'll be talking to the captain about you and seeing what he has to say. Well, to be honest, those piglins didn't seem very happy and I think they're getting their captain. So what I think I might do is build some sort of fall trap that may potentially save my life. So in quick attempts, I went ahead and started building a nice little trap at the top of this hill and it actually worked. Ah, I fell in a hole. Get me out. So did I. Get me out and I'll let you out. Captain, uh, Kronk and Bort fell into the holes. What should I- Hey, whoever's in there, open the store now. The queen wants every able-bodied piglin mobilized now. Be careful what you wish for. <sighs> Come on, there we go. Okay. Boy, they don't pay me enough for this, mate. You have a good day. Um, okay. I mean, thank you for the potions, I guess. And wait, what is this? Piglin apprentice bow. <laughs> I mean, this thing is pretty OP if you ask me. I guess I'll just let that guy go. And did somebody fall in my trap? Oh, yeah, we, we've got a couple in there. All right, well, you guys can have fun in there. I, I guess they'll be okay. Yeah, see, see you guys. Well, before I go in the castle and see if the queen's in there, I don't even have a shield yet. So I think I'm gonna go search around for some more of those chests and hopefully find myself a shield in one of them. I know it's kind of a gamble, but I don't think I stand a chance killing a queen without even a shield. Oh, and finally, I found myself another one of these chests. It's been a little while, but uh, okay. Well, there was no shield in here, but I guess I'll take the extra food. And there is a book. Look, what's it? Subscribe? Uh, I mean, you guys are in a deer. Apparently, you need to subscribe to the channel. Ooh, what do we got in this one? Let's see. Um, okay, some strength potions, some insta health, and a, yes, another soul speed book. I'm actually gonna be able to run fast on soul sand again. Now, that is good. Jeez, this is really taking a lot longer than I thought. And okay, yep, I am a little bit smarter than that. I am not gonna go anywhere near that spider. Let's keep looking. Okay, this chest is a little bit weird because it's not in the usual red nether brick it's wrapped in. And wait, what is this? Piglin's Bane with an unbreaking three book and some golden apples. Okay, what is a bone stack? and bald um you know we'll, we'll leave that one in there we'll leave that one in there we, we don't need that we, we aren't bald all right well it looks like this could be wait this is a shield okay this actually looks really really cool now that we have our shield i think we should travel all the way back to base and maybe try and take down this queen well it feels good to be back home and i guess it's time we explore this giant castle here we go okay and we're finally up here all right well this is going to be scary here we go okay i'm not sure where the staircase leads to but okay oh my gosh okay we need to eat some golden apples there is quite a lot of them let's use my shield here and there we go okay okay they're bowing me quite a lot okay oh wait okay they all just transformed into pigmen this is very cursed i'm not gonna lie but you know it is a painful video so it's bound to be cursed and there we go okay now they're all dead let's continue searching around because i don't see this queen anywhere okay well i've been searching around in here for a while this is just a really strange place like i don't know where to go uh Oh, th that's the queen. Excuse me, uh, your majesty. I don't know what kind of evil's controlling you, but I can free you. That's cute. But the only thing you'll be doing today is dying. Okay, well, she's running straight at me. Wait, where's she going? Oh my god, wait. There's an invisible wall. Oh, okay, I, I think I am currently blocked in by an invisible wall. Okay, let's try and get some shots. Uh, let's kill these little brute piglin things, whatever the heck they are. Okay, dude, she's coming at me pretty quickly. And it looks like my fire is doing some pretty good damage to her. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, well, thankfully, there is an invisible wall. I can't escape, but... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Okay. Splash my potions. Oh, dude, I only have four more potions. Okay, let's get some hits on her here. Getting a bunch of damage done. Okay, wait, wait. We gotta run. Let's pop one of our golden apples. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, oh God, half a heart. Oh, oh, my gosh. Thank gosh. Thank gosh. Okay, okay, let's go. Bow these things down. Oh, my gosh, dude. My bow does so much damage, but my goodness, I nearly died there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Eat this. Please don't die of all damage. Oh, my God. Okay, I got one potion. Come on, just, we've almost got her at a half hour. I think we really need to utilize our bow in this fight, guys. I think we really need to use, utilize our bow. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot a couple more of these. And oh my gosh, how many piglins is she spawning? This is ridiculous, but it does look like we do have her pretty low. Let's go ahead and eat another golden apple and try to go in for some hits. Oh God, okay, dodge that. Okay, here we go. Let's get some hits on her here. We're getting a few. Okay, that knocked me back. I have only one potion left and only two golden apples. I should be able to take her down. And come on, a few more hits. We should be able to do this. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, I only have one golden apple left. Let's go back in. Okay, we got her really low. Listen, queen, you're beaten. Tell me how I can help you. All right. 
The truth is, I was never under the control of anything, you fool. My new ally needed a blood sacrifice to open the way. I just didn't think it would be my own. Wait, no, don't jump off! Wait, oh no. Okay, the queen's dead, but what was that noise? Little did I know, the queen sacrificing herself has unleashed the end beast. Well, now that we defeated the queen, I mean, what did... Oh, well, I... What is this? Is this the queen's hammer? Piglin's queen's hammer. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to use this now because that's going to be a lot better. But real quick, where did this platform even come from? Like looking from over here, this is where I built up. So I, honestly, I'm not even going to question it. I am not even going to question it, but I suppose we should probably get out of here now. All right. Well, I also just read my sword. Apparently if I shift right click, I leap. So I mean, let's try this. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing that there was a lava pit here so I didn't die of fall damage, but oh my gosh, this leap ability is really good. All right, well, we should be getting back to base shortly. What is that thing? Um, okay, I gotta hide. Gotta hide. I'm going over here. Uh, it looks like it's looking for me or something. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, I think it didn't see me, but I think it's probably a good idea if I maybe try to get to my house. I don't know. Okay, I think he's going. Okay, I'm in my house. I should be safe in here, but my goodness, that thing was massive. I definitely am gonna need a lot more potions if I'm gonna take that thing down. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm going to do a bit of exploring and try to figure out what the heck that thing was and how am I gonna stop it? Okay, well, I've been running out here for a little while, but uh, this looks to be another fairy village. I didn't expect... Wait, what just hit me? Wait, are these fairies friendly? Uh, they looked... Oh, okay, yep, yep, the fairies are trying to kill me. This is just great. Okay, gotta eat one of these, and it looks like there's a lot of fairies that I have to apparently try to kill here. Okay, gotta run. All right, looks like there's just one more... There we go. Okay, I think we defeated all these fairies, but I don't know why. Are they like some sort of like corrupted fairies? Because this looks almost like a corrupted end dimension or something like that. Like, look at this. I wonder if this was caused by that one beast thing that we saw. That is definitely a possibility. But I think I did potentially see it. Yeah, I saw a chest up in here. What's in this? Okay, couple health potions. That's gonna come in handy. But yeah, hopefully I can find this like corrupted end beast thing, whatever it is. We definitely need to put a stop to it. What I do want to do is maybe set up a miniature base here, set up a little farm, make a brewing station, and potentially have some protected walls around the base. Let's get started. As you can see, the first thing I did was outline this entire base with obsidian walls. It's pretty easy to get obsidian around here, as there is a lot of corruption going on. Anyways, I created a nice little farm area and called this home. All right, well, I think I did a pretty good job on this base here, but I think I do want to continue my search to see where this end beast resides. I don't know which way to go. I guess we'll start by going this way because this looks like a corrupted end area. He must be this way. Well, I've been running out here for quite some time now, and wait, what is this place? This looks pretty evil if I do say so myself. I, I guess we should get closer, shouldn't we? Um, what the heck is that thing? And what are those little minions doing? Wait, is he killing them all? Oh my gosh, wait. He just killed all of those and, and he's leaving now. Okay, you know what? I think I'm probably going to need a little bit more potions if I'm going to take down whatever the heck that thing is. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Well, I should be getting pretty close to my base now. And wait a second. What happened to my base? It is completely griefed. And who the heck are these guys? Okay, what even is this thing? They're very hostile, by the way. And oh my gosh, how much health do they have? Holy crap. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to have to drink a speed and strength potion if I'm going to take these things down. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna have to try and take them down. Good thing I have fire resistance because I am going to need it. Okay, one dead there. Okay, well, that was pretty close. And by the looks of it, that is everyone. Okay, well, I guess this was not a good place to build our base, but uh, okay, well, at least we came out of that alive. And real quick, check out my bad line cosmetics. You can use code PAINFUL to save yourself 10% off. Linked in the description below. All right, now that they're all dead, let's go ahead and gather these potions that we had brewed earlier. And I guess since we have all these potions now, we should be able to take down that fire demon thing that we saw earlier. Let's head back there and see what we can do. Okay, that's the demon thing I saw earlier. You know what? I'm using my leap ability. Let's go! Okay, this thing is a lot bigger when I get close, but oh my gosh. Okay, what is all this fire particles that's shooting out? Okay, let's stay a little bit far away and start using our bow here. Wait, what just hit me? Okay, I think it's these fire particles that are doing this damage. Okay, let's get a few hits on him with our, with our mace here. And okay, I'm nearly dead. Let's splash some potions, get some more, and let's go ahead and, and start shooting at it. Wait, what is he shooting? 
What the heck are these? What the heck are these? Okay, he's shooting a bunch of looks to be like skeletons at me or something. Okay, let's keep our distance. Let's keep our distance and use our bow. Come on, just a few more hits. And okay, those are dead. And let's go in for some hits now. Let's go in for some hits. Let's see how much damage we can do. We've already got him nearly to half health, but oh my gosh, that, that does so much damage. I only have four potions left, and there does seem to be a lot of these things. Okay, there we go. We were able to take those down, and now let's go ahead and bow this thing. We've actually almost got it. Oh my gosh, what is that damage? Blocker shield, throw down into health, and let's go in for the final hit. Come on, just a few more, I think. There we go. Okay, the Balrog is, is down, but oh my gosh, that thing did insane damage. Okay, well, now that I defeated him, I mean, I'm not sure what else I should do. Oh, okay, there's a chest here. What do we got in here? Just rotten flesh bones. Wait, what is this? Ender's Curse. And as you guys can see, it's a really good bow. Okay, I wonder what happens if I shoot something. It looks like there's another one of those skeleton things. Okay, well, let's see what this bow does. Oh, wait, I just one shot it. Okay, well, this bow is pretty OP. Let's put it that way. Well, it looks like a lot of the end corruption is coming from this way. So we're going to journey through here and attempts to find the end beast. This corruption spreading fast. Okay, I've been running here for a little while, but I found these like angel things. Wait, are these like some sort of fairies? Well, okay, never mind. They are not friendly, I'll tell you that. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to take all these down. Look how much damage they're doing. Uh, okay, you know what? I think it's probably a good idea if I return back to my base because I only have two potions left and I can't risk dying. We've come so far. Okay, and I finally made it back to this fairy village that we created earlier, but my gosh, I am nearly out of food. So I am actually gonna have to grab some of the steak that we left in here. And yeah, I think we should probably spend a little bit of time brewing some potions now. 10 years later. But when I walked outside, I noticed that all of the lava is purple. It looks like the corruption is potentially spreading. We definitely need to stop this end beast soon. All right, well, now that I got all those potions, I think we should probably start looking for the end beast now. What the heck is this thing? Okay, that does not look friendly. Block my shield. Okay, he does really good damage. He does really good damage as well. Come on, keep swinging, keep swinging. And okay, I do. Oh God, what? Oh no, not these imp things. Dude, these imp things are really good damage as well. Uh, I might need to use my bow for this. Okay, let's get the bow out. And it looks like our bow has a fire ability as well. That's pretty cool. Hopefully this is the last imp right there. And okay, all the imps are dead, but uh, it looks like the NB sent some of his minions to try to take me out. I'm not gonna go down that easily. All right, now that I defeated those demon imps, it's time to go find this end beast. And my goodness, the corruption is really spreading. This entire lava pool is purple now. All right, well, I've been traveling out here for a little while. I found this gigantic lava lake and there's a bunch of like fire worms here. Okay, and of course they're not friendly. Is anything near this end lake friendly? Like, geez, it seems like... Wait, what the heck is that? Wait, these things drop potions? Hold on, what is this? Ender potion. Consuming this grants eternal power. Um, I thought this was a strength potion at first, but I think this potion is going to come in handy, especially when I have to fight that ender beast. All right, well, here we go. Drinking this potion and... Oh my gosh, wh what is happening? What just happened? Where am I? This definitely doesn't look like a good spot to be in. If I was the Ender Beast, I would probably be around here. And this looks like it's all infested by this corrupted end. I thought this potion would help me, but apparently it's teleported me somewhere and I am completely lost. So just like that, I was completely lost using my leap ability. I decided to try to figure out where I am. Well, I just spent days trying to get out of that end wasteland and I just found this area. This actually looks a lot more like the end, which is very strange because it almost looks like it's a mix of the nether and end. But it's a good thing I have fire resistance at Oh my gosh, wait, that is the end beast. Okay, let's use my leap ability and let's go try and take this thing down. Well, this is the closest I've ever been to the end beast, but here we go. I'm gonna launch an arrow at it. And, oh, wait, I can't see anything. Okay, I don't know where I am, but there seems to be a bunch of beacons that look to be powering whatever this thing is. Okay, what I should do is before I go in, I should... Wait, what is hitting me right now? Oh, God, what is this? A little endermite? What, what are you gonna do to me, buddy? What, you, you literally just got two hit. Let's go ahead and break these beacon-like things. And is there armor on this beacon? Okay, that is very strange. I don't know why these crystals have armor on, but I'm not gonna question it. I wonder, can I bow these? That would make my life a little bit easier. That way, I don't have to parkour all the way up there and oh my god i'm taking some damage let's use a health potion and can i make can i break this thing please there we go okay that one's broken and look it just did a bunch of damage to him as well dude these little things are what is even hitting me right now i thought it was one of those endermites 
Okay, got that one. And there just seems to be one more, but it's right behind the boss. I gotta get to it somehow. Okay, I got up behind it. This should be the last crystal, and I should be able to start taking this thing down now. Okay, what is that black smoke? Whatever it is, I gotta get away from that. I have gotta get away from that. Oh god, not another one of these crystals. Not another one of these crystals. Okay, I can't even hit it. I'm almost dead, and it looks like I have a wither effect on my health, so I can't even see my hearts. Okay, let's get some bow shots in here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Splash some potions. I think I should pop my speed and strength again. I think my effects ran out. Oh, God. Whatever that purple orb... Oh, God. Oh, God. Use that. Oh, my gosh. I only have three health potions left. This thing's a lot stronger than I thought, but let's keep going. Okay. We just got a bunch of damage done. Let's eat some food to regenerate our health. And we got to splash down our potions. I have one potion left. I really don't know if this is going to be possible, but I'm going to try. And wait, I should be able to... Okay. Oh, no. Nope, nope. There's a lot of these things. Okay, I think we should be able to take this thing down probably with just a few more hits. Okay, eat a little bit more food to regenerate. And I think just a few more hits, we should be able to take it down. Okay, one more shot. Come on. We can do it. Oh, God. I don't know what the heck that was. Block my shield because something is shooting me. So I'm going to block my shield. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. I think we were able to take him out. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, well, now that I killed him. Wait, what, what's going on? Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what's happening? Oh, my gosh. What happened? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to survive 100 days and... Well, where the heck even am I? After defeating the end beast, I was flung through time and space. Now I have to travel across different dimensions to find my way home. What kind of friends will I meet along the way and what kind of enemies will try and stop me? Can I figure out why different versions of myself across the multiverse are going missing? And will I be able to figure out who's behind all the madness plaguing the multiverse? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but this looks like a regular Minecraft world. Wait, this is really strange for me. I guess I should go collect some wood. All right, got some wood, and it looks like there's a village over here, so we should probably check that out. Okay, and there's a mine down here. This is perfect. I should probably try and get a bit of iron armor, and then maybe we'll scavenge the village for some food. Wow, this cave is actually pretty massive, and it feels good to be back in finally a normal Minecraft world. Hopefully, this is a normal Minecraft world, and there's not too many scary creatures. Anyways, let's go ahead and try to get ourselves some iron. So just like that, I harvested a bunch of coal and iron from this cave. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been full iron on day one, but hey, this is a good start to the video. Now let's go check out this village. And finally, some hay bales. It looks like uh, I'm gonna have a lot of food. Wait, what was detected. that? What? Um, initiating capture routine. Um, what the heck does that even mean? Get away from me. But where's it going? Um, what? What was that? That does not look like a good sign. I have no clue what that was. After nearly being captured by some sort of mysterious robot, I decided it would be a good idea to make myself a home, as I didn't want to get dragged into whatever world that robot came from. I think I did a pretty good job on it. It looks like... Oh, no. What the heck is that? Is this where that TV came from? Oh, wait. It's back. Wait. There's a lot of them. They do not look... Oh, my... Okay. Yep. They are not friendly. Okay. Come on. Let's take these things down. Okay. One more hit should hopefully do it. Okay. And I think this is the last one here. And I think they're all dead now. That portal disappeared. But how did that just happen? This is a painful video, so it's bound to be cursed. Okay. Well, I think I want to spend the rest of day five to do some more exploring. Uh, oh, no. Not another one of these end portals. Is there gonna be like some sort of TVs coming out of this? Wait, it turned blue. Oh my god, what the heck is this thing? Oh god, someone help! Wait, where am I? Wait, wait a second. Who are you? Professor Painful? Oh, wonderful. I managed to get you before I did, but I'm getting ahead of yourself. I'm you, but not you. Do I get what you're saying? I do not understand what you're saying. Why am I even here? Because you're hunting me down all over the multiverse. I've got to stop me before I succeed at my grand plan. Can you please just talk like a normal person? There's no time for you to talk like a normal person. Take this world shifter. It'll protect me from you. Okay, but what is a world? Ah, two painfuls to add to my collection. You'll make excellent additions. What do you mean we'll make great additions? Additions to what? What? Um, oh god. Use it! Use the world shifter! Um, okay, okay, use the world shifter! Wait, where even am I? Um, wait, is this my house? This looks a lot like the house I built yesterday, but this is definitely not the same house. Um, there's a lot of cake outside, and wait, I have the same loot in here as well. Okay, this is very weird. 
This is almost an exact replica of my house. Where even am I? Well, I guess since I'm in a new world, I probably should do a little bit of exploring. And that was really strange. That brainful guy had the biggest head I've ever seen. Well, I've been traveling out here for a little while and it looks like I found a little bit of deer. And I'm sorry for you, buddy, but I am gonna have to take you down because I do need some food. And wait, that's really strange. These deer look like they're dropping oak leaves and apples. Okay, and a bit of oak logs as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take these down. And okay, that's a lot of food. Well, I've been traveling around here for a little while. I did run into some deer and wait, what is this thing? Um, okay, I guess not everything is friendly in this weird multiverse that I'm in. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And one more hit should do. There we go. And why do all these animals drop oak logs and stuff? That's just kind of weird. To be honest, I've been trying to find my way back to base for quite a while, but I honestly don't know where I am. Okay, well, this area is really massive. Am I seeing things? Or did I just see somebody run behind this tree here? Okay, who is there? Wait, nobody's here? Hold on, I, I swear, is this world making me go crazy or something? I thought for sure I saw somebody. Okay, well, I found this giant lake area, but I'm not really too sure where my base... Wait, what the heck just hit me? Um, where are these arrows coming from? I d Okay, you know what? This, this world is cursed. I have got to get out of here. Okay, I'm running out of places to run. Fine, you want to fight? Let's fight. Oh, wait, they're forest elves. Okay, I'm going in. Let's go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm low, I'm low. What are you doing? Don't you recognize him? That's Captain Painful. Forest? Wait, what are you doing in this forest? What? We've always guarded these woods. Did you hurt your head or something after you went missing? Missing? Wait, I know. He was kidnapped by some guy with a big head. Enough. You're lying. Painful would never let something with a big head kidnap him. Kill this imposter. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use my world shifter. Let's go. Okay, wait, where am I? This looks like it's another version of my house. Wait, am I in the nether or something? Okay, this is weird. I got nether warts. Um, this is very, very strange. It is my house, but it's actually not my house. This is the most cursed video I have yet to make. I'm not gonna lie. What I think I wanna do is maybe do a little bit of exploring. Like, what even are these trees? These these trees are all made out of oxidized copper. This is very cursed. I'm also glad I went ahead and made this shield because I'm not sure what dangerous animals live here and wait, what even is this thing? Okay, what are these? These are like giant dinosaurs or something? And of course they're not friendly. Okay, wait, did I just kill it? Wait, the wasteland beast is enraged? Okay, that's not good. We should be able to kill this thing. Come on, a few more hits. And that one's dead. I am very happy I made this shield. Okay, he's enraged. Okay, we gotta kill him quick. Come on couple more hits and okay hopefully that's all of them okay well let's have a look what the heck is oh god what what is this thing and why is that one over there flying uh this is a very cursed dimension come on couple more hits and okay well he was pretty easy to kill but what in the world is that one doing honestly i am going to leave him he's kind of weird well oh, oh. Okay, I am going to get out of here, honestly. I'm getting out of here. Okay, well, I've been running for a little while, but look at this cave I just found. This thing is like... F what is that? What is that? Uh, is that like a cricket? I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look friendly. Come on. Wait, it, it honestly doesn't even do much damage to me. Okay, that was easy. And what is... Oh, okay. They do good damage. I don't know what they're shooting at me. Some sort of like... They're like spitting on me or something. Come on. And just one more here. There we go. And let's get out of here. Wait, a meaty god? Hold on, a meaty god. Do you by chance know a guy named Painful? Somebody is trying to kidnap him and I've got to get to him first. I know lots of people, Park. Partner. Don't reckon I know anybody named Painful. Knew a guy named Meatful, but he done vanished a few weeks back. Oh no, that means I'm too late. Nice to meet you, partner. Come visit again sometime soon. All right, take care, uh, a meaty god. This is really weird, but uh, yeah, yeah, see you later. Well, I should probably be heading home as I don't want to get lost here and wait. What are those? These look like some sort of robots. Um, yeah, these are very weird. They seem to all be broken down though, but wait, there's a book on the ground here. Wait, it says brainful. Inside the book, it says Jeff, baldful, painful, prime, hairful. Uh, another painful detected. Initiating 
capture Whoa. routine. Wait, what was that? No okay, who the heck is this thing? And how did this robot come to life? I swear all of these things seem to have been broken down. Okay, he didn't seem to have too much health, but there was apparently a bunch of other painful versions that have been captured. It seems like somebody is trying to capture a bunch of different versions of me. This is very weird. I really do need to get back to my base. I'm very much considering using this world shifter, but I'm very scared to use it, so I think I'm just gonna run back. And we're just about back to my base, and wait, what's going on over here? yippee yeah, yeah Big tin can. Wait, is that a meaty god? Wait, he's shooting all these robots. Okay, a meaty god, I'm gonna help you out real quick, because I don't... Okay, wow, he actually might not even need my help, because apparently he's got a pistol or something. Okay, that's that's pretty insane. Okay, well, the robots are dead. Wait, where did meaty god go? Howdy again, stranger. Friends of yours? Those robots? No, they were not friends of mine. Do you happen to know where they came from? Nope. Sorry, partner. I reckon they showed up around the time Mifo vanished, though. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to find out the hard way then. Thanks for your help, Amidi Gad. You're welcome, stranger. I reckon you'll be leaving now. Take some of my meaties for the trip. Meaties for the trip? Uh, wait, what do you got here? 24 cookies, robot scrap? Uh, okay. Well, thank you, Amidi Gad. It's a pleasure seeing you again. Hopefully, we don't run into any more killer robots. Well, to be honest, I've been in this world for far too long. I'm just gonna use the world shifter. Here we go. And wait, where am I? Wait, this is not my original home. This is a completely different area, and I'm not gonna lie, this looks a little bit haunted. Like, what is this massive mansion over there, and what is my house? This is, of course, the same house I built in the original world, but this is not the actual house, and it's weird that my loot keeps transferring over. Um, yeah, this is definitely a haunted place, but one thing I do want to do is maybe investigate this haunted mansion over there. Just hit me. What the heck just hit me? I'm taking wither damage right now. Oh, it must be from these weird flowers. Okay, I definitely got to watch out for those flowers. Wait, did I just see something? I swear I just saw something. Okay, maybe it was nothing. Okay, never mind. That was something. There's a lot of ravens here, apparently. And why? Okay, wow, they, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Okay, I need to run. I need to run. I just jumped into another wither thing. I need to get to my house ASAP. Okay. Okay, well, I've been hiding out here throughout the day. I think those ravens are gone. I definitely want to make... Oh god, I got to stop running into those flowers. I definitely definitely need to make a sprint to hopefully get inside of this mansion. All right, well, I have no idea what's inside this mansion, but it definitely gives me a little creepy vibe. Wait, what does this say? Baldful's residence. Wait, this must have been Baldful's residence. Whoever he is, he must have lived here at some point, but let me check, actually. I think, oh, wait, Baldful wasn't crossed off the list, which means he is still alive, but I don't think he's inside this mansion. There is a chest here, though. Baldful's bald cap. Wait a second. You're telling me Baldful wears a a bald cap? Why would you need to wear a bald cap if you're bald? You know, I I'm not gonna ask any questions. This is kind of weird. I'm, I'm gonna take off his bald cap, though. This video is getting a little bit too weird for me. All right, well, I just finished looting that mansion. I got two bald caps, uh, some steak, and found a little bit of potions. What a weird combination of items to have in a mansion, but you know what? Let's continue exploring this biome. Okay, there's a lot of ravens here at nighttime, and they do a lot of damage. I gotta get the heck out of- Oh, God. Oh, oh God, what's happening? What is that thing? Okay, this thing is pretty freaking big. This is probably one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen, but let's see what we can do here. Let's get a couple of hits on her. And okay. Wow, we actually do really good damage with this strength too. We should be able to take this thing down pretty easily, actually. Okay, let's go back, use a couple potions here. Do not want to die. And what is this sticky web all over me? Okay, I think just a few more hits. And there we go. We defeated the brood mother. Interesting. And what do we have over here? It looks like there is a chest up here. Can we reach that? Okay, wait. How did my bald cap even get in here i swear i had that before but you know what this is a painful video so once again it is pretty cursed okay i'll go ahead and take some more potions and i guess since there's ravens above me that want to attack me i guess i'm gonna go mining now because i definitely need to get some diamond armor so i dug all the way down got a bunch of ores and made myself a full set of diamond Okay, and out with the old and in with the new. As you guys can see, we finally got ourselves some full diamond armor. Now let's head back to the surface and hopefully no crows attack us. And here's the exit to the cave now. Let's go up here and wait, what was that? What the heck? Oh my gosh, what even happened? Where even am I? Last thing I remember, I was hit in the head by some sort of zombie thing. What is this? Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, no, no. That's him. That's the guy that hit me over the head. Okay, we gotta get out of here. You know what? I've had enough of running. Forced or not, I'm gonna put you down myself. Playtime. <laughs>
Okay, Forest Ono is not happy with me. Let's drink our potions and... Okay, wait. Where'd my shield go? Wait. Oh, no. I don't know where I put my shield. That is not good. I'm gonna have to take down Forest Ono without a shield. But it looks like my diamond armor is actually really, really helping me out in this situation. Oh! He just kicked me in the head, bro. Forest Ono, this is not cool, bro. You know, we used to be friends. We used to record videos together. But now you're punching me in the face and you're like a giant Hulk kind of person. This is very strange. We gotta run back here. Let's eat some of this. Dude, I honestly really don't have much potions. And not having a shield is going to make this fight a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Oh! Okay, Forrest, you may be getting a little bit mad at me here. But, dude, I'm going to have to take you down. I don't know what happened to you. But you are a very weird, corrupted, demon-looking thing. So, I I no offense, but... Uh-oh. What the heck? Okay, he's getting apparently... Oh, wait, he just kicked his own zombie in the head. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, okay, that is not good. I cannot be taking fall damage like that. Okay, I need to repot my potions because I am nearly out of my strength and speed. And we've already got him three quarters low. Come on, just a few more hits and Forrest Ono should be taken down. Everybody take rest in peace, Forrest Ono, in the comments. Listen, if this was the real Forrest, I wouldn't be killing him, you know, because we're friends and all. But this, this guy is not the real Forrest, I'm telling you. Okay, just a few more hits. And yes, okay, Forrest Oh no, goodbye, my friend. It was nice knowing you. All right, well, I just finished searching this entire area and I couldn't find any more clues as to where this brainful guy and all the other versions of painful are. So, to be honest, I need to keep looking elsewhere. All right, well, I've been traveling out here for a couple days and this is what I just found. It looks like some sort of giant factory with all the smoke coming off the tops of it, but somebody definitely lived here. This almost looks like a little laboratory that somebody lived in. There's some brewing stands, some bookshelves, and there's even a chest here. Okay, good. There is potions and food. Those are both some things I was very in need of, so thank you for that. And a book by Brainful? Wait, this is Brainful's laboratory. Okay, let's see what this book says. My studies have concluded that all one trillion something other multiverse worlds are connected in ways not yet known. This world shifter is going to come in extreme handy. Okay, so from what it seems like with this book, there's trillions and trillions of other multiverses and that is how I'm able to use my world shifter. That's good to know. Well, I think we've looted everything from Brainful's laboratory. I say we get out of here. Okay, yep, I'm not gonna get out of here. In fact, I'm gonna be using my world shifter. See you later, robots. And okay, where am I? Okay, well, this is obviously the same base, but obviously not in the same area. Okay, this is weird. Okay, what the heck was that? That sounded like a giant T-Rex or something. Okay, well, even though I heard a giant T-Rex roar, I definitely want to do some exploring as my world shifter does have a cooldown, so I'm not able to get out of here yet. So might as well go explore a little bit. Okay, well, I've been following this river for a little while and wait a second, what is that? This looks like some sort of building up there. Let's get a closer look. Okay, this is not just a building. This looks like some sort of city. What did I just find? All right, well, let's see what else we could find here. Do you see that chap? That ape is wearing clothes. How cool. Who would do that to a wild animal and just let it loose? I'm not an animal. This is quite a discovery. We must alert the press post haste. Indeed we should. Please, ape, come with us so that we can take you to be vivisected for the sake of science. Viva what it? No way. I am out of here. Wait. You can't leave. You gotta let us cut you up into little pieces for science. I think I may have lost them. I don't know. I'm just gonna hide in here and hopefully they don't find me. Wait, what is this room? Some sort of enchanting place? I mean, I'm going to borrow this from whoever lives here. Thank you very much. Don't mind me. And I may take a couple of these for the road as well. Okay, well, it's the morning time now. Let's see. Is this some sort of like shop or something like that? It looks like there's nothing here. Okay, never mind. There's some golden apples. I guess I'll take some of these for the road, but... Oh, um, hi. Uh, are you lost, little guy? Are you, like, somebody's pet? Are you lost? I shouldn't just let you rummage through stuff. Should I call animal control? You're not a rabbit or something, are you? Okay, this is very, very awkward. I'm just gonna walk away. You're supposed to pay. I definitely want to continue exploring this city and seeing what else I could find here. Man, this city is actually huge. I've been running around here. Oh gosh, who is that? We can't be having strange machines attacking citizens. Find out where they're coming from 
Now! Constable, that's the talking ape I told you about. Please, apprehend it so we can cut it open. For science! Come on and try it, you overgrown lizard! Talking ape, huh? Whatever you say. The animal shouldn't be walking around where it can attack children anyway. Okay, I guess we're gonna be fighting! Okay, this thing is actually huge! Okay, we need to drink our potions. Oh god, it's actually doing pretty good damage. That's one thing I forgot to do is make a shield as well. Oh my gosh, okay, let's eat a golden apple real quick. And okay, let's get some hits on him. Okay, he has a decent amount of health. Holy crap, I'm hitting him with a strength 2 diamond sword. Okay, use our potion here. And okay, we got him to quarter health already. Let's keep trying to trade. I think... I I think we're actually winning when it comes to trading hits. Okay, never mind. One heart. Run away. Use some of this. Eat another golden apple. I gotta get more potions. I can't believe how strong this Commander Rex thing is. Hopefully, there's nothing else as big as this guy or bigger. That would be really bad. Okay, use one last potion here, and we should be able to take down Commander Rex. And there we go. Wait, what is this? He dropped Rex's Bane. Okay, this thing looks insane. Shift right click to Sky Smash. Okay, and look at that. I have a special ability as well. And it looks like Commander Rex and that other dinosaur had just killed all of these robots. Well, it looks like there's not too much more to do in this city. Let's go ahead and use the world shifter. And wait, where the heck am I? Oh, okay, this is another version of my base. We got some hay bales. Uh, what do we got in here? Okay, of course, all my loot is in there. This is, dude, this is so cursed. Seeing my same house everywhere I go, it's just, wait, where is this? This looks like I'm in some sort of castle or village or something. Well, I definitely want to explore more of this village. Wait, what does this say? Stay away, goblin attacks. Wait a second, you're telling me this village has been attacked by goblins? That probably explains why I don't see anybody here. Okay, well, we should keep our eyes out for goblins, but I also want to maybe do a little bit of exploring and potentially gathering some supplies. Let's go ahead and get started. I then mined a bunch of trees around the surrounding area and got a bunch of stone. All right, well, now that I got all those supplies, I should be able to start rebuilding this town a little bit. Wait, this said stay awake, goblin attacks. These are looking a lot like goblins now. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. He poisoned me. We gotta kill them quickly. We have gotta kill them quickly. Okay, just a few more hits. And... There we go. I think we got... Oh, wait. This thing just came back to life. How did you get behind me? Okay, come on. A few more hits. We should be able to take this thing down. There we go. Okay. But how is this thing alive again? I swear I've killed this thing 10 times. Okay, let's collect his bones. Okay. Well, we defeated the goblins. Now I say we try to rebuild some of this city. I noticed a lot of the city was littered with lava. It seemed like one of the golems must have been spreading lava everywhere. I also rebuilt the bridge and created a few shops, built some towers, and added a bunch of blockades along the roads. I then replaced the center water piece and made it a little watchtower. All right, well, I just spent the night in here after rebuilding the town, and wait a second. Where did all of these pigmen just come from? Is it possible that the pigmen used to live here, and they were the ones that got overrun by the goblins? Because they all seem to be very friendly. It looks like all these pigmen have moved back in to potentially help defend the village from the goblins now that I repaired everything. Well, I think I more or less repaired this city. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, wait, is that brainful? You can't keep running from me. I will have you for my collection. What are you even talking about? Brainful, why are you kidnapping different versions of me from all over the multiverse? Because once I have every version of me, I'll be able to use the Overnesser to combine us all together. We can be a perfect being, a god. All you need to do is let me melt you down and- Enough, Brainful. I'm not gonna let you melt any of us down. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Robots contain him. Oh gosh, he's spawning in a bunch of these things. In three, okay, yep, yeah, we're gonna two, get out of here. World shift. One, okay, wait. Wait, where am I? This is a little bit cursed. Wait, is this my corrupted nether video map? This looks a little bit familiar. I'm not gonna lie. How did I get into my previous video? This is kind of cursed. Um, oh wait, this chest actually has a little bit more supplies. A power to bow and some arrows. I'll go ahead and take that. Let's take these gapples. Okay, well, this is very strange. I didn't expect to be in my previous video. Um, I guess we could go do some exploring. This is very weird. Okay, guys, I found this giant temple thing. I think I was here before. Wait, is that me in the past fighting the Balrog? Okay, this is really cursed. I am going to get out of here. I never thought I'd watch myself kill a boss that I already killed. This video is getting a little bit too cursed for me. All right, well, let's head back to my base now. We're pretty close. Is it just me or did this lava? Okay, yep, the lava is definitely rising. I don't know how I'm going to get to my base. Let's just start building up because I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is causing the lava to get higher, but I need to start building up because wait, why are my blocks invisible? This is really cursed right now. Okay, they're back. Okay, my entire base has been engulfed in lava. The 
Wait, the entire map is rising. I have a feeling that Brainful or something could be behind this. Let's keep going up. Come on. So I connected this cobblestone all the way over to here. It looks like the lava has stopped right. What is that thing? Painful number 4535. Take this nether star in order to recharge your world shifter and escape from Brainful's army. They have just entered the nether. Wait, you're giving me a nether star because Brainful... Oh, wait. Oh, he actually did give me one. And he's giving me this because Brainful's army just entered the nether. I guess they're coming for me, but I guess that recharges my world shifter. So hopefully this works. And wait, where am I? I am in the middle of the sky. Oh my goodness. That would not have been good if I took one step forward. And it doesn't look like I have a house on this one. My house is nowhere to be found, but I am in a very interesting world. I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get down from here. This is interesting. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure there's that much else I can do on this planet. Okay. Yep. You know what? Since the nether star is giving my world shifter more power, I'm going to get out of here and what? Oh my gosh, wait, where did this just take me? Well, I'm not really sure what to do on a 2D world. I mean, look how dangerous this is. If I fall off the edge, I'm pretty much- <gasps> Oh god, a creeper! Okay, world shift, go! Okay, wait, where am I now? Uh, wait, oh no, my world shifter's glitching. It keeps teleporting me. Wait, where? I'm on a tree? Um, oh god, where am I now? Uh, I am- I, I think I'm in the sky. And I, I, wait, am I flying in a cave? How am I flying? Um, this is very weird. Um, wait, what is this place? Am I in some winter biome? Okay, this is pretty cursed. And real quick, check out my Badline Cosmetics. You can use code PAINFUL to save yourself 10% off. Link in the description below. Okay, I am not gonna lie, I've never been in a biome quite like this. This is a very unique place, and it's a very cold and looks to be dead place. I have not seen a single creature that has been roaming this earth that's alive. Look at this, it's just a huge dead frozen wasteland. Oh, what I think I should do is maybe dig a hole in a wall and make some sort of shelter because I do not want to freeze here overnight. I've been running around here for a while and I still can't find anything, like I'm not really... The heck is this thing? Hold on. Energy ball. Okay, well, I guess that's something. I'm not sure what it does, though, but maybe it'll come in handy later. Okay, well, since it is getting pretty late, I found this little crevice. I think I'm gonna hide in here for the night. I probably will sleep with one eye open because I don't know if anything dangerous will come for me, but this is where I'm gonna stay the night. Okay, well, that was a pretty cold night. I'm not gonna lie and... Wait, is that Nestor? This does not really look like... Okay, he's trying to come in. Okay, I... wait. I don't have anywhere to go. You know what? I'm going down. Wait, where am I? Uh, wait, Nestor? What are you doing there? Don't you know how dangerous that place is? Well, what are you talking about? That cold place? It's not like I really wanted to be there. But you were. Our society has worked for generations to make sure the creature stays contained there. And you almost let it out. Just be glad our monitors noticed you before it was too late. Look, I'm too busy for this. There's a version of me named Brainful trying to melt every other version of me down, and I kind of need to stop him. So unless you can help me out with that, I really have got to go. Another version of you? Like, from another universe? There are other creatures that can travel through dimensions? Fascinating. How do you do it? I uh, got this thing called a world shifter from another version of me before he was captured. It's kind of glitchy right now, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can I see it? And any other machinery you got from different worlds? Well, I guess if it's broken, I don't have much of a choice. Here, I guess I found this ball of strange energy, too, you can look at. Wonderful. Please wait here for a while while we examine it. A bed has been provided for you to rest your flesh against it in the meantime. Please relax. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll eat this golden apple and I'll see you in a bit, I hope. Well, it looks like I'm just going to be stuck in this cave for a little while. And there is a bunch of steak, which I guess is good because I didn't have any food. And I've got a little bed here, so at least it's nice and warm here. That ice cave was definitely not my temperature, I'll tell you that. Guys, it's already been a full day and I've yet to hear from that robot Nestor guy. Hopefully he has some good news for me because I literally can't get out of here. When I try to use my pickaxe, like it doesn't work. These walls must be coated with some sort of magic or something, but hopefully we hear from them soon. This world shifter of yours, did 
Did you know that it's been recording everywhere you've been going and what you've been doing? You didn't tell me this guy's hunting you down was going to use the Overnester. He's gonna destroy the entire multiverse if he lets it out of its containment dimension. What? Are you serious? Okay, we have to stop him. Did you find anything else out? I did. The strange green energy you found, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I think we have a chance of destroying the Overnester with this tech. And with your help, of course, take the deposit box, a suit of armor to protect you, and a modified world shifter to allow you to choose what dimension you want to travel to. Wait, my deposit box? Hold on. Okay, alchemist armor. Okay, I did not expect to get that. And a clockwork bow. Okay, well, I guess I should put this on. Well, this armor makes me look pretty epic. I am not going to lie. This is pretty neat. Anyways, so with this, do you think I can take on this quote-unquote overnester guy? I really hope so. The strange ball of energy you found should be able to at least wound it so this brain vole won't be able to free it. But I'm afraid you'll have to go now. If my calculations are correct, brain vole will locate you shortly. Please leave before he does. Right, I'd also like to get some more supplies before fighting this thing, but I guess I'll do what I have to do. Well, that Robo Nester said wherever I think I can teleport myself to, so what if I think I want to teleport myself back to that icy biome? Is it actually going to work? Wait, oh my gosh, it worked. I now control this world shifter, so it seems wherever I think I can actually teleport to now. That is going to come in handy. Over the next couple days, I traveled across this icy terrain. Well, this is a pretty interesting area. There's like two giant mountains around here and... <gasps> Oh my gosh, where the heck did you come from? Okay, well, I guess we're fighting the Overnester now. And okay, we gotta drink our speed and strength potions right now before this thing kills us because this is a very cursed Nester boss. Wait, Minecraft, but it's raining swords, okay? We gotta dodge all of these. Nester, why did you have to do so many Minecraft butt videos, bro? You are making my life a little bit more complicated than it needs. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Wait, can I block these? Hopefully I can block these. Hopefully Nester hasn't done too much crazy Minecraft butt challenges because that is going to make my life very, very difficult. But let's get a few hits on him. And okay, let's keep running. Let's keep running. His Minecraft bot is almost over. Okay, Minecraft but Harrowbrine is real. Oh, it's Harrowbrine running at me. Okay, this is not good. Oh, wait, Harrowbrine does really good damage. Okay, we got to run from Harrowbrine. Okay, can, can we shoot Harrowbrine? We need to shoot Harrowbrine. This is not good. Okay, honestly, I, I don't know how to kill this thing. Okay, okay, what is that damage? Oh my gosh, I got to run. I got to run. I only have two potions left and Nestor still has like full HP. This is not very good. I can't believe that Harrowbrine is actually in this video, but let's... Dude, what the heck is going on? This thing is actually breaking my computer. Okay, oh, I just got knocked way up in the air. That is not good. Oh my gosh, this boss fight is actually destroying my computer a little bit, but it looks like we already got him below half. That is very good. I only have one potion left and this thing... Oh no, Minecraft, but it's raining swords again. You've got to be kidding me. Those actually do a lot of damage too. Okay, come on, let's get a few more hits. Okay, now let's run. Let's run. Let's use our bow to our advantage here, the clockwork bow. Let's get some good shots on him here, because I believe this bow has power four on it, which does a lot of damage. Dude, these swords are, are literally destroying me right now. Okay, it should stop raining swords in a minute. It should stop raining swords. Dude, I wish I could pick up one of these netherite swords. That might come in handy, but let's uh, let's keep bowing him here. Minecraft, but Steve is... Oh, no, it spawned in Buff Steve. We do not like Buff Steve, Nestor. Why did you have to make these crazy videos, man? Like, you're, you're making my life so difficult right now. Okay, we have literally have two Buff Steve. Steve's chasing us right now. This is not very good. Okay, what the heck? Minecraft, but you have one heart? Okay, I'm literally on half a heart right now. We have got to keep our distance from this thing, and let's just use our arrow and hopefully not die here. I've really got to use this iceberg as protection because I only have literally one heart right now. Nestor, why did you have to do Minecraft, but you only have one heart, bro? Like, this is just not fair for me. I somehow have to kill a boss version of you, Nestor, and do it with one health. Okay, jump shots, and wait. Oh, okay, I got my hearts back, but it's raining swords now. Okay, we have no more potions. We gotta go in for the kill now. I think we've gotta go in for the kill now. Let's go. Okay, just a few more hits and we should be okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, we actually defeated Overnester. This guy, look at it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I honestly thought I may have been dead there, but that was insane. Okay. What the heck is happening now? Okay. You know what? I'm going to world shift out of here. Uh, I want to go back to my original base. Go. And oh my gosh. Wait, we are actually back at the original base we have made. I haven't been here for almost a hundred days now. This is crazy to see. I should have. Yep. I got a bunch of my supplies in here from the other world. So I guess we could set up some brewing stands to make some more potions here. 
here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this enchantment table and enchant the rest of my armor. Well, I just finished up brewing up my potions and I enchanted most of my armor. For some reason, my helmet wouldn't let me enchant. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? I'll take what I can get. Let's get these potions. I also harvested some of the seeds outside, got myself some more food. So we should be pretty much good to go. Well, now that I have a bunch of potions and enchanted alchemist armor, I should be good to take on Brainful. Although Brainful does have an army of different versions of me. So I probably should try and get some more weapons. So you know what? World Shifter, take me to a world with lots of weapons. Does this... Wait, wait, is this my zombie world? Well, I guess there was a lot of weapons here. And I guess it's a good thing I put a stop to the zombie apocalypse. But I'm not really sure where to look for the weapons. Let's go look around. Okay, well, this is a place that I haven't seen before. And there does seem to be a chest in the middle of this field. So might as well check it out. And what have we got in here? Okay, nice. A faster blaster and an M4 assault rifle. I should be able to give some of the other different painful versions of me some guns just in case they need to protect themselves. All right, let's see if we can maybe find a couple or a few more guns. Seems like I'm on a giant railroad here. In the movie, there's always something cool on these trains, isn't there? And wait a second. Okay. And there we go. We hit another jackpot. We got an AK and an op. Okay. So somebody's going to get the lucky sniper rifle, whoever it is. I'm going to continue scanning these trains to see if there's any more loot here. And we're going to keep looking. Well, there wasn't any more loot on those trains, but I did find myself in some huge building here. And there is a chest on here. What looks to be nice an RPG. This thing is really good with a Glock pistol. Okay, so this is probably all the guns I'm gonna need. I mean, how many different versions of myself can there really be? There probably isn't that many. Anyways, I think this should be enough. Let's go ahead and maybe try and find Brainful. Now that I have all these guns, World Shifter TP me to the main brain. Wait, what was that noise? It sounded like there was almost an error or something. Okay, so Brainful must have some protective barrier over the main brain. So, so what we're gonna do, World Shifter TP me to power? Does this work? Oh, okay, this did bring me to a power biome. So now that I'm in this power world, what I wanna do is make some sort of power tower, which gives me enough power to break through the main brain shield. That way we can go ahead and take down Painful and free the different versions of myself. All right, well, what I'm gonna do over the next couple of days is just gather a bunch of redstone and redstone blocks because this tower needs to be pretty big and powerful if I'm gonna break through the main brain shield. So let's go ahead and do some collecting. I then gathered a bunch of redstone and redstone blocks to start forming my massive build. I wanted to create a giant power station. I then created two giant towers and connected them at the very top to generate a lot of redstone power. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Let's flick this and this. Oh God, I think it might be working. My screen is starting to shake a little bit. Okay, I think it's working. World Shifter, take me to the main brain. Oh wait, we just got teleported. What's happening? Oh wait. Okay, I think we might be in the main brain now. It actually worked. Well, this is a very interesting place to say the least. And it looks like the sky turned purple here for some reason. Now that is kind of weird. And okay, yep, we do have some hostile robots down here. Let's go ahead and take these down. It should be pretty easy though, because I do have my really good armor and my really good sword. And why is there a random donkey there? That's just very weird. Okay, let's do this. And there we go. Goodbye robots. That's probably not going to be the last of them. I guess uh, we should just leave the donkey donkey here though. I've, I kind of feel bad, but you know, I've got a world to save. To be honest, I have no clue where I am, but this build is absolutely insane. It looks like this definitely could have been built by Brainful because it, it seems like there was a pretty good architect that was able to build this. Anyways, let's keep looking around. Look at this. This is actually insane. There's a huge river. There's some dolphins and I guess they have some villager farmers trapped over there. Okay, that's that's interesting, I guess. Well, it has been a couple days of searching around for Brainful. I don't know where he is, but okay. Yep. We have got a lot of robots here, but it looks like some of them might actually not be activated because there's only three attacking me. Let's go ahead and take down these robots real quick. And there we go. And it looks like the rest of these are not working properly. Let's go ahead and just... Yeah, it doesn't even look like I can even kill these ones. Okay, well, it looks like these ones are already dead. Hopefully they don't come to life. But uh, anyways, I guess we'll leave these here and continue our search for Brainful. Other than robots, I'm not too sure what else there is here. But wait a second. Are these different versions of me? 
Wait, they seem to be all fro- Wait, what am I in right now? Am I in some sort of trap? I gotta get out of this. Are these different versions of me frozen in the wall? Okay, I gotta let them out and wait, they're not moving at all. They must be completely frozen. Okay, so what I wanna do here is maybe search the premises over the next few days and start just unfreezing as many painfuls as I can. Hopefully these painfuls will defrost and maybe if I kill the boss, they will be able to come back to life. I honestly don't know, but I'm gonna spend the next couple couple days uh, looking for more painfuls because I'm sure this is not the only amount of them. So let's continue our search. Okay, well, after exploring a little bit more, I found this giant room and it looks to be like there's a lot of different... Wait, lolful. And it looks like he's in like some sort of incubation chamber where they keep them frozen. Okay, we're gonna open this up here so when he unfreezes, he'll be able to leave. And we should probably try and do this for all of them. Oh, wait, look at this. We got forceful here. Okay, that is a combination I never thought I'd see. Okay, forceful. Hopefully you unfreeze soon, man. We're gonna get you out of here. Well, I've pretty much mined out all of these guys. We got meat full over there. Like there's so many different versions of me. I did not know that all these people existed. And there's probably gonna be more of me around here somewhere. So I need to keep looking. What else is even in here? Oh, yep. There's more painfuls. They look like they're locked up in these jail cells. And what's in this chest here? Wait, rotten flesh? Okay. It looks like Brainful must have been feeding all of these people rotten flesh. We got another meatful here. We got an awful... Okay, this is just kind of cursed. I'm not going to lie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break all of these guys free. I'm going to go ahead and put all of my weapons and ammunition into here so that when they're unfrozen, they're going to be able to grab all these weapons and run because to be honest, I don't want to let them free without a weapon or anything to defend themselves. So hopefully, you know, giving them these ammunition and weapons will help them a lot. Oh, hey, look, we found Baldful here. Wait, is there two Baldfuls in there? Okay, that's really weird. Well, hopefully I got all of the painfuls. I don't know if I have yet. Oh, wait, that's brainful. All this time I've been hunting you down and you just came to me. Now I can get started melting you all down. What? What's going on? Why isn't the Overnesser's power? What did you do? I beat you, is what I did. And I'll kill you. Okay, okay, he's dropping, he's shooting rockets at me. Okay, that's very... Wait, did he just take off his glasses? Okay, he took off his glasses. That's very weird. Well, it's a good thing he didn't take off his wig, because he has no hair. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, okay, that does a lot of damage. Let's eat some food to regenerate. I did not know that Brainful could shoot missiles out of his eyeballs. That is something new that I guess I just learned... Is that a turret? What the? Okay, Brainful has a lot of advanced technology that I have not seen before. My man has turrets. My man has lasers. Hopefully, he doesn't have something like bald attack or something because he is extremely bald. Wait, he just broke my shield. He literally just broke my shield. Okay, let's run. Let's use our potion of strength. Dodge all those missiles. Oh, God. Oh, God. This isn't good. I, I dropped my potion. Pick this up. Okay, that's a lot of lasers. That is a lot of lasers. And okay, we got him to half health so far. Let's run a little bit and use our bow. Let's run a little bit and use our bow. Okay, he is standing up off of his thing. I don't know what the heck. Wait, what is that thing? Wait, can we kill this thing? What, what is it? What is it doing? Okay, we, I'm assuming we don't want to get hit by that. Let's kill this robot as well. Get out of here, please. Okay, I got to dodge this laser, dude. It is shooting this red. Oh, almost dead. Almost dead. Dude, Brainful does a lot of damage. I just got to make sure I don't get hit by this red laser thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I went down to half a heart. I, okay. I literally have one potion. I have one potion. Okay, a few more hits. Okay, get this. Splash my last potion. Oh my God, I'm on half a heart. This is it. I was supposed to win. And oh my gosh, we just lived. Wow. I can't believe that we just killed the brainful. I still can't believe that. But my goodness, I think we're good now. And real quick, if you want to fight these bosses alongside Force and I every weekend, check out our Patreon in the description below. Ah, there we go. Meatful, there's your house behind you, buddy. Enjoy it. I've got to get the rest of the painfuls back to their homes, so take care, Meatful. And there we go, Baldful. Wait, where's your home? Uh, oh, okay, Baldful, here's your home. Enjoy your home, my man. Hopefully you grow some hair someday. I gotta go get the rest of the guys home. And okay, Hairful, okay, the world shifter work. I guess your home is around here somewhere. Uh, ha have a good time, Hairful. Oh God, that's the Leviathan. Okay, well, hopefully Hairful lives. I don't know if he's going to, but uh, yeah, I guess we gotta get out of here. Well, now that I've returned all the other versions of myself to their natural homes, I should go home too. So world shifter, take me home. What? Wait a second. This isn't my home. What is this? Wait, where's my items going? Wait, all of my stuff is disappearing. What is happening? And where even am I? Is this the end? Oh, man, I'm not really feeling so good. 
Wait a second, what? I'm a shulker. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to survive 100 days as a shulker. Imagine you're a shulker. Lost in the end, challenged by custom bosses. Well, it looks like I am in some sort of custom end dimension. And to be honest, I didn't expect to become a shulker, but I guess I can go ahead and mine this tree and wait a second. Holy crap, as a shulker, I can use the shulker shooter. Instead of mining a tree with tools, I can actually just shoot this shulker bullet at it. And look at this, I am mining this entire tree. Wow. Wow, this makes my life a lot easier. Well, to be honest, I think since I am a shulker, I probably need to build some sort of shelter. So what I'm gonna do is go around this little end area that I'm in now, gather as much wood and as much supplies as I can and create myself a little base. Using my shulker shooter, I was able to gather a ton of materials very quickly. And then I started the construction on my base. I only used the materials that I found nearby and it honestly didn't take very long to make. All right, well, now that I finished building my base, I probably should do a little bit more mining and potentially try and get some food. Okay, what the heck are these things? Are these like giant wasps? Okay, well, it's a good thing my shulker thing is not only a mining tool, it's also a self-defense mechanism. I can use this to kill a bunch of wasps, apparently. So as you can see, I spent the next little bit just killing a bunch of wasps that were swarming around my base. It was pretty easy, to be honest. This shulker shooter is really good. Okay, and I just defeated the rest of them, but look what they dropped. A bunch of rabbit stew and honey bottles. Well, the good thing is I believe I am gonna be able to eat rabbit stew, so that is a good source of food. Well, with my base being built and defeating all those wasps, I think it's about time I explore this cursed end dimension. This is pretty weird. Look what I found, a giant floating island. I definitely need to get the supplies to get over there. Let's go ahead and farm up this tree, gather all the wood, and then build over there. After gathering the materials, I then bridge to this mysterious island. All right, well, I wonder what is on this island. I haven't been here... What is that thing? Little did I know that was a mutant Enderman staring at me. Okay, I'm going to get away from that thing because I do not want it to kill me. Let's run over here. Oh, oh God, he's chasing. Let's use this. We should be able to block the pathway. Let's destroy it all so he can't get to us. And okay, I do not like the look of that thing. Let's get out of here before it kills me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some iron if I'm gonna be able to take that thing down. So I guess we should, oh wow, there's actually iron here. We're gonna do some mining and look at this. We don't even need a pickaxe to mine. We're gonna easily be able to get all the supplies that we need. So let's just use our shulker shooter and get a bunch of iron. All right, and we're just about done making all of our iron here. But I really wish mining was that easy. Just being able to shoot a shulker shooter and just getting all your ores like that would be so much better. Anyways, let's make our armor. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my armor. And just like that, I am now an iron shulker. Okay, this is very cool. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder what the netherite shulker is gonna look like. I debated about making an iron sword, but I figured I have no arms. So an iron sword probably wouldn't be too useful. All right, well, let's continue exploring and hopefully Hopefully we don't run into that crazy looking Enderman that we saw earlier, because that thing was pretty freaky. All right, well, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. Looks to be some sort of like end city or me- uh Oh, get away from me, dude. All these Endermen are trying to kill me. Look, guys, I get it. I'm a shulker, but please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Couple more shots and there we go. Okay, we took these things down, but let's go ahead and check out this end place that we found here. Okay, well, this looks like it's actually some sort of Enderman village. Oh, wait, who are they? I just don't get why we're waiting wasting time trying to attack the shulkers. You serious? We pick up blocks. That's our whole gig. Shulkers are boxes, but they get a little mad when we pick them up. It doesn't seem like a very good reason. Look, you might not like the way we do things, but hey, what's that? It's, it's looking at us. Get it. Okay, they found me. They know it's me. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Run. I'm running. I am running. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and break this so they can't get to me. And okay, as long as I don't look in their eyes, they shouldn't be able to teleport to me. Let's get out of here. I find it very strange that I can actually hear the Endermans talk, but it is what it is. All right, well, I do need to gather more materials, but look at this. Look at all the wasps that are here. Okay, they're coming straight for me. They are coming straight for me. Let's go ahead and defeat these. Come on, dude. This is, this must be like a nest of wasps here. I've never seen so many of them and it's already hitting me. Okay, come on. A couple more shots. This thing should be going down, dude. It is really hard to kill them because they are flying so fast, but look at this. They drop food and we are in desperate need of more food. I only have have a little bit of honey bottles left, so I think it's in my best interest to take these things down. So, as you can see, I was chased by a bunch of wasps, but they were no match for my shulker shooter, and it's a good thing I had iron armor as well, because it prevented me from taking a lot of damage. Well, now that I destroyed that huge amount of wasps that were around me, I can finally start gathering all the supplies that I need, because honestly, I don't really have too much supplies in my 
name. So let's quickly go ahead and remove this tree before any more wasps try and take me out. All right, well, I nearly have a full inventory of stuff. And wait, what is this? This looks like some sort of ruins. Okay, I see something on an item frame here. What is this? Levitator 5000? Okay, I guess we can grab this. I'm not too sure what that does. Oh, there's a chest here. Uh, but wait, why can't I open? Wait. What the heck? This chest? Okay, okay. D chill, dude. Please don't make me shoot you. I will shoot you. Whoa, you back off. I thought shulkers and mimics were allies, buddy. Mimics? Look, I'm new here. Are mimics just shulkers with big mouths? Big mouth? I don't talk that much, buddy. I didn't mean it in that way. And hey, let's just start this over. My name is Painful. What's your name? That sounds good, buddy. My name is Mimi. It's nice to meet you, Painful. So a mimic, is that like a chest that just talks? No, silly. We're shapeshifters. Watch. Oh my gosh. Wait, what the heck? Wait, are you a subscribe button? Okay, well, you know what? That is some pretty good advice. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, I guess. I know, right? All right, let's go, buddy. Okay, uh, go where? I don't know, wherever you need to go. Whatever you're up to has to be more fun than sitting in this dark room. All right, well, let's get out of here. I guess we got a new pet. This is very weird. Well, it's pretty nice having my own companion. I'm not gonna lie, but... Oh, wait, that's the mutated Enderman again. Uh, Mimic, we should probably get out of here. Let's maybe use this levitator thing. What does this do? Okay. Okay. That was very loud. Let's go over here. I'm gonna jump up here and hopefully my mimic doesn't die. Let me tell you. Okay, well, it looks like the mimic is still alive and chasing me, to be honest. I don't know how he got here, but hey, we're still alive. Let's go. All right, it feels good to be home. I've got my little mimic friend with me and... What the heck's going- Okay, that is a lot of endermite. Let's quickly go ahead and use this. Stay up there, Mimic. Please stay up there. I do not want you dying. Uh, okay, well, good thing those were pretty easy to kill. Uh, there's only a couple left, and there we go. So, Mimi, what do you eat anyways? I'm confused. That's a silly question, buddy. Gold. What else would you eat? Okay, that's very weird, but I don't believe I have any gold, so- Oh. Okay, right, you have gold. Okay, so I just need to smelt up this gold for you, and then you can eat. Okay, hold on. All right, and the, some of the gold just smelted, so here you go, Mimic. Thanks, buddy. Okay, that's really weird. I don't know why a chest is eating gold, but you know, it is, it is what it is. All right, well, I think we've given the Mimic all her food. I think she might be sleeping right now, and... Shoulder, your kind is not welcome in the Enderland. What was that voice? Let me go out here. Oh, wait, it's the end mutant. You have five days. If you're still here, you will be thrown into the void. Oh, uh, well, I guess if I'm going to be getting thrown in the void, I probably should build some base defenses. Okay, let's get started. To be honest, I didn't have too many materials, so I used what I could, and I made myself a little archery tower on top of my base. All right, well, now that I finished this base, I wonder what else I should do. I know that end mutant is... Our minds have been changed. It's time for you to leave okay well i guess we're fighting now okay let's run over here into a nice open area and wait is that you mimi take this and this mimi is that you i didn't know you could become a sword you can be anything you want to be if you put your mind to it buddy a sword an astronaut a professional baseball player you could even be a sword okay mimi enough talking we've got to take this thing down because i am literally nearly dead come on a few more hits and we sh oh no i just hit an enderman and just a couple more hits mimi we got yes okay that was pretty close my queen we have failed Okay, well, Mimi, I guess we defeated the Ender Mutant. Thank you for the help. Now that I defeated that mutant Enderman, I thought of something pretty cool. Since I'm a shulker, shouldn't I be able to hide in myself? Okay, let's try this. Three, two, one, go! Um, okay, well, I guess I'm inside of myself? Um, wait, is this what the inside of a shulker actually looks like? I'm just some random dude? Okay, well, I guess that's interesting. Well, I guess it's good to know that I can hide inside of myself. This might come in handy later. Okay, well, this was just a quick test. I think I want to head back now. Okay, let's get out of my shell. And, okay, well, I guess I'm outside of my shell again. Okay, well, that was very interesting. Okay, well, if I ever want to be human again, I guess I'm going to need some help. I've already gathered all my supplies here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be back because I already
already have a home inside of myself. Yeah, it's kind of weird to say, but I legit go inside of myself. So I think it's time to say goodbye to this base. I may or may not see you again soon. I think I may have found some sort of end city over here. I need to go check this out. All right, well, now that I'm a little bit closer, this does not look like a normal end city. I mean, it does replicate an end city, but this thing looks like it's pretty enhanced. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely should probably check this out. All right, well, let's see what this thing has to offer. And look, there's another, there's another little shulker here. Hey, little guy. Okay, well, it's not often shulkers don't kill me, but I guess in this video, they aren't gonna kill me as I am one of them. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my levitation ability and I should be able to fly all the way up here. And I think I'm almost here. Okay, we made it all the way up. Now that's a good thing. Okay, let's see what this end city has. Other than a lot of shulkers, I'm not really sure. Oh, wait, is that like the king of shulkers? Hey, so are you the guy in charge here? Yes, I am Emperor Shulkerus Maximus. So what's all the ruckus around here anyways? You walk into our city and just, how do you not know? The Ender Pyre is mobilizing against us. The human attacks are on the rise. If our empire doesn't act, there won't be any empire left. Well, Emperor, Shulkerus, whatever is, uh, I kind of came here for my own problems, but I think I should help you. How about a deal? I help with your wars, and you can help me with my problem. I'll take any help we can get. What is it you need? Uh, well, let's worry about that after I finish helping you. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. I find it a little bit awkward because the humans are killing all the Shulkers, but little does he know I'm actually human as well, so we definitely should help him because if he finds out we're human before we've done any favors for him, he may want to kill us or something. And just before I leave, I wanted to explore the rest of this end city just in case there's any loot, but it does look like there's a huge pool of water here. So let's go ahead and just grab some of this water because as you guys know, Endermen are very weak against water. So this is going to come in handy. All right. Well, I guess I'll see this end city later. I do want to do a bit of exploring here to see if I could find the source of where all these Endermen are coming from and put a stop to it. All right. And we're here. Okay. So the Emperor said these Endermen we're killing him. So let's go ahead and try to take down a lot of these Endermen. Let's use the water to our advantage that we got because obviously that makes all of them panic. Okay, there seems to be a lot of Endermen here, but it looks like my Mimic friend has actually came to help me. Okay, me and the Mimic are going to be taking down this Enderman city. Now that is what I'm talking about. Get back here, you lanky nerd. All right, well, I'm not sure where my Mimic went, but I think I'm going to go ahead and blow up this place and wait, is that my Mimic? Oh, okay. I guess my Mimic is also going to be helping me blow up this place. So without further ado, let's go ahead and blow up this place. So just like that, my Mimic and I decided it was a good idea to blow up the entire Enderman town. We didn't want them returning, so we went ahead and did that. Now that we fully griefed this Enderman town, let's go ahead and report back to the Shulker King. All right, Mimi, I think we've just about made it here. And there's the Shulkerist. Mimi and I took care of an entire war camp of Endermen. Wonderful. One less thing to worry about. I don't think it'll stop the Enderprise, but it'll buy us some valuable time. Please allow us to reinforce your shell. Ahem. <clears throat> I hope too. A mimic. I've not seen a mimic in years. For you, a whole block of gold. Okay, this is very weird. I can't believe my mimic can literally turn into thumbs up and I don't know why my mimic even eats gold, but it is what it is. Okay. All right, Mimi, let's get the heck out of here. And oh, wait, I didn't even realize I am now a diamond shulker. Okay, this is pretty cool. Thank you for the upgrade. I guess we should get... Oh, okay. For some reason, there's a bunch of endermen outside and they don't seem very happy. Mimic, can you help me here? Okay, there is quite a lot of them, okay? I think we were able to kill them, and oh no, not another Ender Lord. Okay, Mimic, I am going to need your help. Uh, there's no way I can do this on my own. I am going to keep using my Shulker ability here, and it's... Oh God, okay, uh, just a few more hits. There we go, and I think the Ender Lord... Yeah, okay, Mimic, let's do this. Let's take down this Ender Lord, because I am not... Oh, okay, this is not good. Use my water here. I gotta sit... Oh God, this water source is not good. I gotta use my levitation. I gotta go up. Okay, Mimic, keep killing them. Keep killing the mimic i am nearly dead i am actually almost dead here which is not not good at all this is kind of oh god oh god oh god i'm about to die i am literally on two hearts right now this is not good okay let's turn around use my ability a little bit okay come on just a few oh god let's get in this building oh no this is bad okay let's go up here and let's go oh god levitate come on Let's get up. I think Mimi was able to take down the guys that were in here. I went up here to regen some of my health, but I think there's just the Ender Lord left. Where'd he go? Okay, let's take down this Ender Lord. I guess it's a good thing that we were here to help protect the Emperor. That would have been bad news of me and... Oh, okay. Yep, another thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mimi. That was really awesome. Well, Mimi, I'm so glad we killed off those Endermen. I guess it's time to head back to base. Wait...
What the heck is that noise? Wait, what is this? Wait, why does that one look bold? We gotta go. Actually, you know what? I'll use my levitation. We should be able to get up there now. Okay, and we're getting pretty close. Wait, Speed Silver? Wait, he's a YouTuber. What is Silver doing here? Um, okay, uh, Mimic, can you help me here? Let's go ahead and use some of my abilities here. Okay, he's running at me and he's got a diamond sword. This is not good. Okay, let's try to levitate away. Try to levitate away. Oh, and he's trying to build up. Okay, let's get a few shots on him here. Come on, we can do this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and levitate up here. We should be able to get away. And let's get a couple shots from above. Come on, just a few more hits. His helmet broke. And we should be able to take him down. One more. Yes, okay. Well, it feels kind of weird killing a YouTuber, but I mean, it is what it is. And I'll go ahead and take a couple of these potions as well. Well, I'm glad we were able to take down some- Every shulker will die. What the heck, Fru? What are you doing here? Okay. Wow, that was actually extremely easy. Well, now that I defeated those YouTubers, I should probably go try and look for the portal that they came from because I don't want to have to kill any other YouTubers. All right, well, I've been traveling out here for a while, but check out this. I found this massive base right where the Ender Dragon used to be. I guess whoever lives here must have slain the Ender Dragon. And this house looks pretty empty. Oh, wait, here's the portal. This must have been where they came through to attack the Shulker Village. Anyways, let's go ahead and loot this. Okay, wow, that is a lot of golden apples and it's hell. Don't mind if I do. All right, well, it doesn't look like there's too much else in this house. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. What is that, Forest? All right, day 27. Time to get some shulker boxes. Forest, Forest, it's me. It's me, painful. <laughs> shulker boxes make such funny noises. Whoa, this shulker seems extra tough. Oh, oh, Forest, it's me. It's me. Okay, you know what? It looks like Forest doesn't know that it's me because I am a shulker. So let's drink our speed and strength. And oh my gosh, Forest does a lot of damage. Is he the golden apple? And I guess we'll start shooting our shulker at him. Wait, he has a shield as well? Where did that shield just come from? He has got a lot of pretty cool abilities that I have not seen before, but oh my gosh, what the heck was that damage? Run away, eat a bit of food here, and wow, he just threw an axe at my head. Guys, this is one of those moments that I never thought would happen. I am literally in a battle against one of my best friends right now. I never thought this would happen, but here we go. Let's get a few more hits on him, and okay, the shulker is really, really effective. Okay, let's get the diamond sword now. Get a few... Oh, what the heck was that? Okay, he's charging at me. Wait, he just healed. He just ate something and healed. Okay, this is not good. Come on, just a few more hits. Uh, let's run over here. And okay, use our shulker ability. We should be able to... Yes. Okay, well, we actually were able to defeat Forest. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now how the heck are we going to destroy this portal? Maybe if we pour enough sand into it, the other side will fill up and nobody can come through? Hey, buddy, why not just blow it up? Um, you are literally a boom. Okay, I, I see what you did there. But blow it up? Blow it up with what? Easy. Just get some Endridian, boil it with some water, and it'll explode like an Endermite in a barrel of chorus fruit, buddy. I'll assume that's a good thing. All right, I guess I'll go dig up some Endridian or whatever it's called. I'll be back. Take a look at this. There is some crystals here. Hopefully, this is the Endridian that we've been looking for. Okay, let's do this. And there's... Sh Okay, there we go. I do see a bunch of stuff dropping on the ground. Okay, what even is this stuff? Andridian. Okay, yeah, this is the stuff that we needed, and it says warning highly unstable. Okay, well, that's probably not a good thing that I'm holding something that is highly unstable, but hopefully nine is enough. I suppose I'll head back now. So guys, I was traveling back to my base, but look at this biome I found. It looks like I may have went the wrong way because I don't know where I am. Wait. What? Wait, am I in the nether or the end tier? Okay, this is a little bit cursed, but uh, I guess it's kind of a good thing because I am going to need to brew more potions at some point, I'm guessing. So I guess these blazes will come in handy. I'll be able to make some brewing stands with them. And that was pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's go ahead and collect all this soul sand and nether wart, and then we should be able to head back to base. All right, well, that took a little bit longer than usual. And on my way back to base, I also gathered a bunch of building supplies. So I'm going to jump inside of my shulker. Here we go. Go. Okay, I am now inside of my shulker self, and look, it is fully diamond now. That is pretty awesome. It would be pretty cool if I could mine that. But I guess if I mine the shulker, I'm technically going to hurt myself, so I probably shouldn't do that. Anyways, it's time to build myself a base. Knock, knock. Anybody in there? Uh, who the heck was that? All right, let's get out of my shell and see who that was. Oh, Shadow Apples, it's me, Painful. You die, Silka. 
Okay, I guess Shadow Apples does not know that it's me painful. I guess he thinks I'm some sort of shulker, which I can understand, but unfortunately for him, he's gotta go. Okay, uh, wow. Shadow Apples, why the heck did you have so many apples? This is very weird. This is not okay. You have a problem. Okay, that was very weird. I think it's probably a good idea for me to close off this portal now. Okay, and with all the Andridian we collected with some endstone, wait, this created 64 NTNT. Okay, well, well, I guess I should use this to not only blow up this portal, but blow up this entire house as it's very cursed. All right, and the last piece of TNT. There we go. Okay, we gotta get out of here. This thing's gonna blow. Oh my gosh. All of the NTNT is blowing up. And just like that, I don't think... Oh God, I don't think this thing's very happy with me. It just started... Okay, I don't think they're very happy with me. This is not very good. Okay, get out of here. Oh my gosh, why are so many Endermen after me all of a sudden? Why are they all trying to kill me? Guys, guys, listen. I know I'm a shulker. I know you hate shulkers, but please leave me alone. Okay. As you guys can see, that building is no longer, and I don't think I'll have any more YouTubers that are gonna try and kill me. All right, and now that I destroyed that building and the huge ender portal, I figured I should go up here and tell King Shulkerus. And we're just about here, there he is. Hey, Shulkama, sir, whatever your name is. The portal to the human world is destroyed. There should be no more attacks. That's wonderful. Also, it's Shulkerus. Anyway, we may just win this war with the ender pyre after all. You've done wonderful, young Shulker. Shulker, yeah, about that, the favor I needed. I am not actually a shulker. I'm a human that somehow got transformed into a shulker. I was hoping that you could potentially turn me back to my normal form. A human? How could a human... I suppose you did help us. All right, human, there may be a way. The End Queen carries a gem of dark magic with her. You may be able to become a human again with it. Sounds like I just need to go knock down some more Endermen. That's a piece of cake. Don't be overconfident. Painful's taken on a whole army of Enders. Surely one more should be easy. Okay, so we'll report back to you soon. Let's go, Mimi. And why are you a subscribe button? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. Just subscribe to the channel. And I figured I'd come back here to collect some more Endridium because I feel like I'm going to need some more NTNT. So let's go ahead, do that, and do that. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and collect all of this. I also broke some more Andridium crystals over there. So let's gather all this. Okay, look at all the crystals I just got. That is going to be more more than enough TNT that I'm gonna need. The reason why I need all this NTNT is because I'm making my way to the Enderman territory and I will take them all down. Okay, guys, I just arrived at what looks to be the Enderman territory. Now, there's probably way too many Endermen around, so what I wanna do with all this NTNT is try and load up the surrounding area with TNT and try and blow up this entire building. Okay, there seems to be a lot of Endermen here guarding the Ender Queen's castle. Let's go over here and let's start digging a hole. There's no way I'd be able to place all this TNT TNT around with all these Endermen around here. So let's go ahead and fill up the undergrounds with a bunch of TNT and hopefully blow up this tower from the bottom up. Okay, I've got the full underground of this castle fully lit up with TNT. Now I just need to sneak around the castle and place the rest of this TNT. Okay, right under here. Let's place a bit of TNT here. And can I make it up here? Is there any... Oh yeah, there was a few Endermen. Okay, I managed to sneak past some of those Endermen. Let's load up this base with TNT now. It doesn't look like there's too many Endermen around here. Okay, guys, I just set up a redstone timer. This thing should detonate in three, two, one. Okay, I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna blow. Let's get to a safe spot over here. Oh yeah, it's blowing. This is good. Okay, it looks... Okay, this is good. Let's go over here. I don't think they see me. Oh yeah, we've completely destroyed the bottom of this. And real quick, check out my Badline Cosmetics. You can use code PAINFUL to save yourself 10% off. Linked in the description below. Mimi, I can't believe we actually destroyed the whole bottom. I'm pretty happy about that. Wait, what was that? Oh my gosh. Wait, that's the End Queen. <laughs> okay, it looks like she's summoning a bunch of Endermen that are chasing me. Okay, oh my goodness. Yeah, Mimi, I don't think we're gonna be able to take all of them down. We gotta get out of here. Okay, Mimi, it looks okay. Yep, they're all coming for us. We've gotta run away. We, we need to get back to our base because there's no way I'm gonna be able to kill all of these and the End Queen. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, I think I've lost the End Queen. <laughs> Yeah, but I can still hear her howling. Okay, now that I'm in a safe spot, I'm gonna go back inside my shell. Let's go! And okay, I'm back inside my shell. I definitely need to gather some more food and maybe do a little bit of brewing here. All right, guys. So I just brewed up some of my speed and strength potions. I even got some more instant health in here because I feel like that end queen is going to do a lot of damage. Ah! Oh, what was that? That must have been the queen or something. Okay, I need to get out of my shell. Go! And okay. Wait, is that Mimi running in at the end queen? Mimi, be careful! 
Wait, did you just knock out Mimi? I'm going to crush your shell. Okay, well, it looks like I have to fight the Ender Queen now. And oh my gosh, what the heck is that damage? Okay, let's run away and use some of my strength and speed. I really hope Mimi's okay. She is... Okay, use some of this. And okay, let's use her diamond sword a little bit. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I, I don't know if Mimi's alive. She's just an ouch symbol just sitting there. I think she is fully, fully knocked out. And what the heck was that noise, bro? Oh my gosh, okay. A few more hits here. Let's get her a bit low, dude. I don't know if I can kill this thing. Okay, I think a few more hits. Hopefully, I can, like, knock her out or something. Okay, this is bad. My armor's gonna break. There's no way I'm gonna be able to kill her. Okay, knock her out. Okay, wait. I think I knocked out the queen. I, what is that behind her? Uh, this is called the Ender Queen's Gem. Okay, Mimi, are you okay? Wake up, Mimi. Are you dead? Like, what's going on? Are you okay? Oh, you're, you're okay. Oh, oh okay. Uh, Mimi, we gotta go while she's still knocked out. Follow me. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, guys, me and Mimi are getting out of here. I don't know where the end queen is, but I'm assuming that's not gonna be our last interaction with her. However, I did extract the ender queen's gem, and I want to bring that back to Shulkris and see what he has to say about it. Hey, Shulkiner, Shulkiner, I defeated the queen, and I stole her gem. That's wonderful. Also, my name is Shulkiris. But I can't figure out how to use this gem. Do you have any ideas? Hmm. Did you try rubbing it on yourself? Uh, rubbing it on myself? Uh, yeah, I've tried that. Did you try shooting it with a pellet? I have yet to try shooting it with a pellet. Oh, I know. Eat it. That's got painful. Do not eat. Oh, oh. Too, too late, Mimi. I'm sorry. Did it did it work? What, what am I? You're a hybrid? You're a human shulker hybrid. A shulman, if you will. Oh, I guess that's a thing. By the way, I didn't actually kill the queen. My sword just kind of bounced off of her when I knocked her out. What? You didn't? She'll be coming here. Uh, well, I guess in that case, I should probably start building some defenses. Okay, I was gonna go ahead and build some defenses, but look at this. I looked at my inventory, and not only did I get this custom armor, but I also have a full custom ender blade and shield. This stuff looks really overpowered. As we knew the end queen was coming, I wanted to quickly make some defenses. I added course fruit all around the edges, and added archer towers around the area. Hey, Shulkaris, I actually finished all the defenses on the outside, so we should be okay. All of you shulkers are going to die today. Not on my watch. Oh, wait. Mimi just turned into a sword and is already fighting her. Okay. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay. We, get, we got our strength potions. Uh, let's back up a little bit while Mimi attacks her with the sword. Let's go ahead and use some of my shulker damage. Okay. Here we go. Got a decent amount. And let's use this ender blade. Let's get some good hits on her here. And okay. Okay. It looks like my defenses are doing really good work here too. I should stand in the water because that's going to protect me from a lot of her enderman minions. Okay. That's really good. And okay. Keep going, Mimi. I need your help. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this alone. Okay, they are really adding up. They are really adding up right now. Okay, get back to the water. And okay, the water is really coming handy. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage. Let's eat a golden apple so I don't die. And let's go back in with our ender blade. We've almost got her to three quarters health. Come on, we've actually got to eliminate her this time. I don't think we're going to be able to run any longer from her. Okay, sit back in the water. And oh my gosh, he is teleporting like crazy right now. We've got her pretty low. Just a few more hits. Okay, all right, what I'm going to do is repop my speed and strength. Okay, got my speed and strength pop. We should be able to finish her off. Just a few more hits with Mimi and we should be able to take down the Ender Queen. And let's get a couple shots with the Shulker Shooter. A few more. Dude, there's so many Endermen on me as well. There's a lot of Endermen on me. Keep using my Shulker Shooter here. Wait, where'd the boss go? Here it is. Come on. One more hit. Ah, there we go. Okay. I refuse to surrender. Wow, I can't believe we actually took down the Ender Queen. That's really good. Well, Mimi, it looks like we took out the Ender Queen. That's what I'm talking about. What? Oh, well, I guess I guess Mimi wants you guys to subscribe because we killed the Ender Queen. Okay, you guys definitely have to subscribe now. Well, I'm not really too sure what to do since we've defeated the End Queen. I guess that's it for now. And what the heck's that noise? Hold on, that does not sound good. I swear I just heard like an explo- Oh my gosh, what the heck is that thing? Um, this is really bad. I, I don't even know what this is. It is so fast. It looks like some sort of robot dragon. Okay, well, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get down from here. You know what? I'm just gonna use my levitator. Okay, let's keep falling down. Okay, I, I honestly don't know what to do. I didn't anticipate there being a robo dragon. That My defenses are nowhere near strong enough to take this thing down. Okay, you know what? I gotta get out of here. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely gotta get out of here. I don't see the dragon anymore, but since I'm a hybrid... Can I still go into my shell? Let's try it. And wait, 
Okay, I still can go into my shell as a hybrid. That's really good. Okay, because what I wanted to do was probably restock a little bit on some supplies. So let's go ahead and brew up some more potions. All right, it's been a little bit. I just brewed up my potions. Let's get out of here now. Oh, okay. And by the looks of it in the distance, there looks like there's a bunch of scaffolding going. It looks like the shulkers must already be repairing it. That's pretty awesome. Okay, while all the shulkers rebuild this place, I think it'd be in our best interest as Mimi and I went on the hunt for that robo dragon thing. I don't know where to look, but I'm going hunting right now. Okay, guys, my mimic and I have been following the path to destruction. And guys, look at this. This is the ender pyre that we found earlier. Yeah, this was definitely griefed by that dragon because there was no way this was done by anyone else. This whole place has magma blocks everywhere and it is completely destroyed. Yeah, it seems wherever this dragon goes, it causes destruction. Look at this. This looks to be my... Oh yeah, this was my first base. I guess it's a good thing I moved out of here because I probably would have been pretty fried up by now. Fried up painful. That does not sound very good, let me tell you. Okay, this is getting really frustrating, Mimi. I just can't catch this dragon and it keeps dropping bombs, blowing up everything, and then just flies away. That's all it does. Hmm. Hey, buddy, maybe you could make a trap for it? A trap? What kind of trap would work on something like that? Well, void is like black holes, right? What if we got some void magic to like hold the dragon in place? Well, I don't know what else I should do. It's worth a try. Let's go. And I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. We found random lava that's been coming out of the ground. And what the heck is that thing? Um, okay. These things do not look very friendly. Let's just go ahead and take that down. And wow, are they like spawning in behind me? And oh my gosh. Okay. That is a lot of spiders. And this looks like a big piece of void energy going into the sky. Let's go ahead and try to kill these spiders because I did not realize there was so many of them. Okay. Okay. Let's keep launching these, dude. Oh my god, they're like jumping at me. Okay, just a few more. Let's go ahead and take these things down. Okay, and we accidentally hit an Enderman. That's not good. Okay, last thing I need is more Endermen trying to kill me. I've had enough of those already. Okay, that was the last one. Okay, I think this is the void energy. Now, I think all I have to do is should just be able to stand on top of it. Oh. Wait, what happened? All of this is being turned into endstone now. Wait, did it work? I don't really feel any stronger. Wait, I just realized I gained a heart. Okay, I guess I am stronger. I, I should probably try and find a couple more of these to get a bit more hearts if I'm gonna take down that dragon. Okay, Mimi and I have been looking for more void energy because I want to get more hearts, but I don't see any. Oh God, that is the robo dragon. Mimi, take cover underneath a tree or something. I'll try to hold it off. Okay, this is not good. This is really not good. I can't even see it. It's shooting me so fast. Okay, I probably should get the heck out of here and I'm gonna eat a golden apple because this damage is starting to add up a lot. Okay, this is not good. Okay, gotta run, gotta run. Run away. I don't know where the dragon is, but... Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, hopefully it doesn't see us behind here. Mimi, stay quiet or stay behind this tree here. I don't think it's gonna see us. Oh, wait. Okay, it sees us. That's not good. Mimi, we gotta get the heck out of here. Run! Okay, I don't know how the heck... Oh, wait, what is this? Is this a cave? Mimi, we gotta get in the cave. Go, go, go. Okay, this does not look like a safe cave at all, but you know what? It's probably a lot safer than out there. Let's go ahead and use my shulker shooter, and I should be... Okay, I gotta make sure I don't shoot myself out of the map, because this thing does break a lot of blocks when I shoot it. Let's go ahead and try to take these things down. I think there's just... Okay, wait. I think that is everyone so far. That is good. Wait. Oh, wait a second. What the heck? I have three extra hearts now. Okay, so wait. Killing these also give me extra hearts. That that is something I didn't know. That's a good sign. Okay, well, I've searched this cave. It goes down there a little bit, but I didn't find any more of those void creatures. So I think, Mimi, let's get out of here. And oh, okay, you know what? On the other hand, let's not get out of here. That robo dragon is still stalking us. So maybe we should stay in here for a couple of days. Okay, guys, Mimi and I are going to head out of the cave now. It has been a little while, so I think the robo dragon is gone. Okay, it looks like the coast is clear for now. Okay, I definitely wanted to get maybe one more heart or something before I try to take on that dragon because that thing is really strong. Wait, what the heck's going on above me? Okay, you know what? Mimi, I'm gonna have to use my levitator here. I think I'm actually gonna go up here and try to take these things down. And okay, I'm going a little bit high. Okay, let's take this thing down. And okay, he's dead. That is a long way down, my man. That is a long way down. Okay, it seems like there's quite a few of them. We've gotta get all the way up there. Okay, there seems to be just one more that I need to take down. Let's use my shulker ability and I think just a few more hits. And and there we go. Okay, we got him. And there's my extra heart. Now I should be good enough to hopefully take down that robo dragon. Okay, uh, levitator. Okay, it's a good thing I have this levitator because that would have sucked if I just fell down and died right there. Oh my goodness. We've been looking for some more void energy, but I can't really seem to find any. And I have no food other than these golden apples. Hey, Mimi, by chance, do you have any? Oh, 
I guess you beat me to it. Well, thank you, Mimi. I appreciate that. Hey, buddy, what about that magic crystal the queen had? What are you talking about, Mimi? What if that magic gem you got from the queen was crystallized void magic? If it is, you can use it. You've got enough energy for the trap. Hey, that's a good idea. It, it might be worth a try. Let's do it. Okay, guys, now I want to head back to the Ender Queen's castle that we destroyed earlier because at the top of it, it's a great spot to build a trap for that dragon. Okay, it looks like I've made it back to the place. And oh my gosh, yeah, these Endermen were not very happy to see me. I think the last time they saw me here, I completely griefed their home. So they have very valid reasons to be mad at me. But I'm sorry, guys. You guys have been trying to kill me this entire time. I have got to kill all of you right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, it looks like there's just a couple more here. Let's take these things down. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we gotta get all the way up there. And I think I'm almost up to the top. Wait, how did Mimi already get up here? What the heck? Okay, Mimi's pretty insane. Okay, let's go. Just a couple hits on these Endermen here. How much are there? Okay, there seems to be only a little bit more Endermen up here, but they seem to be protecting this place pretty well. This must have been where the End Queen resided before I took her out. Okay, let's go add a few hits. I knocked a bunch of them down there. That was good. Just gotta make sure I don't fall myself. And I think just a few more hits. Come on. We got this. And there we go. I think we've eliminated all of the protectors here anyways. Now we just need to get to the roof. I, good thing I can levitate. I then went ahead and began building my trap. I built four little pillars at the top and using my void energy, I should be able to trap it. Okay. And as you guys can see, I just finished up making the trap. Now I just need to levitate up here. And I think as soon as I stand on this, it should work. Come on. Let's see. And I think it worked. Wait, did it work? Yes. Okay. So it looks like the void energy works. Work. Now I just need to do that on all four sides. Okay, and the last side should work. Let's see. Come on, please work, please work. Yes, there we go. Okay, now I just need to stand up in the middle and hopefully this will summon in the dragon. It should be combining the power between all of them and the dragon should be coming. Oh, wait, what the heck? Okay, the dragon didn't spawn, but a bunch of these void things did spawn again. Okay, let's go ahead and take these things down. Come on, just a few more hits. I don't think they really have too much health, which is the good thing about these things. Okay, there we go. Wait, how much of these things are there? There. Okay, I think there's just a couple more. And uh, I think this is the last one. There we go. Okay, I think we got them all. Now let's just wait for the dragon because I think he'll fall for it soon enough. Okay, I've been waiting around here for a little bit. Oh. Wait, is that the dragon? It looks like they're sucking him in now. Okay, this is really good. Let's do this. Okay, wait, I think he's frozen right now. What is happening? Okay, everything just disappeared. What the heck happened? This thing is not playing around it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just levitated before I hit the ground. Okay, let's go all the way down here now. And okay, we're gonna fight the dragon down here. We'll probably be better off on the ground. We'll have a lot more room to work with down here. Okay, guys, it looks like the mecha dragon followed me down here. Let's see what we can do here. And we gotta make sure, we gotta make sure we block our shield here as well. Oh my my gosh. Okay. I did not know it can shoot missiles at me. What the heck is that? Okay. Keep eating golden apples. Keep eating golden apples. And okay. Let's keep getting some more shots at him here. Okay. Dodge the missiles. Dude, I did not know I was in like World War Three. Like what the heck is this, bro? Okay. Let's keep going. To be honest, it is really challenging to hit him with these shulker shots because my shulker bullets are so little. Like it is almost not even fair at this point. Okay. What the heck? It's like raining nukes or something. Look at that. There's fire particles all over the floor. Okay. Come on. Let's keep going here. Keep going. And okay. Eat a few more golden an apple splash one of these i'm gonna try to levitate up to his level and now shoot now we're gonna shoot a bunch come on okay we gotta dodge those those almost all hit me at the same time okay i don't know what the heck's going on i think it just rained oh no it's raining mines is that wait is that a mine wait what happens uh oh okay oh my gosh okay yeah i remind me not to go anywhere near those mines because oh my gosh okay that does way way too much damage let's try to levitate over top of these mines i do not want to step on one of them okay come on we've already got this thing down to half hp and it is flying around around. I don't know what I just saw. I swear I just saw some blue stuff. And that's a lot more missiles. Dude, we've got this thing below half health now. We just gotta keep firing. We've just got... Okay, gotta dodge these mines. Let's eat some more uh, golden apples. And I low-key need to eat some more potions, or drink potions. Okay, what the heck is he shooting at me? Is he getting stronger? Okay, I'm blocking my shield right now, dodging all of these. And now spray. Now spray. Oh god, dodge those. Okay, we got... Oh my god, I'm on half heart. Oh my god, half heart again. Okay, this thing does way too much damage. I have no more potions. If we don't kill him now, we are going to die. And oh, wait, I think we got him. He's blowing up right now. Wait, he's gone. We actually killed him. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of these. Oh, thank you very much. Well, don't mind if I do. Look at all those diamonds I just got. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay, now that I defeated the dragon, I was a little bit curious what happened to the trap I made because as soon as I saw the dragon, randomly my entire trap disappeared. So let's levitate up there and check that out. Okay, I am almost up here and wait this isn't the trap that i built but this looks like it's some sort of portal okay well i guess i'm gonna jump in 
Oh, where the heck even am I? Wait, who is that? And cherry blossom trees? Oh, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to survive 100 days in ancient Japan. Imagine spawning in ancient Japan and having to survive 100 days against samurai warriors. On day one, I spawned in a cherry blossom forest. Suddenly, a samurai said you are not welcome here and attacked me. Okay, I didn't expect this already. I gotta get out of here. With my journey only beginning, I knew this was gonna be very challenging. After escaping the Japanese bowman who specializes in archery, horseback riding, and the samurai warrior who specializes in swordsmanship and loyalty, I then harvest some of the cherry blossom trees to get materials to start crafting my tools and begin working on my base. In the spirit of ancient Japan, I created a tori and led a pathway down all the way to the water. And from what I've seen, the Japanese culture like a very open and airy design. Did a great job with this base. Anyways, I only have one cooked chicken to my name, so now we need to go find some chickens and gather some seeds. That way we have a healthy food source. Oh, hello, chicken. Goodbye. Okay, that was a little bit toxic, I'm not gonna lie, but I am pretty fat, so I need a lot more food than just that. I figured I'd go mining because if those samurai warriors come back, I might be dead because I don't have any armor to my name. So let's gather some supplies and hopefully get some full iron armor. I'm now smelting up all the iron that I got, but is it just me or is there a lot of bats in this cave? This is very weird. Okay, and as you guys can see, I've got all of my supplies and full iron armor. Now let's head back to base. Okay, I should be getting fairly close to my base, I think. But what are these? It's like a bunch of floating flames in the sky. Okay, I don't know what these are, but it looks like this thing is trying to lead me somewhere. Okay, well, I guess I should probably follow it. There's a lot of mobs nearby, but here we go. Okay, I've been following it for a little bit, but I honestly don't know where it's taking me. I am being chased by a lot of mobs, which is pretty freaky, but I'm going to keep following following this and see where it leads me to. Okay, I really don't know how much longer I should follow this thing, but wait a second. What are those? Okay, I'm not sure what these are. These kind of look like praying mantises or something. Okay, and they're not friendly. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I actually forgot to make a shield. Okay, they actually do quite a lot of damage. Oh, okay, I gotta make sure not to blow up to a creeper and there's phantoms. Okay, this is very, very bad. Okay, I think we got all the praying mantises. I don't know where the heck I am. I should probably get out of here. It's getting far too dangerous out here at nighttime. I'm gonna take shelter inside of this cave for the meantime. I then spent day six trying to find my way back home, but I can't lie. Ancient Japan is very beautiful. I've been running around all day, but I finally found some more of these flames. It seems like they only come out at nighttime for some reason. I don't know why all of these flames seem to be gathering around this tree here, but wait, what are these things? Um, are they? Okay, of course they're not friendly, and there's zombies and stuff chasing me. I don't even know what these things are. They kind of look like foxes, but they have a lot of tail. So that is something I've not seen yet. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty close, and it kind of sucks because I've been living off of rotten flesh. Like, I actually don't have any food, and I'm completely lost. After gathering some supplies, I decided to build walls around this special tree to not only protect myself, but I also would like to keep the flame safe during the nighttime from any danger. Well, I'm glad I built this bait. <coughs> Wait, what the heck was that noise? Hold on, let me check this out. What was that anyway? Oh no, dude, more Kitsune are outside. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bow that I got from killing skeletons, and let's go ahead and take down some of these Kitsune. I guess it's a good thing I built a whole wall around this entire sacred tree. That way, none of these could get me. Although, I only have 13 arrows left, so I'm not really too sure if I'm gonna have enough arrows to take these down. And you know what? Oh my gosh, why is there so many zombies? It's literally daytime. That was absolutely insane. Hopefully, I got them all. I honestly don't know. Well, I think I got rid of all of them. Wait, there's one more. He said, please stop. Forgive us for attacking you. We've been under attack by some evil humans. We thought you were with them. Hmm, maybe he's referring to the samurai warriors or something. He says, you seem like a capable human. Can you help keep them out of our woods? You can find them to the south terrorizing the humans that live there. Hmm, I've beaten some bigger things than some suck-up nerds in fancy armor. I suppose I can help. Well, I guess I'll say farewell to this base for now. I've got to go try and find the evil samurais that have been attacking not only myself, but the kitsu as well. And I guess while I'm on my journey, I probably should get some food. Yeah, I'm sorry, cows. It's gonna have to be you for now, because I only have rotten flesh to my name. 
I'm not entirely sure where these samurais reside, but oh wait, I think I found a village over here. Okay, hold on. This is not a village. What even is this place? Okay, wait, there's a sign at the door. It says no longer in service. The gate is closed. Wait, could this potentially be some sort of abandoned samurai village? I'm honestly not too sure, but there does look to be a lot of hay bales around it. I kind of need more food, so don't mind if I do. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it's not dropping the hay bales, so I guess I'm not getting any bread. Comment down below if I'm doing something wrong there. Well, the good thing about this place being abandoned is I can harvest all of their crops, so don't mind if I borrow some of this. Other than all the wheat and potatoes I got from this place, this place is completely empty. From what I've seen, none of the chests carry any loot. This place has been fully abandoned, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. It is already nighttime, and I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. I found some more of these fires, and it looks like this one here is trying to lead me somewhere again. I suppose I could follow it. Last time, it led me into some bad stuff, so hopefully this time it's a little bit better. I don't know where this fire is leading me to, but oh no, not these bowmen again. Okay, so these are the bowmen that have been attacked attacking the kit soon. And of course, there's samurais back there as well. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I have armor and I can actually defend myself. But oh my gosh, how much health do these things have? Okay. I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to take... Okay. Wait. They don't have as much health as I thought. Okay. A couple... Oh no. I just broke my axe. I'm going to have to use my pickaxe as a weapon right now. Okay. I think I got all of them. Oh wait. There's still one more. Hey, wait a second. Why are you attacking all of the kit soon? The samurai said for Kiro, he's going to burn the land down and build a new empire from the ashes. Kiro? Who's Kiro? Your death? Um, okay, that's a little strange. Well, I guess if that's all the information you're gonna give, uh, see you later, I guess. And since I don't really know where my home is, and I'm completely lost, I likely should find another spot to call home. And is this one of the Japanese bowmen's horses? Uh, wait, can I ride this thing? Oh, Okay, I can actually ride this thing. Well, it looks like we got a new companion. Comment down below what we should name this horse. I then spent the next couple days traveling to a nice location to build my base. As I was constantly being pressured by the samurais, I figured building a fortress would be in my best interest. Using some cobblestone and wooden supplies from the nearby area, I finished my fortress. And with my base being fully completed, I now think I should probably go hit the mines because I don't think I'm really going to be powerful enough to take down some of the big samurai warriors, so I probably should go and try and get some diamonds. All right, and as you can see, I finally got my full diamond armor. Now let's head back to base. All right, well, I've been traveling home for a little while. To be honest, I did get a little bit lost. And wait a second, who? Okay, that is a bowman. Hey, stop shooting at me. I'm here to challenge your boss to a duel. The bowman said a duel. Haha, <laughs> it'll be fun watching Master Hero slice you to ribbons. Come on in. Okay, guys, well, I guess I'm gonna go take on the leader. Okay, I guess I'm going to follow this guy in. Oh my gosh, this temple is actually insane. I guess this is where I'm fighting Kiro. Okay, this is very interesting. Uh, hello, are you Kiro? Kiro said, a visitor, welcome to my home. What can I do for you? I'm here to challenge you to a duel. He said, very well, visitor. I'll go easy on you so my men can enjoy a show. Okay, well, I guess the fight is happening now. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh my gosh, okay. This guy actually does a lot of damage and I forgot to make myself a shield and I have no healing. Okay, this is not good. Let's keep getting a few more hits on him here and try to run over here. Here, eat some bread. Okay, this is really, really bad. I did not anticipate this guy being this strong and having this much damage. We've got this thing almost quarter way dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, it just launched me into the sky. That was not very good. And I'm already down to half health. This is not good. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to take down this samurai. And wait, what did he just throw at me? Did he throw like, is that a ninja star? Okay, that's not good. Okay, he's nearly. I'm dizzy. Izanami said, you're awake. Good. You almost died down there. You're now in Yomi, and my name is Izanami. This is my world? Um, Izanami, I need to stop Kiro. She said, yes, you do, but if you want to leave the lands of the dead, you've got to pass some trials to make sure you're worthy first. How do I do that? She said, if you want to get back to the world of the living, go find three of my favorite spirits. Mazamune, Goro, Kega, and Himiko. They'll give you the trials I desire. Go, time's wasted. 
interesting. Um, okay, well, I guess thanks for saving my life, and hopefully I can find those spirits. Well, to be honest, I have no idea where I'm supposed to find these spirits, but in my guess, it's probably on another one of these islands, because there seems to be floating islands all around, so I guess we should go search. It's also a good thing that I just went mining, because I have a lot of cobblestone in my inventory to go from island to island. Well, after traveling out here for a couple days, I am losing hope, but... Oh, and look, it says Mazamune, a visitor. What can I do for you? Okay, so I'm assuming you're Mazamune. Ah, you know me. Let's see. Some Kappa recently stole some iron from me. Why not get it back for me? And then he says, and please don't use violence. A true warrior would know when he needs to use a sword and when he needs to use his own words. Okay, well, I guess I need to go find some Kappa that stole iron from him. Okay, I guess we'll get started. Oh, that's one of the Kappas right there. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm gonna need that iron back. Wait, he just said no hours now go away. Okay, how about a trade for it, okay? I have some, I have some cobblestone. It's pretty cool looking. It says, nope, iron harder than cobblestone go away. Okay, well, he doesn't seem too friendly. Okay, fine. How about uh, a race? First one to that island over there wins. Uh, and if I win, I'll keep all the iron. And if you win, you can have this cobblestone. He said, race? Race is good. Let's go. Uh, okay. Little does he know, guys, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna go over here. Th thank you very much. S see you later, my man. It, you know, ha have fun over there, dude. <laughs> have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mazamune, Mazamune. Ah, our visitor. Welcome back. Did you get the iron? Yep, I got the iron right here. What is next? He said, very good. Next, sit, meditate with me. Meditate? I don't know if I really have time to meditate. He says, a warrior is a lot of things, visitor. Strong, brave, patient. Now, please sit with me. Uh, uh, okay, guys. Well, I guess I'm sitting here and, and, and needing to meditate with this dude. Uh, this is very weird. But there's your iron. Okay, can we be done meditating now? It's been like an entire night. He says, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to teach you how to make a real blade, one that can protect from evil and protect innocent lives. Okay, I guess so. Uh, wait, where's he going? Okay, I guess I should just follow him and wait. What is this? Wait, is this some sort of crafting recipe? Okay, I guess I could try that as I did go mining and I do have some supplies on me. So I believe it's just the raw iron in here and the lapis here. And this creates a samurai sword. Okay, this sword does not look very good. I am not going to lie. He said, it looks perfect to me, visitor. I'm sure as a Nami will be pleased with it. Go on now, you have more work to do. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm going to use this like wooden like sand sword, I guess? Okay, well, well, thank you. I guess I'll see you around. All right, well, I guess I need to find this Himiko guy. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to find him, but I guess I'll continue searching island to island and uh-oh. Those are a lot of Kappas, and I stole a lot of their iron, so I'm assuming they're not very happy, and this wooden sandstorm doesn't seem like it's the best, but I guess I'll continue using it because I was able to take these guys down. Okay. Well, hopefully no more Kappa try and kill me, because that would suck. Okay, I've been bridging all the way over here because I did see a guy. Um, excuse me, are you Himiko? Oh, it is Himiko. He said, ha, huh? of course I am. Oh, okay, I had to find you because Iznami said you had a trial for me. He says, really? If she just sent you... It's because she wants to prove you're some kind of special warrior. All right, prove to me that you're a powerful warrior. Find an Oni and banish it. All right, I guess I'll go and try to find an Oni, whatever the heck that is. I'll be back. Okay, I saw this place in the distance, and it looked a little bit strange to me. I'm not gonna lie. It's filled with what looks to be like a bunch of black concrete powder. I don't know why it's like that. What the heck? Wait. Um, there is two of these things trying to attack me. Wait, are these the only things? Like, I, I honestly... Uh-oh, wait. I have slowness on me. I literally can't even move right now. This is not good. Okay, a few more hits. Oh. Okay, that's not good. Actually, the good thing is they don't do too much damage. Okay, never mind. I'm literally on half a heart right now. Wait, are they punching each other? Wait, I think they just... Wait, what is happening right now? This is very weird. I don't know why they're attacking each other, but you know what? This makes my job a lot easier. Here, let me help you out, guys. Let me help... Wait, he just knocked him off the edge. Wait, did he just die? Wait, what is happening right now? Okay, let's get him while he's... Wait, where's he going? Um... 
Guys, this is this is very cursed. This is very cursed, but let's go. I'm just going with it. And okay, by the looks of it, he dropped some spirit essence. Okay, well, I think that is what I was looking for anyways. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty strange, but you know what? It is a painful video, so that's pretty expected. Himiko, I think I defeated the Onis. Um, they dropped some kind of magic. Here, have a look. Himiko said, oh, that's good. I suppose I should purify it for you. Uh, purify it? How the heck do you purify a spirit essence? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Wait, is he throwing it in the water or something? Wait, okay, to be honest, I don't know what he's doing, but wait, what the heck is that? This is called purified essence, okay? That should be enough for Izanami. Go find Kega on the northern islands. Oh, and take this food, okay. Well, to be honest, I did need the food as I only had one steak left to my name, and I guess I'm gonna go travel to the northern islands now to find Kega. Yeah, this is a little bit scary having to travel across to all these different islands, but hopefully I can find Kega soon because I don't wanna get jumped by any more of those onis. Okay, guys, I was running out here, but look at this. I found what looks to be a bunch of yellow spirits floating around. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This spirit said, hello. Hey, come here. Come eat with us. Come sit down and eat. Um, that sounds a little bit pushy. I think I'll pass on that. It says, eat now, eat. Um, you know what? I think actually I might get out of here. This sounds a little bit sketch. No eat and become one of us. Uh, wait, one of you? What the, what the heck? Okay, and he's attacking me. Um, I don't really know what to do other than try to just get out of here. I am not trying to become a spirit today. Uh, uh, have a good day, my man. Have a good day. After escaping the pushy spirits, I figured I needed to find some sort of shelter for the nighttime. Using some of the materials I gathered from the nearby area, I went ahead and created an underground bunker. This was a pretty cool build, if you ask me. All right, now that I'm finished building my base, it is time to go find Kega. He's the last guy that I think I need to find, so hopefully we can find him. I noticed I already built out that way and that way, but there is some builds over there that I have yet to discover, so maybe I should go this way now. Look at this, guys. I found this massive dragon on top of this floating island. So I want to go build up and check out what this is. This is the first time I think I've seen one of these dragons other than at the temple where I had to fight the first boss. Okay, so this dragon statue is pretty big, but what's he? Oh, wait. There's another one of those spirits. It says Kaga, a visitor. Hello. It's been so long since I've had a visitor. My name is Kaga. Who are you? Kaga, I was actually looking for you. My name's Painful. Izanami said you'd have a trial for me. He said, oh, a trial. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. I'll give you a trial of wisdom. Please do something really wise and I'll say you passed my trial. All right. Well, I guess I got to go do something wise to pass the trial. I'll be back. Okay, guys, check it. I've been traveling out here for a couple days. There isn't too many islands that I haven't discovered yet, but look, I found some more of those spirits. Hopefully these ones are a little bit more normal than the last ones. The last ones kept trying to feed me. Okay, well, hopefully these ones aren't too weird. Hello? Uh, he says, come sit with us and eat. Oh no, not another one of these. I'm not following for that. He says, if you won't give your spirit by eating our food, then you'll give your spirit with your death. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, gosh. Wait, they actually do a lot of damage. And there seems to be quite a lot of them. Okay, these things are really hard to hit. I am not going to lie right now. Dude, oh my gosh. I actually don't think I'm going to be able to live if I stay. I truthfully think I will die if... Oh, God. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hide in this hole for a minute. And... Oh, wait. Can they hit... Oh, no. Dude, they're actually hitting me through the wall. This is not good. This is very bad. Okay, we got to get out. And... Okay, I'm running away. See you later, guys. I know Kega said to do something wise, and I'm not really entirely sure what to do, but not too far away from that dragon place. Look at this. I found this massive island. Okay, wait. He said something wise. Okay, there's books in here. If I put two and two together, maybe if I just mine some books and maybe read some of them. Okay, what the heck? Okay, I don't know where that thing just came from. Maybe if I just mine some books, that could be considered wise, right? Because, you know, reading is knowledge, so maybe we'll pass the trial when we get enough books. Okay, well, I think I've got enough books. Let's actually head back to Kaga now that we... What the heck? Where did all this bedrock just come from? Uh... What was that? Okay, what the heck? Not more of these Oni things. <laughs> these things do a lot of damage. Okay, um, let's go ahead and use my diamond sword. Wait, why are they punching each other again? You know what? This makes my life a lot easier, but okay. They're actually still hitting me a lot here too. Okay, we got that one. And, oh wait, did we get them yet? I don't think we got them yet. Let's eat some food and just a couple more hits and hopefully these things will die. But oh my gosh, they do so much damage. I'm gonna let them fight each other and I'm gonna sit back here with the bow. Okay, that was very close. I literally got got put down to like half a heart there, but I'm glad the Onis were killing each other because if they didn't, I probably would have been dead. Okay, well, it looks like I'm not gonna be getting out that way, but where else do I go? Like, I seriously don't... 
No, wait a second. How did a nether portal just get here? I guess it's a sign that I probably should go through. All right, well, here goes nothing. Um, where the heck even am I? This does not look like the nether. And wait, what the heck are these things? These, the, okay, they are definitely not friendly. And okay, yep, let's take the, oh my God, what the heck was that damage? I'm nearly dead. Okay, I don't know what just hit me, but I am already really low. And it looks like these things are blaze rods. Okay, I don't know where my bow went either, but let's go ahead and eat some food here to regenerate some some health and hopefully this thing doesn't like one shot me and just a few more hits we should be able to take him down okay half a heart remaining and it looks like there is another one over there as well let's heal up before we fight him it's a good thing that there's some nether pigs here as well because there's no way that my health would be able to regenerate without some more food okay so by the looks of it there's only one more that i need to take down let's keep eating food regenerate and take this thing out okay well here goes nothing i'm going in hopefully we can kill this thing without getting one shot and there we go okay that's good let's take down the remaining pigs just for some more food and it looks like there is some nether warts in the middle which will come in handy okay well that was interesting to say the least but honestly this kind of came in handy as i only had one piece of steak so now i have a bunch of extra food and i also have some nether supplies which i can use for brewing and real quick check out my bad line cosmetics you can use code painful to save yourself 10 percent off linked in the description below Okay, well, I was trying to figure out where to go, but while I was looking around, I found the nether portal that I think I came through, but, uh, okay, well, I guess we should probably go through because I have no clue where I am right now. I just hope I don't fall off the world. That would be bad. Okay, I'm going through. Okay, well, I think it worked, and okay, the bedrock is gone. The good thing is I should be able to find my way back home since I built all the way here. All right, well, it has been about a day or so, but I finally made it back to my beautiful base here, which, unfortunately, I won't be living here for too long because I have a lot more traveling I need to do. But the main thing I need to do now is go ahead and make some brewing stands because I need to start brewing my potions. Okay, guys, not only did I finish up my brewing, but I also went ahead and killed some of the nearby cows. That way I have a bunch of food. Now what I want to do is quickly make myself a shield and then we can be on our way. Okay, now that I have everything, I'm going to return back to Kaga and deliver him these books. That should prove my wisdom, right? And we made it back. Okay, so Kaga should be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is, Kaga. Okay, I found a bunch of books. This has got to prove my wisdom, right? He said, wouldn't it have just been wiser to just ask me what to do? Yeah, I suppose that would have been wiser, but can you still help me? He said, sure. I guess you don't need to be that wise to be a great warrior anyways. Uh, okay, and then he just dropped me something. Dragon gem. Okay, so now that we have this dragon's den, we can combine that with the spear essence I got earlier, and hopefully that completes our trial. Let's go try to find Izanami now. Alright, and I've made it back to my base, and I guess it's a good thing I built my base next to Izanami. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Izanami, I believe believe I have passed the trials. She says, good. Do you have proof? I do. I have this awful sword from Mazamune. I have some spirit essence from Himiko and I have this gem from Kaga. She says, good. Give them to me. Okay. Well, here you go. Okay. Well, I gave her the stuff. There's a fire on the, wait, is she, wait, did she just burn all the loot that I gave her? Wait, what is happening right now? She said, I present to you the Tatsumaza, the dragon's fang, a blade with the soul of a dragon. With this, you can face my final trial. The dragon's fang attack damage 10. Survive me. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, what is happening? Wait, she's trying to kill me. Okay, well, I guess this is my final trial. I should probably drink my health potions, and oh my gosh. I do not have any fire resistance potions made, but oh my oh my gosh. She's actually kind of messing me up right now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what was all of that stuff? And wait, where did she go? Oh, there she is. It's kind of hard to see with all this fire. Let me uh, maybe run down to the water, and whenever I catch on fire, I can cool off here. Okay, this is probably a pretty good spot to fight her in the water here. Oh my gosh. Wow, we actually do a ton of damage. Hit, let's start down a potion so I don't die. Let's eat some more food real quick and okay dude she's kind of messing me up with whatever that ability that is but okay let's go ahead and block her next attack okay we're getting izanami really low i do not want to have to kill you izanami but please stop okay well thank god you stopped attacking me she said you are a powerful one very good maybe you could put a stop to kiro before he floods my realm with new spirits okay wait is that what this is all about you just wanted to make sure i could beat kiro she said yes that's right now go leave my realm and face him okay how do why? Wait where'd she go? Okay, well, I still don't know how to get out of here. Maybe I should go talk to Mazamune again. Okay, Mazamune should be down here still. There he is. Hey, Mazamune. Mazamune said, ah, the visitor. I see that your blade has been improved upon. Very good. Yes, it has. When I finished Izanami's trial, she did fix it up for me. He said, very good. I figured you'd earn the mistress blessing. I have something for you. A suit of the finest armor my old hands could make. 
Um, wait a second. There is no way he just gave me samurai armor. Thank you, Mazamune. I'm sure that this is gonna come in handy. This is amazing. Okay, well, this armor is pretty cool. I do look like a samurai. Wait, wait. What the heck just happened? Where am I? Okay, to be honest, I have no clue where I am. Seems like Mazamune may have teleported me back into the ancient Japan map because I see all of the cherry blossoms over there. Well, the good thing is I'm fully geared and prepared to fight Kiro if he does show up. Okay, this is one thing I don't miss about being in ancient Japan is all these mantises that try to kill me. But the good thing is I am literally a fully fledged samurai at this point. So I don't think a couple of mantises are going to take me down. All right. Well, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. I don't know who those people are, but I probably should go introduce myself. Uh, hello, monk. Are, are you guys friendly up there? He said, I'd like to think we're friendly. Okay, well, that's good. Has a dude named Kiro by chance been harassing you? He's been taking tearing up the countryside. Kiro, he used to be one of us. He was most gentle and kind-hearted monk you'd ever meet. He wouldn't hurt a fly. One day his demeanor completely changed and he became cold and violent. That is strange. Why did that happen? He says, we don't know. It was like a darkness overtook him. He left and we've not seen him since. Okay, that is very strange. And by chance you have any food? I literally have one piece of steak and four rotten flesh to my name. Uh, okay, well, well, thank you very much, monk. I am forever grateful to you and hopefully i can put a stop to this kiro guy and now that i'm off the floating islands and back in what seems to be the real world of ancient japan i decided to start building my final base i found two awesome rocks that were next to each other and began building after gathering a little bit of supplies i was able to build a somewhat basic base but i think it looks kind of cool all right well i did a pretty good job building this base and down here there's actually the chest room and there's also the bed so i'm probably gonna go to sleep for the night i then went ahead and enchanted my armor and gathered my potions Okay, guys, so I started exploring outside of my base, but look at this. I found some sort of ruined village. I wonder what happened here. Okay, I think I'm getting an idea of what happened here. It looks like there's a lot more of these Japanese samurais here. So let's go ahead and start taking these things down. And the good thing is, is my sword does a lot of damage. So I don't think these guys are going to be able to take me down. And wait, their bodies like fly up into the sky. Okay, that is kind of cursed. But this is a painful video, so I expected nothing less. And since there's nothing left in this village, I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find any more sign of life. But wow, this is a giant wheat field. I don't think I'm gonna need any of this because I already have so much bread, but if I ever need any food, I'm definitely coming back here. Man, I've been traveling around all day, but look at this. These trees with all the wheat fields here, this is kind of crazy. This is not something I see very often. I have a feeling we are gonna find some more things around here soon. Okay, yep, I was right. And wait, I've seen this place before. This is where Kira was when he knocked me out. Okay, well, this time I'm a lot stronger. I hope Kira in here so I could take him out. But first, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with his minions, which are pretty easy to take down. And I'm assuming they're gonna fly into the sky now. Yep, this is just so weird, dude. What am I playing right now? Let's go up to the temple and take down Kiro. And we're just about here, and wait a second. It says Samurai at the top of my screen. That is not Kiro. Okay, let's go ahead and pop our strength and speed potions. I don't know who the heck this guy is, but he looks like he's probably gonna be pretty strong. Yep, he is very strong. Okay, we gotta eat food to regenerate our health and make sure we block. Oh, okay, wait. Was my shield not working? Okay, it's working. It's working. That's good. Oh my gosh, his damage is actually really good. Okay, we've almost gotten to quarter HP, but dude, okay. He has a lot of really cool abilities too, so we gotta make sure we don't die to this guy. Okay, blocker shields. Guys, the okay, he's throwing ninja stars at me as well. Okay, it looks like he has a lot of the traits that Kiro has in terms of abilities. Let's go ahead and block our shield here. And okay, we've almost got this thing to half health, but dude, I only have two more potions left. This is not good. Okay, let's do this. He's almost down to half health now. And okay, I still only have two potions left, so that is not very good, but let's make sure we're blocking our shield and what the heck was that okay let's keep going okay we got to make sure that we don't die but we were getting them pretty low what we do need to do let's pop another strength and speed potion as we only have one more insta health so we got to make this quick wait where'd he go again okay it's like he's teleporting into the sky i'm not going down to this thing man i only have one more health potion but i've got to take down kiro okay just a few more hits we should be able to take down the samurai and okay wow we actually took him down i have no idea who that was but i'm sure that was a stepping stone to taking down kiro Okay, now that I've defeated what seems to be the guy that's second in command, I need to head back to my base, get a few more potions, because I have a feeling that Kiro is going to be a lot stronger. Now that I spent the day brewing up all the potions I needed, it's time to go find Kiro. Hopefully, we can actually find him this time. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while. I have no idea where I'm supposed to find Kiro, but... 
Wait a second. That's a monk. Uh, hello, sir. How's it going? What, what are you doing up here? Uh, I guess he's not gonna say anything. What is this? Sacred water. Um, do you talk? All right. Well, I, I guess this guy doesn't talk, but I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to need the sacred water for, but I guess I'll continue on my journey. Thank you, sir. I, I guess uh, we'll meet again sometime soon. Okay, I was running, but look at this. I found a bunch of what looks to be smoke coming out of the ground. Let's go check this out. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh no, not more of these fox fires. Wait, are these the friendly ones or the bad ones? Because Okay, well, it doesn't seem... Okay, yep, it is the bad ones. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem to be too bad, but look at this. These things are attacking me, but wow. My sword does a lot of damage. I literally just one-shot that thing. I guess we just gotta take down all these things real quick, and hopefully we can find Kiro. Maybe he's in this cave. Okay, well, I guess I defeated all the Firefox. What the heck is that thing? Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but let's see what we can do here. We got a few hits on it now. Okay, that actually does some pretty good damage. We gotta make sure we don't die to this thing. I don't know what it is. I cannot read its name, but if anybody knows what that says, let me know in the comments down below. All I know is he's pretty OP, but it does look like we've got him to half health. This sword that we're using is really, really strong. Okay, oh my god, okay, there goes all my health. I really don't have many more potions left, so I really gotta utilize my shield here. Let's run back for a second, eat my food. Okay, I think we got it to three quarters health now. Block that. Okay, the shield is actually really coming in handy right now. I don't know what the heck this dragon lion thing is, but it does seem to do quite a lot of damage. We just gotta make sure we block its attacks. If we use our shield, it's likely not gonna kill us, but we only have three health potions left. Come on, think just a few more hits. Okay, we were able to take down this beast of a thing. I don't know what it was, but I guess that is that. That probably was one of Kiro's minions or something, but I guess we should continue our search for Kiro. All right, well, I've defeated this cave. Oh, wait, is this another one of those Oni that I ran into earlier? Wait, aren't these the things that always try to kill each other? Hopefully they do. Oh, okay, got a block. Gotta use my shield here. I really don't have any potions to be able to take these things down, but it's a good thing I have this really OP sword. Okay, block that. Oh my gosh, okay. I really am trying not to use my potions right now because I only have three left, but these things actually do a good amount of damage. It's a good thing I got this really good armor though. Okay, those Onis are gone. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I've been traveling out here for a couple days, but I do see a little campfire over here. Wait, is that Izanami over there? What are you doing here? Wait, she said, no, I'm Izanagi the Great. Hand over your purified water and Dragon's Fang if you want a weapon to defeat Kiro. Oh wait, this must be Izanami's sister. Okay, I'm gonna give you the sacred water and the dragon. Fang. Hopefully, Izanagi can hook me up with a weapon that is strong enough to defeat Kiro. Oh, wait, she just gave me something? Okay, so he just gave me the sacred Dragon's Fang. Oh, wait, and she just gave me a bunch of potions. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna need that. What does this sacred Dragon's Fang do? It says shift right click. Okay, I don't know what the heck is going on. Apparently, I can fly now with that ability, so I guess that's gonna come in handy. Thank you so much, Izanagi. Hopefully, we can take down Kiro now. So, I began traveling over the next couple days in attempts to find Kiro. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. I found some sort of giant cave, which looks like it goes down a very long time. Let's go check this out. Okay, what kind of cave is this? I don't think I've ever seen something this crazy. There's huge lanterns coming down from the top of the cave, and that is a long way down. This reeks Kiro all over it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, that thing is absolutely huge. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, that definitely is Kiro. It has the boss bar at the top of the screen. All right, well, here goes goes nothing. Hopefully this sacred dragon's fang is good enough. Let's use my ability to charge in. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> he just sent me flying there. I don't know what he just did, but oh, okay. Yeah, that damage is absurd. We've got to make sure we block because I think this thing will kill me pretty quickly. Oh, oh gosh. I don't know how, but he's hitting me through my shield sometimes. Okay, back up, eat some bread. And okay, we've already done three quarters of... Oh gosh, that damage is actually absurd. Let's use a potion here. Oh my gosh, dude. His sword is like going through my shield. How is that even... How is there... Oh my God, he just kicked me in the head and almost one shot me. Okay, I've got to take this thing down pretty quickly because I am a little bit scared that I'm going to die here. And of course, wait, where the heck did he, wait, Kiro? Okay, somehow, oh my gosh, okay, that's not good. Okay, I don't know what is happening, but I only have like three potions left. I have really got to hurry up this fight and somehow he's hitting me through my shield. This is not good. I got to go quick, man. I've really got to go quick. Hopefully this sacred sword does enough damage. I think without this sacred sword, we would definitely be going down. Okay, and just a couple more hits. We should be able to take down Kiro. Wait, where the heck did he just go? Oh my gosh, he's all the way down there. Okay, let's get him. He's so close to dying. We should be able to put a stop to all his evil. Come on, just a few more hits. 
Yes, okay. There we go. It looks like we've taken down Kiro. Thank God for the sacred dragon's fang. Let me tell you. Okay, now that he's gone, I say we head back to base. All right, and we made it back home. But wait, Izanagi, what are, what are you doing here? Izanagi said, thank you for your help saving these lands, but your presence is requested elsewhere. Uh, wait, what do you mean my presence is... Okay, wait, where the heck am I? Am I on some sort of island? Well, I guess I have to survive 100 days on an island. Imagine spawning on a remote island and having to survive 100 days against deadly creatures. Okay, I don't know where I am. It looks like I'm on some sort of remote island in the middle of what looks to be nowhere. But what is this? It looks like there's a boat here. I wonder if there's other people on this island. Okay, this doesn't look very good. It looks like whoever's here must have crash landed here because their boat is completely griefed. And okay, at least there's a fishing rod and a little bit of food in here. So at least we have a little bit of a food source. But I think what I should do, since I basically have nothing to my name, I probably should start gathering some seeds so that I have a permanent food source and I should gather some wood. Okay, and now that I got my tools, I think I'm gonna set up camp here because I'm not sure what creatures reside in this jungle and this looks like the safest place I could possibly be. So let's go ahead and start fixing up this base a little bit. And what I should do is go ahead and start building my farm. That way I now have a permanent food source and I'm not gonna starve to death. So that's that's a good thing. I then spent the rest of my day gathering a bunch of wooden supplies, which I'll utilize when building my base. As nightfall set, I decided I'd be most safe to hide in this tree. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. As I was unsure about how safe my surroundings were, I decided to be in my best interest to reinforce this ruined ship, set up some chests, and call this home for now. All right, now that the interior is finished up and we got ourselves a little base, let's go ahead and harvest our food. Okay, wow, I got three bread from this. I am gonna have to keep expanding this because I am not really gonna be able to live off three bread. But what I'll do for now is expand this farm and let's go find some animals nearby because three bread is not gonna do. Oh, a family of pigs. It's a little bit unfortunate. Yee! Okay, there we go. Well, the good thing is this island had a lot of cows. Let's go ahead and smelt up all this. And I'm going to start building a mine shaft all the way down because I need to get a bunch of iron. My next objective was to get iron. So I created a tunnel leading straight down in attempts to find a cave, which ended up working. All right, well, that couldn't have worked out any better. Let's go ahead and collect all the materials that we can find here. Okay, I got all my armor. I'm just gonna grab this crafting table. Let's head back to base. Now that we're all suited up, it's time to go explore this mysterious island. I've been running up this coast for most of the day, but look at this. I found a bunch of trees that are all on fire. How the heck did this even happen? Okay, these fires definitely didn't start out of nowhere. What the heck are these things? Okay, I guess there's goblins on this island now. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we got a bunch of armor and we have a shield now. There's not only goblins, but a bunch of skeletons as well that are trying... Oh my gosh, what the heck is this thing? Okay, and... And apparently it does a lot of damage. Okay, I am literally about to die. Let's run away for a second. And oh no, I've got nausea. I literally can't see right now. I don't know what the heck these things are either. I'm assuming whatever the heck caused the fire was probably from all these goblins here. Okay, we need to run for a minute. How all these goblins got here, I honestly don't know. But oh my gosh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, just a few more hits. We should be able to take these things down. Oh my gosh, dude, this poison is actually destroying me right now. This shaman is doing a lot of damage. Come on, let's block my shield here. Okay, I think we killed the shaman? I don't know, though. My screen was spinning so much. Okay, let's go ahead and take down this thing. Okay, by the looks of it, there's just the one shaman up here and one more skeleton thing I gotta kill. Come on, we can do this. There we go. Okay, I don't know where they all just came from, but it's a good thing I took down those goblins. I have a feeling there's going to be more goblins than just that. Guys, I'm gonna camp out on this tree for the night because there is a ton of monsters all around and it looks like the rain just put out all the fires. I am definitely gonna spend the next couple days though trying to figure out where these goblins are coming from. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this massive tree I just found and there's a bunch of fire all around it. I have a feeling this is potentially where the goblins live. Okay, this tree is huge, and it looks like there's some sort of village or some sort of home up there. And yep, it is owned by all these goblins. Let's go ahead and try to take these things down before they kill me. And it's a good thing that there's no shaman here, because the shaman did a lot of damage to me last time. Okay, just a few more hits. And okay, we've taken down these goblins, but look at this place. Okay, wait, what do we got in here? Okay, wow, this actually has a lot of golden apples and some food. I did need food. Let's go ahead and take the rest of this stuff here. And the good thing is, there's a flint and steel here. I guess I might use this to burn down 
on their village. Well, here goes nothing. I guess the only real way that I'm going to be able to take down these goblins is if I destroy their entire home. So let's light this thing up from the bottom and let it rise. And just like that, the fire engulfed this entire tree, completely destroying the rest of the goblins. Now, hopefully there won't be any more problems. And now that we destroyed the goblin village, I guess we'll head back to base, wherever the heck that is. Okay, guys, I just got to my base, but look at this. There's goblins all around my base and looks like they griefed it. I don't know how this happened because I thought I had eliminated all the goblins and destroyed their homes, but apparently there's more. I don't know where the rest of these guys came from, but it looks like, what the heck was that? I think that was a phantom diving at me as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try to kill these things. And my gosh, these things actually do a lot of damage. Okay, I think we got everything else, but look at this. They destroyed my base. And by the looks of it, I think there is some of them up here. Yep, there's an archer up here that we got to take down as well. Okay, I really don't know where these things came from, but let's quickly go ahead and take down this phantom. And I guess we're going to have to repair my base now. The good thing is these goblins haven't really been here for too long by the looks of it. They only just managed to break through the entrance and there's a little bit of a hole in the wall here, but this is easily fixable. But oh my gosh, we definitely got to keep our eyes peeled. Oh, another beautiful morning. But what the heck was that noise? Hold on. Uh, who the heck are these things? It looks like there's a goblin running away from what seems to be some sort of gorilla. Okay, well, to be honest, that thing looks a bit too strong for me right now. I think what I should probably do is go back into the mines and potentially try to get myself some diamond armor because I do not want to try to fight that thing right now. Okay, guys, I just finished my mining and I got a lot of materials. I think I should probably head back to base and these caves are pretty interesting as well. Okay, guys, I'm traveling back to my base, but look at all these mobs and wait, what the heck is that mob? I don't think I've seen this one before and it looks like there's a bunch of lava coming from it and I regret not putting torches around in here because there is a lot of other mobs attacking me. Okay, this looks like it's some sort of fire bat or like lava bat and it just exploded. Okay, this is very cursed, but I mean, it is a painful video, so that's pretty normal normal, I'd say. Okay, and there seems to be lava up here as well. What the heck are those things? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drink a fire resist. Um, okay, that actually does a lot of damage. I did not expect it to shoot like a magma block at me. Um, okay, let's go in for the hits on it. Okay, it just tried. Okay, it's actually picking me up and throwing me into the lava. I guess it's a good thing I drank my fire resistance potion because this thing probably would have easily killed me otherwise. And I think this is the last one here. And look, it drops magma cream. Okay, that's gonna be useful. And there's just a lame zombie here. Okay, buddy, you're not even a challenge. Okay, so I think I killed them. All. To be honest, I have no clue where these things even came. Oh my gosh. Wait, I, I literally have four HP. Where did all these things come from? And I don't even know where I put my golden apples. That honestly is not good. Let's use my bow and arrow and keep our distance from these things because that is an absurd amount of damage and block that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Three hearts. And I think just another hit. We should be able to take him down. Okay. You know what? There's a lot of mobs over there and a lot of creepy creatures spawning on me. So I'm going to get out of here. Okay, guys, just made it back to my base now. But what the heck? My whole base is on fire. Okay. These pyros are really getting out of hand. Honestly, I think it's probably best. Let me just grab what I have. Uh, is there anything in here? I'm probably going to start burning. Let's grab this water bucket. Maybe grab a little bit more food. And honestly, we got to get out of here. I don't know who just set my base on fire, but my entire base is gone. What I'm gonna do, let's find a new base to relocate. Okay, guys, I've been running out here for a little while, but I think what my game plan is going to be is I'm going to build a bait house and basically try to lure whoever set my house on fire over here so I could take them down because I have no clue who it is. So I guess I should get started on building a wooden base. Using some wood from the nearby jungle, I started by creating a big wooden bridge and I then created a wooden tower to bait the pyro. Oh gosh, wait. Why is there fire everywhere? Uh-oh. Okay, this is kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. I guess I should jump down to water here, and it looks like it has worked. That's the pyromaniac up there by the looks of it, but it also looks like... Wait, is that a zombie? Okay, it looks like there's a zombie, and it looks like he's guarded by a bunch of these goblins. Okay, let's go ahead and try to take down these goblins, and okay, almost died to a creeper there. That would have been really bad. Okay, let's go in the water so we don't burn to death. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely the culprit up there because as you can see, pretty much all the trees and my entire build has been burnt to a crisp. So I guess baiting her did work. All right, well, now let's eat a golden apple and hopefully we can take her down. Okay, his name is Big Ugly Gorilla and I really don't know what he's on about. It seems like he's trying to burn down the entire jungle or something, but hopefully we can take this guy down. And it doesn't look like he has an insane amount of health, so we might be able to take this. Okay, the bad thing is I don't really have any health potions and I'm on three hearts. Okay, let's eat some of this. And okay, that's what we are gonna do to beat this guy. We've got 
to use the water to our advantage. I think this big ugly gorilla will definitely destroy us if we get too close and fight him on land. So I definitely think using the water to our advantage. Well, okay. Yep. Thank God we have water buckets and thank God we're in the water. Okay. Let's keep our distance and get some shots on him. Okay, what the heck? He's got some shockwave ability. Okay, it's a good thing I got my water buckets here. And he's really, really slow in the water. So this is going to make our lives a lot easier. Uh, Dude, how are these goblins so fast? Okay, this is bad. These goblins are insanely fast. I need to run. I need to run. Okay, we need to be smart here. Let's place a water bucket up here and maybe climb up this tree. Hopefully, they can't get me up here. This is my, like, last resort right now. Okay, it looks like I've been able to bow down the rest of them. I only have two more bread to my name. And that is literally all I have. So hopefully, we can take down this big ugly gorilla okay and just a couple more hits we should be able to take down the ugly gorilla there we go okay let's take down the remaining foes it looks like he's swimming away and one more shot we should be able to take him down okay maybe two more shots there we go. Okay, well, now that we finished killing that gorilla, wait, what is that? That looks like it's like the gorilla's claw or something. Hold on. It is called the ugly gorilla's right claw, and it says it's extremely smelly. Um, I guess we can use this as a weapon. That's a little bit strange, but I guess we can go ahead and continue exploring more of this island. Okay, well, I guess we should test the damage of this new weapon. Here we go. Oh my gosh, wait, it literally one-shots cows. Okay, this weapon is actually pretty good. Besides it being smelly, it seems to be pretty good. Well, I don't think there's any more food. Or okay, what the heck's happening? Why is my whole screen shaking right now? Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna go into the water because that was very sketchy. What was that? And okay, what the heck is that? Okay, that looks like a giant snake. I'm actually not gonna go in the water because I do not wanna be eaten alive by that thing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back into the jungle and find a new spot to build my base. Okay, guys, I'm not even joking. I am going to be hiding in this hole for the night because I do not have a home and I have nowhere to go. So what I'm gonna do, shelter out here for the next couple nights, gather a bunch of wood, a bunch of stone, and then I can start working on my base. After gathering enough sand, and stone supplies, I found the perfect area to create a fireproof base. Since I was in the sand, I decided it would be best to build a temple-like structure. And I made sure not to use any wood as I didn't want my base getting burnt to a crisp. Oh, okay. That was actually a pretty good sleep. I'm glad that we made this fireproof base, but why do I hear like flame? Oh gosh. Okay. This is not good. Okay. Well, the good thing is I didn't really use wood on my base other than there. But look at this. A bunch of the trees in the surrounding area are all burning down. And wait, what is this? This says this island belongs to the flames. Leave now? Okay. That is a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie, but the good thing is my base is still intact. I guess this water really came in handy. Okay, I just realized I made a sword when I literally have an ugly gorilla's claw. Okay, well, it's a little bit of diamonds wasted, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, well, the good thing is I have full diamond armor now. What I'm gonna do in the meantime is explore some more of this island because something is definitely not right here. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a little while, but look at this. I just found some boulder with redstone torches on it. What the heck is this thing? Well, I guess we could go inside. It looks like this is someone's base. What do they got in here? Okay, I have a feeling this is what of the pyros bases because they have fire charges potion of fire resistance lava buckets and flint and steel well you know what it's gonna be better in my hands it's better that i take this and so i don't continue burning down this entire island uh okay they got a little enchantment set up in here and wait what is this it says tasks burn any and everything on this island and it also says acquire snakeskin armor apparently it's better than netherite okay well if you take a look at me i'm only in diamond if these pyros are gonna be getting full snakeskin armor i am probably not gonna survive so i guess it's probably a good idea if i go and try to get the snake skin armor before then because i think if they get it i am going to die but in the meantime let's go ahead and use our axe here and let's take all their supplies from this base because honestly i do not like these guys all right so i just cleared out their entire base and i went ahead and left a sign for them saying subscribe to painful noobs that's right if you're not subscribed to me you are a complete noob okay guys i just got back to my base and i just noticed as well i guess when they set my base on fire they tried to set the entire thing on fire, but it looks like my cobblestone held up. And it looks like my cobblestone got turned into blackstone. Well, I guess it's better than my entire base being burnt down. I also just went ahead and enchanted all of my armor. Now I should be good to battle out some snakes. Well, I don't have any sign of anything unusual yet. Oh. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything's shaking again. This isn't good. Please don't kill me. Okay, I guess I'll hide under the street for now. Okay, it stopped. What the heck was that? It either seems like there's an earthquake or there's some sort of, like, volcano erupting or something. I honestly have no clue. Okay, well, I've been traveling out here for a few days. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck all that shaking was coming from. Like, this doesn't look like a volcano or anything. It's literally just a random lava pit in the middle of a mountain. Like, I don't, I don't understand what this is even doing here. I'm still trying to find any sign of the pyros. And Oh, gosh, wait. Are these the lava squids again? I'm gonna drink a fire res potion and take this thing down because, yep, yep, they're trying to pull me into the lava right now. It's a good thing I preemptively drank that fire res because I probably would have just died there. I guess it's a good thing that we took down those squids because those things are nothing but trouble. But I guess we'll continue our search for some snakes because I really need that snake armor. Okay, guys, it's been a little while, but look at this. I found a bunch of rocks up here and typically snakes like rocks because they provide a lot of heat. And yep, I was right. There is some snakes here and okay, they actually do some wither damage or, or no, that's not wither. That's poison damage. Okay. Well, the good thing is they don't have too much health and I have a really OP smelly weapon. So I guess that works. But the issue is these only dropped rotten flesh. How the heck am I supposed to get snake skin to make the armor? Maybe I'll try to find a few more. Maybe that was just a little bit unlucky. Okay, guys, I found some more of these rocks. There's got to be some more snakes living around here. I, th I think I see some actually. Okay, let's take these things down and hopefully we get some of the snake armor because I really do not want to have to fight these pyro guys if they have the snake armor because I will most likely die. The good thing is my diamond armor is holding up against these little guys, okay? And I think that's all of them. And it seems like they only drop rotten flesh. Where the heck do I get snake armor? Wait a second. Something just clicked in my mind. What if the only way to get snake armor is to kill that giant snake that we saw in the water earlier on? Okay, that would be a little bit scary. Okay, guys, I didn't find any more snakes, but check out this. I found some sort of village or something here. Wait, what does this say? This says goblin headquarters. Uh-oh. Okay, yep, they definitely see me. Let's grab our lava buckets and flint and steel that we got from raiding their base earlier. Let's go ahead and invade their headquarters now. And it's a good thing we got this really OP smelly weapon because it does a lot of damage. Okay. So what I want to do now is quickly start burning their village down because as you guys know, they've been burning down the entire forest and anything. So I'm going to go ahead and set their entire HQ on fire and hopefully get rid of the rest of the goblin. I don't know if there's going to be any more, but I'm going to go ahead and try to kill everything in this village. Okay. What the heck? There's a lot of them here. Hopefully, you know what? We're going to use our lava and stuff to our advantage now as well. Since these goblins want to burn down everything, why not burn down their entire HQ and try to eliminate the rest of them? Okay, I think I defeated their entire HQ. We do not want any more goblins returning here. So let's go ahead and burn this entire thing down. And I do see a chest up here. Hold on, what is this? It says goblin food supply. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take the remaining food supply. That way, if there are any more goblins, they will not have any more food. Okay, well, while the rest of this place burns down, I think it's safe to say my job is done. I'm gonna get out of here. I then began my search for the volcano that kept shaking the earth. This has gotta be it, right? This is a massive mountain. And finally, okay, I feel finally found this volcano. This has got to be the volcano that kept erupting. But look at this. For some reason, there's like a weird hole in the middle of the lava. What I'm gonna do is actually grab some cobblestone here, and I want to see what the heck is in the middle of this hole. Okay, this is really strange. There's a hole in the middle of the volcano that looks like it goes down into the nether. All right, well, I guess we should jump into that and see where it takes us. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay, come on. Wait a second, I just went through a volcano and now I'm in the nether and okay, that is a lot of wither skeletons there, but I guess I should probably go raid this fortress because I do need some brewing supplies anyways. And I guess I should probably take down these wither skeletons. Good thing I've got a really good weapon. Okay, and really, there's a gas shooting at me as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take this thing down. Okay, they actually do quite a lot of damage as well. Just a few more hits, and we should be good. Okay, there we go. So here's the blaze spawner up here. Wait, wait a second. What? There isn't a blaze spawner. It says blaze spawner extracted. What the heck does that even mean? I guess someone took the blaze spawner? Okay, that's kind of strange. And wait a second. What is this? And oh my gosh, there is a lot of danger around here. Let's just quickly go ahead and block off my back. And okay, what does it say? Pyro entry only. Wait a second. This must be where the pyros live and like brew potions, I guess. I don't know. This is very strange. Another thing I find really weird is there's literally bedrock here. What is in this chest? Okay, just some brewing supplies. I guess I'll borrow that. Thank you very much. And I suppose I probably should just take everything. I got the brewing stands. Let's grab everything and bring it back to the overworld. Okay, well, now that I've gathered everything here, I kind of want to know what's behind this bedrock wall. Can, can I get like by this wall or something? I, I'm assuming I could probably just dig around it, right? 
right? Okay, it's just a normal room, but... Okay, what the heck are these things? Okay, these are some sort of demons? I really don't know. It's a good thing we've got some good armor, though, because it doesn't look like they do too much damage, but my gosh, this fortress is literally infested with these things, and it looks like they drop blaze rods and ingots and flowers. What a weird combination, but I guess this is a painful video, so it has to be cursed, right? All right, now I suppose we should get out of here. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been looking around, and I literally can't find my nether portal. Like, I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna wander around here for a little bit, and hopefully I can find it. Otherwise, we're probably gonna be stuck in the nether for quite a long time. I remember coming through the portal, and there was a bunch of these trees, but, like, I'm not seeing the portal anywhere. Like, where is this portal, man? Okay, thank God I found the portal. It was over here. I don't even know how I ended up on this side, but it is what it is. Wait a second. The portal is literally broken. How the heck did that happen? Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to get back in the overworld, because this is literally broken. So, um, what the heck is happening? Okay, where the heck did it just take me? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I was walking around trying to figure out how to get back, and then I got struck by lightning, and is that the volcano up there? What am I doing down here? Okay, what the heck just happened? Okay, well, the good thing is, I guess I'm back at my base. That was very weird. Um, at this point, I don't really know what's happening, but I guess it's a good thing we're back at my base. I am gonna go ahead and start brewing up some of my potions. Okay, guys, it's been a couple days. I've brewed up my potions. I've made a little nether warp farm, and I also went ahead and repaired the rest of my base. As you guys remember, my entire base got engulfed in fire, and I got rid of all the charcoal and replaced it all back with cobblestone. Now I say we go try and find that big snake. I think we're about ready for some action. Fully equipped with all my potions, I continue to search to find this giant snake. All right, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. I finally found what looks to be the giant snake, and apparently it's called Titan Oba. Okay, well, I guess we should drink our speed and strength, and hopefully we can take this thing down because I need that snake skin. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Okay, obviously, as we found out earlier, the snake skin is more valuable than netherite armor, so I kind of need to get it, and I don't know what he's doing right now, but I just saw that. Okay, yeah, he has a tendency to poison the crap out of me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, maybe... Oh, no way. No way. I I have an infinity bow and I forgot to bring arrows. There's not a shot I didn't bring arrows. That was really, really dumb. Okay, I gotta splash my potions down so I don't die. And whenever he seems to poison me, it like, I get stuck in place. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we got him to half health. Let's keep running here. And let's use a potion so we don't die. I wonder if we can use our shield to block the poison. That's actually, is it still, oh no, no, no. It's still doing a lot of damage. Oh God, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, I only have three potions left. I actually need to try and kill this thing a lot faster. I have two potions left. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we can take this thing down. It's almost down. Just a few more hits. Okay, I only have one potion left. We should be able to take this thing down. There we go. Okay, we actually defeated Titan Nova or whatever the heck its name was. But what is this? Oh, wait, this is the snake skin. Okay, now using the snake skin, I should be able to craft some really good snake armor. So I guess we should head back to base and try this out. Okay, guys, just made it back to my base. It's time to make our snake armor. Okay, so I think to make the armor, we just put the helmet in here and combine it with snake skin. And there is the snake skin helmet. Okay, we've got the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. Now we just got to enchant the stuff and put it on. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of weird, but you know what? We are in full snakeskin armor, and we should take a lot less damage now. And it looks a bit funny because I have a headband on. By the way, if you want to check out any of my bad line cosmetics, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now, since it is nighttime and there's thousands of mobs outside, I'm actually gonna go to bed real quick. Okay, what the heck's going on? I literally just woke up and there's like a bunch of orange particles in my base. Oh gosh, dude, I can hardly even go outside. Every time I go outside, I'm getting attacked and it looks like there's a bunch of mobs out there. Okay, that's not good. I probably should try to brew up a little bit more potions and hopefully this storm calms down because it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to go outside. Okay, guys, I just finished brewing up a little bit of instant health. It looks like the storm has calmed down, but there was some mobs outside that I'm likely gonna have to take down. And what the heck is this thing? Okay, I do not know what this thing is, but it looks like, oh gosh. Okay, there's a lot of crazy stuff out here. Okay, let's go ahead and start by taking down the squids. And oh my gosh, this is really bad. Okay, it's a good thing we got our water bucket here. And what kind of bat is that, bro? That's some sort of weird bat. Okay, let's go ahead and take down these squids before they kill me. And okay, I think we, I th oh god, oh god, I got it, got it. I literally have one more potion left to my name. And it looks like there's still quite a few things out here that I have to take down. What are these, some sort of mages? Okay, hopefully a couple more hits. Okay, we defeated it. it looks like there's just one more thing out here. 
are another one of these weird looking bats. Okay, that was really weird. And it looks like the trees caught on fire over there as well. I wonder if that storm came from the volcano erupting again, because that volcano has caused a lot of mischief from the short period of time that we've been on the island. Okay, guys, obviously someone on this island is trying to kill me. There's literally firestorms and a bunch of fire mobs that were literally just outside my base. So what I'm going to do is travel all the way back to that volcano because everything that is trying to kill me is fire. So it has to be coming from someone at that volcano. We need to find out who. Okay, I finally made it back to this volcano, but look, it looks like it's already overflowing. This thing definitely erupted and that's what caused all the fire around my base. The question is, where did all the fire mobs come from? There's got to be some sort of explanation. Okay, and I'm nearly to the top of this thing. It looked like it erupted, but wait a second what the heck is that thing quentin said what how did you survive okay well i guess it's safe to say quentin has been the one trying to kill me all along minions attack wait a sec wait where are you going okay that is a lot of lava squids that came what the heck okay oh no 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 this is not good because i don't even have any fire resist potions i already used them from last time um oh, okay that's not good wait I'm not burning. Oh, wait a second. It looks like my snakeskin armor also gives me fire resistance. So that actually pretty much just saved my life. I'm not going to lie. And oh my gosh, these do a lot of damage. Let's quickly go ahead and bow this down because these lava squids are actually really, really OP. So I got to kill them before they get to me. Looks like there's just a couple more over here. Oh gosh, wait. Oh God, one's getting really close. So let's defeat it before it kills me. Okay. And it just looks like there's a couple more over here. Oh God. Oh God. This is not good. Let me eat one of my golden apples here. Oh, okay. This is getting way too close for comfort. And... Okay, I think I defeated them all. Now we just gotta go find Quentin. Okay, I saw Quentin jump off the mountain this way, but I have no clue where he went. I feel like he could be anywhere at this point. Okay, wait a second. This does not look like it was naturally here. Quentin looks like he went down into a cave system. Well, I guess we should go down and try to take him out. Okay, guys, this cave system is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought he was just hiding in a cave, but check out this. This place is absolutely massive. I have no idea idea where he would have went. Okay, this is really bad. There was like 10,000 tunnels and oh my gosh. Wait, that is li He went through bedrock? At this point, I have no clue where he went. There's 10,000 different tunnels. There's tunnels that go through bedrock. It doesn't look like I'm going to be finding Quentin here, but I should continue my search. I've been searching around this tunnel for a long time, but look at this. I just keep finding different tunnels that lead into the void. This thing can somehow break bedrock. That is a little bit absurd if you ask me. Okay, I've pretty much searched every crevice except this way. Okay, I actually see him. Okay, let's see if we can go kill him. Okay, he's a lot bigger when I get this close to him. I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and try to kill him. Wait, this is a barrier. I, I can't even get to him. He said, you're a little pest. I hope you can swim. What the heck does he mean by swim? Oh gosh, wait, what the heck? Where's all this water coming from? Okay, that's not good. We have got to somehow get up before we start drowning. Okay, this is actually really bad because we are in a cave and we will actually end up drowning if we don't get up in time. Okay, this is really, this is really bad. I am actually near the very top. Um, let's just use our pickaxe and hopefully, oh okay, God, this is bad. We are actually drowning and we dig really slow when we're underwater. Okay, hopefully we can get air up here. We are actually about to start drowning. This is really, really bad. Okay, hopefully just a few more. Okay, we made it out. Okay, it's a really good thing that we had a pickaxe. Otherwise, I probably would have started drowning there and we definitely would have died to that demon thing. Now we just got to figure out a way to kill him. Okay, guys, what I decided to do, I just made some doors and that way if there is a bunch of water going up, I can make some air pockets and I'll be able to breathe under the water. Wait, wait a second. All the water's like gone and wait, he's not even here anymore. Okay, that is really, really confusing. Where the heck did he go? The barrier's not here anymore either. I just made it back to the top of the volcano, but look at this. There's a bunch of water up here now. Okay, Okay, I'm assuming that this water is from him because he tried to drown me. But by the looks of it, there's a bunch of water that's leading down that way. If I'm going to find him, I probably should just follow this big path of water that seems to be going down this way. Guys, I've been traveling out here for a little while and I'm just following these giant pockets of water. It looks like this could be potentially his like footprints in the ground. I don't know why there's so much water coming from him, but it is what it is. I'm going to keep following these. Okay, guys, after a long time of traveling, check out this. I think we are on his tail because there's a bunch of nether area here and it looks like all the water has turned into lava so okay yep that is definitely him he said if water won't kill you i'll do it myself okay well i guess it's the final fight against quentin hopefully we can take him down let's drink our speed and strength potions and grab these okay hopefully we do a decent amount of okay speaking of a decent amount of damage he hits very very hard and okay hold on let's block his next hit hopefully is he gonna hit 
What? How did that not block? I was holding up my shield. Okay, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, that is a lot of damage. Let's use a health potion there and try to get a few more hits on him. We've got him down about 10% so far. Let's use some of our bow here. And wait, what the heck is that? There's an eyeball in his mouth. Okay, that is very terrifying. I am not going to lie. All right, let's keep wearing him down here. I think our best strategy is to try to get a few hits and then run away, try to dodge some of his attacks. And okay, let's continue the bow spam here. Okay, by the looks of it, every time he opens his mouth, a bunch of fire comes out. So we need to try to run away whenever he does that. Let's keep our distance here and get a few more shots at him. Come on, we can do this. Is he like immune to my shots? Half my shots aren't even hitting him. Okay, that was a new ability I haven't seen yet. He knocked us all the way back. I think, okay, wait. Oh no, that means fire. That means fire. That's not good. Okay, block. And while he's doing that, we should be able to get a bunch of hits on him. Okay, there literally goes half of my health. That is very dangerous. And what is he riding on? That looks like some sort of bug. That is the biggest bug I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and try to block some of that damage. And okay, let's run back and use some speed and strength potions. Okay, he's blowing fire. Let's go ahead and try to dodge as much as that I can. I only have three more potions left, so hopefully we can take this thing down. I'm really not sure the best way to take this thing down. What if I run across the lava since I have permanent fire resistance? I wonder if he's gonna take damage in the lava. I presume not, right? Let's stand over here and get a few more shots on him. And okay. Yep, that lava is adding up. Let me tell you. Okay, guys. And by the looks of it, he is in the lava now and it is not doing any damage to him. He's literally crawling across the lava pit at me. This could not be any more terrifying if you ask me. Okay, we've got a lot of shots. He's down to about half health. He's using his ability now. So let's go in and try to get as many hits on him as we can. Okay, dude, it's really, really hard to hit him. Okay. Oh my gosh, we nearly just died there. I only have two more health potions. Okay, guys, I'm using my last round of potions, my last round of speed and strength. We have to kill him now because once my strength runs out, I don't think we're going to be strong enough to... Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Once my strength runs out, I don't think I'm going to have the power to take him down, so we've got to kill him now. I'm going to keep my distance and utilize my bow as much as I can, and every time he spits fire, like right now, I should hide behind this. There we go. Okay, we blocked all of the fire. Let's try to keep our distance from him, and okay, let's go for a couple hits now while he's charging at us. It looks like he's down to about three quarters HP. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is really bad. I only have one more potion left. He's about to use his ability now. Let's run over this way and hide behind here. Oh god, yep. There's a lot of fire. Let's let's get behind here. Make sure it doesn't hit us. And okay, keep bowing. Okay, guys, I'm going in for the finishing kill. Come on, we, we get to... Okay, for some reason, he's really hard to hit, but we should be able to take him down and... Oh my goodness. Okay. It looks like we were able to eliminate Quentin. And look at this. What the heck is going on around here? There's so much fire particles. Okay. Well, now that Quentin's dead and there's no more pyromaniacs running around this island, I think our job here is done. I think what I'm going to do is head back to my base. Okay, guys. I just made it back to my base, but I see some weird looking portal. That is very, very weird, I guess. Maybe I should go through it. I don't know why I'm like this, but I'm going to try. This looks a bit terrifying terrifying, but here we go. Okay, my screen is shaking. Where am I? This looks pretty interesting. Wait, who the heck is that? And little did I know, traveling through that portal brought me back to the medieval times. Imagine traveling back in time and having to survive 100 days in the medieval age. As you explore through different civilizations, you'll face menacing conditions, custom bosses, and mysterious medieval buildings. On day one, I spawned into the world face to face with a knight. An intruder in my lands. You will perish. He then attacked me, which got me down to three hearts. I jumped in the nearby river and swam across to safety. You can run, but you can't hide forever. <laughs> I knew that night wasn't too far behind me. I spent the remainder of the day getting as far away from him as I could. After some traveling, I found a small cave which I used as a shelter for the night. From days two to four, I gathered some cobblestone and started creating my stone tools. After that, I gathered a bunch of wood, collected apples falling from the leaves, and began constructing my base. Using some basic supplies, I was able to build myself a small place to call home. On day five, while I was exploring, I saw smoke in the sky. When I arrived, I saw a burnt down village. And who is that off in the distance? Yes! <laughs> Burn it all! Find those crystals! Take this! And this! I tried keeping my distance so I wouldn't take too much damage. Hey! After defeating that group, I realized I gained 44 levels, and whoever was up there seemed to have fled the scene. As I didn't have much food left, I borrowed what was left of this farm. On days 6 to 7, I traveled looking for a solid spot to go mining. It's about time I got some iron. I'm gonna need a full set if I'm gonna defeat that knight I saw earlier. I crafted some iron tools and a complete set of iron armor. Okay! 
now we're talking. And while I was traveling back home, I saw some sort of medieval castle in the distance. After a long day's work, I arrived back at base, crafted some bread, and went to sleep. From days 8 to 10, I started traveling back to the castle I saw. There's the intruder! Die! Okay, I didn't expect this. Take this! He then swung his blade at me, and my goodness, am I glad I made this shield. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Let's back up a bit. I backed up a little, and the horse raised in the air and charged at me. As I had no potions, I had to eat food to regenerate my hearts. He then jumped up into the air, and I blocked his attack, and with one final hit, I was able to defeat the horse. Just when I thought I had won, the Soul Knight stood back up. Okay, yeah, let's block this. Take this! I started running back, and I got hit down to four hearts. He then raised his blade and lunged at me. Knowing I had him pretty weak, I went in for a few more hits, and I was able to take down the Soul Knight. Piece of cake! Now, let's go to that castle! As I turned around, I realized the Soul Knight's horse came back from the dead. I wonder, can I ride this? Oh! Okay! As you can see, this horse is huge, so I decided to name him Jacked. And from days 11 to 13, I arrived back at the front of the castle. The only issue is there's a giant ravine. There's not a chance my horse can make it up that hill. As a solution, I harvested a bunch of trees in the nearby area and started creating a bridge leading across the ravine. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. It's a long way down. From days 14 to 15, I explored the surrounding area. I found a village outside, and when I circled the castle, I found that there was no entrance ways to get inside. That's pretty strange. As nighttime approached, I figured I'd take shelter in one of these homes for the night. I also noticed these were zombie villagers. I wonder what happened to them. They seemed friendly, so I went to bed for the night. From days 16 to 17, I walked outside and was mauled by a group of medieval villagers. Okay, that was close. Note to self, don't steal a villager's bed. On day 18, I found a group of boar. Suddenly, they got hostile and killed Jacked. Using my shield, I blocked one of his attacks and took him down. The the second boar charged at me, knocking me really high into the sky. As it was getting low, it started running away from me, but I eventually caught up to it. There was one little boar left. I decided to let it live and continue on with my journey. While trying to find my way back home, I was interrupted by Artorius, the medieval knight. Fool, if a quick death is not what you desire, I'll allow my minions to rip thee apart instead. Suddenly, a bunch of minions spawned and started attacking me. And while I was distracted fighting these minions, Artorius escaped again. Thankfully, I was a Equipped with full iron and a shield, I was able to take the minions down one by one. On day 20, being lost in the woods, I decided to gather some materials to build a new home. After gathering wheat from my farm to make bread, I then went mining in hopes to find some diamonds. I found a lot of different ores, but I didn't find any diamonds this time. During my mining trip, I found a weird source of ambient light. I decided I'd follow the lights and see where it takes me. The lights ended up leading me to some mysterious underground tomb. Outside of the tomb was surrounded with a lot of hostile mobs. Good thing I was equipped with enough gear to survive. After eating food to regenerate my heart, I was able to take these minions down one by one. I walked inside of the tomb and looked around. I noticed there was a guy named Fallen Herald, and when I tried to speak to him, he started attacking me. Okay, what's up with all these things trying to kill me? Eat some food to regenerate my health here? Okay, let's keep going. The Fallen Herald then lunged forward, knocking me back in the air. I tried utilizing some blocks into this fight, although it didn't really seem to help me too much. After dodging one more strike, I was able to take down the Fallen and Herald. As you can see, he dropped a couple pieces of night armor. Now that's an upgrade. I then gathered all the enchanting supplies and all the goodies that I could find. While traveling back to base, I was surrounded by an army of mobs. Okay, this is cursed. On day 28, I finally arrived back at my base. I started by harvesting a bunch of crops so I can make bread, and I replanted everything. I then expanded my farm because there's never enough food to go around, okay? I like food. I spent the remainder of day 28 getting some fish and then going to sleep. On day 29, I spent in the mines trying to find diamonds. Unfortunately, I didn't find any. Find those crystals, you peasants. Hurry up. Wait, who are those soldiers at my base? Painful has returned. Kill him and bring me his head. I began defending my base and he hit me to half health with one hit, but I was able to take him down. I found this soldier in my house looting my chest and there was a few outside of my base that I was able to take down too. After defeating the soldiers, I looked around for Artorius, but it looks like I was a little too late. From days 31 to 34, I cooked up some food and began exploring some more of this area. Master Artorius needs our help. Find Painful and stop him from finding the crystals. There he is. 
Attack, my minions! Okay, what the heck? Where did all these wolves come from? Okay, just one more hit. <laughs> you stand no chance against me. Not having any potions, I had to be very careful. This alpha wolf did a lot of damage. I then ran to regenerate some hearts and went back in and got hit to half a heart. After nearly dying, I had to run away and eat some more food to regenerate my hearts. I then tried to use some more blocks to interrupt its pathing and took it down. Ah, uh, destroy the crystals. Destroy the crystals? What is she talking about? We need to find out some more information about these crystals. On day 35, I came across a suspicious house in the middle of the woods. This house was surrounded with a bunch of different archers, and when I went inside the house, it was filled with a bunch of knights as well. Okay, these have got to be some more of Artorius' minions or something. Okay, let's block myself off so I don't die. As you can see, I was able to block myself off in a hole and take down these knights one by one. I then decided to borrow the loot from each of these chests, found myself a shield, and a nice enchantment table. That is going to come in handy. I enchanted the rest of my gear and my weapon and then went to bed for the night. In the morning of day 36, I woke up in a different world and I was surrounded by a bunch more soldiers. Okay, these soldiers hit really hard. Let's get the heck out of here. I had no clue where I was. I was lost in some sort of ice dimension. I decided to explore around and see if I could find anything that can help me escape from here and I ran into another pack of boars. Is it just me or do these animals seem a lot stronger in this world? This is pretty cursed. After getting knocked in the air a few more times, I was able to take down the remaining boars. As I continued exploring, I was jumped by a fallen reaper. Okay, at least he doesn't hit that hard. Just as I said that, he hit me to half a heart. I have no clue where that damage came from. Oh god, this is not good. I'm gonna die. Wait a second, I'm alive? Although I survived the nightmare, I had bigger problems to face. As I walked outside, I was instantly attacked by some archers. At the top of this lookout tree, I found myself a bow, and I went ahead and started taking down some of these archers. Not only were these clouds carrying archers, but some of them dropped diamonds. I then started crafting all my diamond tools, all my diamond armor, and I made sure to enchant all of it. Now I'm really strong. Being a lot stronger, I continued exploring, and a group of empowered zombies started attacking me. I have never fought these zombies before. They have abilities to disappear. That's kind of crazy. After defeating them, they also seem to drop golden apples and drinkable healing potions. After nearly dying to some empowered zombies, I found another one of these tombs, except this one was above ground. That is interesting. Walking in the tomb, it seemed it was empty. Suddenly, a reaper appeared. Okay, where the heck did this thing come from? And that does a lot of damage. Okay, let's run over here. He even had an ability to make it so I couldn't see. This made it pretty difficult. Drink my healing potion here, and okay, that was a lot of damage. As you can see, whenever I go blind, he goes invisible and then appears out of nowhere and attacks me. After drinking some more of my healing potions, I went in for a few more hits and I was able to take down the Reaper. As you can see, he dropped the remaining pieces of night armor that I needed. That is going to come in handy. As I was leaving, I realized above the tomb, there was a massive portal. I decided to build up and check out what's on the other side of this portal. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Wait. Where the heck am I? Since I was in this nether dimension, I decided to gather a bunch of nether warts for potions, and I had to take down a bunch of blazes that were very angry at me. As I continued exploring this nether dimension, I found another portal, and when I went through it, I found a massive castle. Is it just me, or does this place look pretty evil? While exploring, I ran into a skeleton overlord. I figured this was another one of Artorius' minions, so I went ahead and tried to take him down, but I didn't realize as he did a lot of damage, and I didn't have many healing potions. Okay, this is really bad. I gotta get the heck out of here. There is no way I'm gonna be able to kill him. As I was running away, I noticed that there was a blue portal in the distance, so I decided to head over and see where it takes me. It seems that random portal I went through has led me all the way back to my base. Home sweet home. From days 47 to 50, I was harvesting my farm, and suddenly some creature spawned on top of me. Okay, what the heck is that thing, and how did it just teleport here? It teleported all the way into the water, and there was some little gas thing that I had to take down as well. But it seems every time I I hit this thing, it would teleport away. This has got to be another one of Artorius' minions trying to kill me. Hopefully we can take this thing down, because I do not have any health potions. Come on, just a few more. There we go. Okay, I don't know what the heck that thing was, but I'm happy we're still alive. After nearly dying to another one of Artorius' minions, I went ahead and expanded my farm a little bit more, and began traveling to the other base
base so that I can brew up some more potions and enchant the rest of my armor. As soon as I arrived, I went ahead and enchanted my knight armor, and I also spent the day brewing a bunch of potions. Okay, well, hopefully I'm strong enough now to take down that skeleton overlord. Let's travel back to base and see if that portal's still there. When I arrived back at base, I noticed the portal was still there, so I quickly went through and began fighting the skeleton overlord. Having the rest of my gear enchanted and having potions, I felt a lot more confident with taking this thing down. Although I was stronger, he still hit really hard. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Let's keep up the pressure here. As I had him pretty weak, I kept spamming my bow, doing a lot of damage from a distance, and with a couple more hits, I was able to take him down. As you can see, he ended up dropping a knight sword. Now that is pretty awesome. After all that fighting, I went back through the portal, which led me to my second base. I decided to go to sleep for the night as I was exhausted from fighting all night. Painful stands no chance. Attack! Just when I thought all the fighting was over, I heard an explosion. Uh, what the heck was that? Okay, no, not more of Artorius's minions. These must be some sort of mages. Thankfully, I had my new knight sword, which did a ton of damage. I was able to take down these minions one by one, and it was fairly easy. After waking up to a bunch of explosions and having to take down a bunch of mages, I had to rebuild my base as well. After repairing my base, I decided to go travel and try and find Artorius. He's been causing a lot of mischief. While exploring, I got jumped by some black smoke. This was very strange, but its name was Dream Eater. Okay, not another boss that keeps blinding me. That is not good. As you can see, this Dream Eater did a lot of damage with that Wither ability. As he was low, I went in for a couple more hits and was able to take him down. The Dream Eater didn't really drop any useful loot, but there was a random guy that appeared, so I decided to kill him. Yep, yep, sorry, dude. I then continued exploring, and I saw a lot of lightning strikes. I figured I had to head in that direction. The lightning strikes ended up leading me to this massive castle-like build. As I approached, I realized this must be the mage headquarters. I noticed a bunch of mages protecting it, and they did a lot of damage, nearly taking me down. After drinking some strength and speed and being aware of my health, I was able to take down each one of these mages one by one. Okay, that was a lot of mages. Now, what is even in here? After taking down some of the remaining mages, I looted some of the chest. It didn't really have anything good in it, though, but I decided to take the arrows and some TNT. I did find one chest with some potions in it, though, which is definitely gonna help. As I was exploring, I overheard a conversation. The intruder was spotted here. Where is he? My soldiers are looking for him. We will find him. Okay, that's not good. Let's get out of here. Just when I thought I got away, I turned around and got jumped by a bunch of fire creatures. I have no clue where these things came from. So as I was trying to leave, I went out to the balcony and saw the fallen reaper again. You're finished. This is the same creature that nearly killed me in the nightmare. As I was drinking my potions, he hit me down to half a heart. This thing does insane damage. I went back in for a few more hits and he knocked me onto the roof. I used this as an opportunity to use my bow on him. Once I got him low enough, I jumped back down, splashed down a health potion, and was able to take down the Fallen Reaper. Okay, a night shield. That's an upgrade. After defeating the Fallen Reaper, I turned around and there was a ton of mages, so I decided it'd be in my best interest to get the heck out of here. While running from the mages, I saw a bed, and right before I died, I went to sleep. Okay, it worked. I I'm still on half a heart, but oh my goodness, I nearly died there. It's kind of weird that my beds teleport me, but I can take advantage of that sometimes. After regenerating all my health and brewing up some potions, I decided to go to bed again to see where it would teleport me. After going to sleep, I was teleported to some mysterious but very elegant village. I decided I'd go in and check it out. Everybody in this village seemed very friendly. It didn't seem like there was any sign of Artorius anywhere around here. I then left the peaceful village, did some more exploring looking for Artorius, and eventually I ran into him. New lands for me to conquer? How kind of you. Minions, claim this land for me. Kill painful. Suddenly a bunch of minions appeared through the portal. I attacked some of the minions, but I noticed Artorius got away again and the portal disappeared. After this short interaction with Artorius, I decided I'd travel back to the peaceful village. When I arrived, the village was in flames and it was surrounded by a bunch of Artorius's minions. I went up the nearby staircase and noticed a bunch of soldiers guarding this chest, so I decided to take these things down and see what they were protecting. Upon opening the chest, I found a book. Inside the book, it read, Find the enchanted bow. It can banish all evil. The castle in the stars guards it. I then spent some time searching around the village for some food and a bed because it was already late. Not only did I borrow some bread, but I also bored this guy's bed. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm gonna use this for the night. From days 83 to 85, I started traveling around trying to find the castle in the stars. As I was running, another portal opened in front of me and a bunch more minions came out trying to stop me. I knew I must have been getting close. Knowing I had full knight armor, fully enchanted, 
I knew that I'd be able to take down these soldiers one by one with no problems. Nearby, I found this giant castle on top of a hill. I guess that's why they call it Castle in the Stars, because it's really high up. I was hoping you'd come here. My Reaper is upset that you killed him. Enjoy your rematch, scum. Wait, what the heck? How did the Reaper come back from the dead? Okay, we gotta drink our potions and defeat him again quickly. After I drank my speed and strength potion, I went in for some damage, and I was a lot stronger than before. This fight should go down pretty quickly. As you can see, I was able to trade hits pretty well with the Reaper, doing a ton of damage. And just with a few more hits, I was able to take down the Reaper with a final bow shot. Okay, that was a little bit easier than last time, but where the heck did Artorius go? I then searched the entire building. With no signs of Artorius, I left to head back home. Once I arrived back home, I went ahead and brewed up some more potions and enchanted my new knight helmet. I continued my search for Artorius, and I noticed that there was an open portal here, so I decided to go through. After going through the portal, I realized this must be the main camp for Artorius' soldiers. After fighting some of them off, I went into the chest and found myself a black crystal. As I found out earlier, destroying these crystals should destroy evil. As I destroyed the crystals, all the soldiers became friendly villagers again. This is the way that we're gonna stop Artorius. Just like that, I continued searching around for more villages in the nearby area, and I found a bunch of soldiers trying to kill this iron golem. I knew I had to find another crystal to put a stop to them. I found another chest nearby, and inside the chest, there was another black crystal, so I went ahead and burned it, which turned all the hostile soldiers into nice villagers. Now that Artorius' army is converted into villagers, I should be able to take him down on my own. I then traveled back all the way to my base, only to find Artorius waiting for me. Even if I'm weakened, you're still no match. And just like that, the final battle is commenced. I knew if there was ever a time to beat Artorius, it would be now when he has no minions to help him. He then smashed the ground, launching me into the air. Good thing I have a water bucket to help negate fall damage. As he did a lot of damage, I started running away and he knocked me all the way up into a tree. But it's a good thing I had a water bucket to get down. Otherwise, I would have been toast. After healing back up, I went in for a few more hits and I was able to do a ton of damage to Artorius. Okay, just a few more hits. We should be able to take him down. Yes. And just like that, I defeated the king of all evil, Artorius. I then went to bed for the night, and when I woke up, I was in the middle of the Ice Age. Will I be able to survive? Stay tuned to find out.